It actually let me name it. Hit the go live. Got that. Meeting is now being live streamed. I got that message too, for some reason. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can open up YouTube, find chat. Hey, look there, Rappel Scrapper is live. <laughs> um, pulling a Jimmy here, getting fucking lost. <laughs> there we are. Cane samples in the house. What up, Kane? WTF Mike rocks people. Thanks, Kane. I appreciate that. Hi, Kane. Kane knows the fucking deal. <laughs> Isn't that what he tells us all the time? Yep. It is. Lauren. What is going on, Lauren? Oh, dear Lord, Lauren. Holy Lord, everybody said you've been missing an action. I'm like, no, she hasn't. Jimmy was looking for you the other day. Like he missed you or something. Bum, 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 bum. We're waiting on Lisa and Bashful. That's right, recycling. What's going on? Hello, all. Hello, hello. Much love. Good to see you. How's the motorcycle shop doing? Don't mind me. I'm just sharing out. Okay. Thank you. I well. appreciate it. Well, I put a reminder on my community tab and my Facebook yep. page. Ali, what's going on, Ali? How's your head Allie. feeling? I'm still kicking. <laughs> Just don't mention him, Mike. He might pop up. <laughs> he passed out cold, Kane. Yep, he in bed, Kane. Chrissy, what's going on, young lady? Crazy busy right now. Right? Hiding in your office? Playing on YouTube? <laughs> Atta girl. I get busted doing that all the time in my office out in the shop. I'll end up sitting there fucking on my phone looking at something on YouTube. That's when everybody wants to come walking in my office and ask me, what are you doing? <laughs> Goddamn business. <laughs> How are you? That's right. Recycling. My head's a little cloudy. That's what I heard. Looch mob. What up, bud? Bubba's favorite prison food was ass. Ha. Yep. That was was that yours, Dorito? His ass or his favorite food? His favorite food. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Just got home from the Ace Hardware. Oh, what'd you buy me, Chrissy? Oh, for fucking real? <laughs> hey, Tina. I see Ollie's awake What's now. <laughs> How are you, Tina? Someday. Paneling? Oh, you bought me some paneling? I don't need any paneling. Hey, I'm good on the paneling. 
I'll do it next time. No problem, Tina. I know. Allie's a little hungover, a little cloudy. You said that. Yeah. yeah. It happens. What happens when you let them stay up till four in the morning? Now, how come I don't have chat? I don't know. When my laptop loaded Zoom, or when it loaded um, YouTube, it's there's no chat. It's all videos on the side, all the way up. Oh. <laughs> I'm just too sexy to have two cameras on me. Yeah, yeah. Got to do the surround sound. I'm good, Tina. I'm hoping to kick Mike's butt, but I don't know if I will. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Whiskey. Let me hit that thumbs up right there. Why does it say this is private? This ain't private. I don't know. Sometimes it Kept, takes a while on your thing oh. to refresh. Oh, okay. Comments are not supported on private videos. Well, this ain't private, motherfucker. I mean, I'm watching it live right now. Hey, twin. I don't see anyone fanning you or feeding you. Or, yeah. I know. I'm going to have to hire somebody for that. Fan and feed me grapes. I'm pretty sure that that thing said it has to be public or else there wouldn't be anybody watching. Right. <laughs> Refresh. Refresh. Fresh, fresh. I don't really need it. I don't really need it. I have chat right here on my other phone. No, Whiskey, we haven't started cooking yet. We're waiting for Bashful and Lisa. They're yeah. Both running a little bit late. Yeah. Lisa had to go do some stuff for her work, and Bashful forgot it was happening. Judy Wheeler, what up, Judy? Dean, Judy, hello. Good to see you, young lady. What up, Dean? Two mics? Yeah. Yeah, during the cook-off thing. Yeah. Oh, look at there. Doors taught me something. Yep. If you refresh, it'll uh, bring the chat back up. Yeah, recycling. We've been known to uh, make people hungry. This one's a little different, though. This cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a no any. scale required cook off right? almost. <laughs> Can't use any conventional cooking method. Well, I guess a microwave counts. And... Yeah. Damn that, Lisa. I don't think microwave is conventional cooking. I still think it should be banned cooking. But <laughs> Doris knows her shit, Mike. She worked in a prison a long time. But she only got to walk around and smell it. I lived yeah, it. I never actually did the cooking. Mike did the cooking. So. What is a cook-off? It's a, yeah. It's a thing that we do, yep. Um, this one is prison food or prison style. So we got a commissary list from the local prisons in North Dakota because they get everything. And we can only cook what's off of that commissary the same way you would if you were an inmate. Yep. Thank you, Tina, for sharing. Appreciate it. And you can't use your stove. So pretty much a coffee pot, a hot plate, or a microwave. Right. Because that's all they have access to in prisons.
Yeah, yeah, I know I'll be using ramen for part of my recipe, at least one of them. I'm doing a, a main course and then I am doing a dessert. Yeah, we tried to do, we, we were doing them on a regular basis, Judy, and then we did, it got to the point where it was just pretty much me and Mike every time. So yeah, we took a break. and then Doris got sick of losing and everybody to. <laughs> uh, everybody started quitting because they were afraid they were hated losing all the time. I think at one point in time, somebody just said, just give Mike the trophy. Fuck it. We ain't doing this. So I don't remember which what one that was. Is whoever joins the panel, if you're on panel, you're cooking. And then yeah. we have afterwards five categories. Yeah. We have the chat votes on like creativity. Um, method yeah i have it all wrote down over there we'll come we'll see you here when uh the other two join us i'll come on the next one yeah tina i know i know it's okay yeah whiskey jimmy went to bed late most skill required yet jimmy c sleeping not here go figure yeah exactly yep Yeah, he only went to bed, what did you say, a couple hours ago? Hour yeah, ago? I think like 1 o'clock. It was... Oh, yeah. Jesus. Why not have the contestants choose what the other is cooking? We just pull it out of a hat, Jet Wash. Yep. And good to see you, bud. Usually it's like a theme like today, or it's a special ingredient. Yeah. We're cooking all day long. This ain't going to take all day. It's no, ramen it noodles was... mostly, King. <laughs> yep. I think <laughs> the only thing that will take a while and it's just a set is my cheesecake. And my dessert will be done in no time. That's easy as fuck. Make Mike cook vegan. Yeah, there's a good idea. I tried, Jet Wash. I tried to throw a vegan category <laughs> in there, and Mike and Jimmy conspired, and Jimmy ended up taking it out of the hat. <laughs> we actually did have that in the hat recycling. Open fire pit cook-off. Yep, that's okay. probably still in there, then. What up, YKB? That's probably still in the damn it, it hat. Should be. Did you find the hat? No, it's somewhere up in oh. Jimmy's thing. He's going to have to look for it. Yep. Going to have to go wake him up because we're going to need it by the end of the show to figure out what we're doing next one. <laughs> probably pick random somehow. I got plenty of logs. Yeah, me too. I got a shit ton of them sitting there. So, yep. But you got to have certain logs when you're doing, well, you don't have to. You can do it on charcoal or, you know. But if you're doing it off of wood, you want certain wood. You don't want your food tasting funky like pine, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, Judy. Grandson's birthday's tomorrow. He will be five. Oh, tell him happy birthday. Tell him YouTube said happy birthday. <laughs> so, Jet Wash, if you want to do shit like that, why don't you join? And then maybe we will do your, you pick what your com competition's yeah. cooking. Like he picks Mike's dish and then he picks your dish and, oh, there you go, an alternating thing. We normally try to stick with where, where everybody has the same theme, just... How, who does it differently, better, that kind of thing. You know, like when we did sandwiches, everybody had different sandwiches. Mm 
Who's going to put the file in the prison food? Yeah. I was going to have Sarah come out and shank me later to steal it, but... Yep, I knew it. Yeah, that's all right. I don't have a still aboard of it. Well, we can do you can join in on the open fire pit one. There you go, Kathy Bates. Kathy, <laughs> making his cake, checking it twice, <laughs> getting ready for the birthday party. Yep. Keep it how it is. You know the deal. Well, we're always up for a change some stuff, Kane. I mean, you can make things better. You can make them worse, but try other things. Why not? Yep. Hmm? No one. That's why you can't use a stove, YKB. We how are you, that. Carrie? Yep. Carrie, hello. Who has a stove in a cell? We're not using the stove. I got my hot plate. My hot water from the coffee pot in the microwave. Yep, I got my hot water going in my coffee pot, and I got my microwave. Mm -hmm. And I got Ziploc bags. Yeah, and Ziploc bags. But you get Ziploc bags. Can't have Ziploc bags. Yes, you can. Are they on the commissary list? No, they ain't. I know they weren't on the commissary list. That's right, recycler. I'm sure. I know you can get the Tupperware containers and the cereal bowl, but they would have never gave us Ziploc bags. You make hooch in Ziploc bags. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> no, go ahead. If you're just using them to hold the heat, go for it. But. Just to hold the water over your noodles—is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah I just got the burrito. Yeah, I just got the rubber made ones like we had there. I got one of those for my cheesecake. Yep. Yeah. I have a wood stove in my tent. That'll work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We kind of had that. Some guys did that. They would build little fires under the uh, metal bunk of the bed and use it like a big flat iron. In my prison, there was Ziploc bags. Well, that was one of the reasons why we all went off the same commissary list. Kathy. Yep. So that way everybody has an even keel. I could do my burrito in one of my clear Tupperware things. Yeah, it's that's what we had. So I remember so many times because even in like the county jail, like you have one of these. Yeah. And then like they come around and pick up everybody's thing and then they go, some guy gets paid to go microwave it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And then you hand it to him, be like, you know, this cell, give him your name and be like, hey, throw it in for three minutes. <laughs> Where's the clear plastic mud? I don't know, Jenna. Bottom bunk was hot. Yeah, if I had thought um, about it recycling. I don't think I have mine anymore, Jenna. I'm almost positive I don't. I wasn't there that long until I got shipped out, so. Is that the one? Yeah, there is one of them. <laughs> that is one of the travel ones that you get in there when you're out walking the yard <laughs> the yard I've seen it done on the steel staircases too yeah except like now like I said we got, I could have totally cheated because it's right on that commissary list I could have just ordered out from downtown yeah. restaurant <laughs> yep it is on the commissary list well, they can just you order out barbecue to eat. That's yeah i could have had a whole barbecue it. outside yeah i 
I used to make some ghetto chips in it. <laughs> Seven hours, 45 minutes. Only time or the longest time. <clears throat> I had to sit there and wait for a while, right? That's right, recycling. I had to get filed through the whole system, and then the United States Marine came in and pulled me out, and then I went to basic, and I did my first time that way. All right, Judy, no problem. We appreciate it. You got a birthday. Prison food? Are we prepping now? Now we're waiting for Lisa and Bashful. So today's cook-up is going to be ramen noodles and hot rods. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Jet Wash said we, 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 we tried to tell people not to do hot rods. Mike said we didn't want to be responsible for anybody burning the house down by electrical fire. Yeah. Definitely not. All right, Lauren. All right, Lauren. Take care. Good to see you, young lady. Don't make don't be so damn gone all the time. <laughs> Mike is making Jolly Rancher dildos. Fuck yeah. How do you know about Jolly Rancher dildos, Jenna? Here's the Brody. Did a Brody coming to see what Mama's doing with all this food? Beef jerky. Uh, Doris picks them up or the meat stick, one of the two. Yeah, a meat, a beef stick. No, a hot rod jet washes the two pieces of wire into a plug in that you drop down. They also call them stingers to boil water and shit. I know, Jenna. I thought for sure he would he would be participating. Mm -hmm. But no. Did you remind him before he went to bed? Hey, hey. He, I fucking... sent a reminder to the round table. He's in that. Yeah. Yep. Did you tell him though? This is your time to shine, fucker. Remember? <laughs> this is pretty much we're having the cook off like the play by Jimmy Rules cook off. Yes. <laughs> Uh-huh. I heard things. <laughs> I uh, heard things. No, I wasn't talking about Stinger. I was talking the hot rod meat sticks. Oh, the old I greasy never... ones with the cheese beside it. Oh, yeah. I never heard of it called a hot rod. Mm -mm. I know we have them here, Jet Wash, with the cheese beside it, but I don't think they're yeah. called hot rods. You will be later. <laughs> With the God's honest truth already, Kane. <laughs> Dice it up, put it in the ramens. Yeah, we did that shit. Yeah. Well, that's that why was... I got the beef sticks. And then yeah. on the commentary list here that we're using, they can get a chicken breast. So Yeah. Well, that chicken breast is those pouches. It's like four ounces. But it's, it's called chicken breast. It's like four oh. ounces or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's those pouches. So. Oh. Yeah, we get the chicken ones, but we'd always get the roll of the summer sausage or even get the spicy and yeah. dice that on up like he's talking, and then you throw it in the ramen. And then you buy well, that, four of the you buy four of the jalapeno cheese cups. I just bought the one big one. And then you throw that all into that cheese, and then you crush up your flaming uh, hot Cheetos and your Fritos yeah. and all that going. Well, in that there. was why I bought the beef stick. <laughs> was to chop it up and put it in my Yeah. Yeah, I did the summer sausage instead. But <laughs> The only difference is we're going to use knives. That's like one of the only things where you're going to see is kind of cheap, but we're going to use knives and silverware and we're going to put it on real plates. Yeah. <laughs> or paper plates or whatever, but 
Because in the prison there, we'd have the, the big totes that go under your bed. About the size of the one that you brought me the fucking Oreo things in. Yep. We had big totes like that, just deeper. But that size. And we'd stack your envelopes and stuff in there from all your legal mail and your pictures, that things you didn't want getting ruined. Yeah. We keep them in there, but we take the lids off of them. That'd be our cutting board and our plate. Ah. <laughs> Imagine Jimmy just comes in all of a sudden, out cooks everyone. <laughs> 30 seconds at a time. <laughs> 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 That's gonna be Jimmy's new fucking saying. I live my life with the thirty second at a time. That's not funny. Hey, so Becca. Much. I was waiting for him to tell me to get him a Jack's pizza because they can get that. <laughs> yeah. The Wonder Pizza you use the ramen, and then you could you reconstitute it back into a dough. Keep yeah. kneading it through. And then you roll it out flat and then you do your sausage and your cheese and everything and you throw it on your hot plate. Uh, what up, Buster Tim? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Tim. And then you do the same thing like what he's talking with the beef sticks, the hot rods, what he was calling them. You dice all them up and you throw them on as your topping and you sprinkle your shredded chicken breast and stuff on there and you hey, Becca. cover it with your cheese. Yep. And then it goes on your hot plate. Normally, somebody would, you'd like make a cover just to hold up and then you'd like tent it so that that gets hot on the top until it starts to melt. Have you already cooked? Oh, yeah, we're done, Becca. <laughs> it's ramen noodles. That was two minutes. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't started yet, Becca. We're waiting for some slack, is Becca. Yeah, we're waiting on Bashful and Lisa. That got linked. But Lisa had to go into work for something, and Bashful forgot about it and had to go grocery shopping. <laughs> If she's listening to this show as she's driving, you guys probably gave her nine million ideas already. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Knock it off. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> Tell him. Fucking hey. <laughs> yeah, nothing's going to take too long, Becca. Like I said earlier, the longest thing that's going to take me is letting my cheesecake set. Well, it depends. Like, well, if you're going to microwave your noodles, yeah. But it takes three to four minutes for your ramen to cook when you get the hot water on them, depending on how hot your coffee pot gets. Mine holds it, like, right before fucking boiling. So that's why I have to throw two ice cubes in my coffee to drink it. You're going to be waiting a long time for Lisa. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad. Thomas Reed. Can you see him? Mm hmm. Kathy, that's getting your his, box of stuff. Getting his attention from the box. Yep. <laughs> your hair looks really cute today, Miss Doris. Oh, thank you, Becca. Right, Jenna? That was the hardest part for me. It's not that I forgot. I knew like everything that I used to make, but I just don't remember the exact order. How I used to do it. So. Because I thought about doing the lasagna that we used to do. I thought about <laughs> tons of them. The ghetto spaghetti was another one. Yep. <laughs> squirrel and dumplings. They don't get squirrel in prison. Although I guess they could. You caught one, maybe. I've never seen too many squirrels on the prison yard while the inmates are out. No. You could set a snare up, though, and catch it on your next time out. Good. The weirdest one I ever seen, and I didn't see it in real life. I've seen it on, um, like, a documentary thing. 
I think it was New York. The fucking inmates were fishing. They, yeah. The storm sewer drains ran under their sidewalks. And they would lower sharpened paper clip hooks down there. And they'd pull out these fucking little sunfish. Like actual fishing. <laughs> Not like fishing for the letters off the tiers. Like actual fucking fishing. Oh my god, Doris, my box is private. <laughs> what up, Chico? I am doing uh, burritos with a chip dip and a ice cream sandwich dessert. And I am doing a burrito with... I haven't decided if I'm going to do brown rice or white rice. Um, and I am doing a cheesecake for dessert. Mm -hmm. What kind of ramen did you get, Doris? I just got the chicken. Oh, look who it is. Bing Yay. Bong. Um, bing bong, bing bong. Hi, Bashful. Oh. How are you, young lady? I'm what good, do you got? Dark what dark. do you got going on over there? Uh, <laughs> I just got back, so I ain't started yet. Oh, I already see steam rolling. So, <laughs> well, yeah, I have to have some hot water. <laughs> oh. Ah, thanks, Chico. I'm going to make dollhouse gumbo and a espresso cheesecake. Oh. oh. How about you? I am doing the jailhouse burrito style and then a jailhouse chip dip and then the uh, ice cream sandwich in between the the white iced honey buns. Nice. Yep. But I also know the espresso trick, and that's one of my toppings on my ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I am doing oh. a burrito with rice and a cheesecake. And a cheesecake. We just need Lisa, so you got time. All right. <laughs> Is Lisa coming? Yeah, she said she was. Good deal. She had to go into work. No. Don't forget to cast your sausages in a condom. <laughs> a dollhouse combo. No, she said a no. jailhouse gumbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that a burrito also? No. It's um, it's a gumbo turned down from the ramen noodles and stuff. So now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> we do Chico. We make people hungry during these things. Mm -hmm. And I cheated. I bought the big fucking jar. I wasn't buying four of those fucking cheese cups. <laughs> you bought what? The big jar of the cheese. Yeah. I bought the big glass jar because four of them cheese cups were like $13 and the jar, which is bigger, is like eight. <laughs> you are greedy. Okay, Kathy, get a box, put something in it, send it to someone, they put something in it, they send it to someone and so on. When all the people get the box, they send it to me. I am greedy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, then by the time by the time it gets to you, Kathy, that boss <laughs> is going to be worth a lot of money. <laughs> right? I don't want to be that last person shipping it. That's what I said. When you got to mail it outdoors, just bring it to me first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I can see chat. Start out with one of them small um, freight boxes where it ships yep. the flat rate ones. Yep. And then we'll pack it completely plumb pull so nothing else fits and put a lead brick in there and then send it to Bashful. 
And then she's got to take the lead brick out in a bigger box. <laughs> hey, James Gibson, how are you? Hey, what up, James? 3.57 in the morning. Why are you still up, Chico? You see where stamps are going to take another hike in, I think, July? Like 73 cents. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it's supposed to go up. Yep. Yeah. Crazy. Villainous. Mm. Everything I ship or whatever, we have an auto scale thing. You just throw it on there. And it, yeah, that's what we need to do with the deck pages. But now a freaking deck page is costing $10 to mail out. Mm. Crazy. Why KB isn't allowed to touch my box? <laughs> okay, Kathy. That's not funny, Becca. I almost made a Twinkie cake just for Kathy. Mm -hmm. I got Kathy. a Twinkie lure I got to send out to Kathy. So, yeah. Yank finished it up and sent it to me so I could see it, and I'll send it off to Kathy. I got to wrap it better than he did, though. <laughs> I just woke up because I I oinky sense that you guys will cook. <laughs> His <laughs> oinky senses were going off. <laughs> well, actually, it was very I hot. Because it's very hot. <laughs> yeah. His oinky senses were tingling. <laughs> it's freaking gorgeous out today. <clears throat> it is. I got all the windows open and everything. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I'm fixing to let her outside. So yard, I can my, my shorts with the dogs. I got right. the ceiling fan on. If it was going to be over 70 tomorrow, the air conditioner would have been on. Yeah. But <laughs> it's going to cool off some tomorrow. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. It did a great job on that thing. Did you see it, Doris? No. Oh, you didn't see it? Oh. oh. Down here by the down here on the computer desk, so I don't fucking forget about the thing. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Got there. the bite marks out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where's the cream filling? <laughs> yeah. 55 got, mile an hour winds got some weight to her I bet it looks big yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> oh you can keep that we had the winds the other day holy shit yeah it was very windy that day I'm gonna see Mary popping out anywhere else today, right? Uh, we're just going into spring, Chico. Mm hmm Here it's the Philippines. It's almost peak summer. Yeah, no, you can keep that, Chico. Nope. That's a hard pass. Thing's got ten pounds of paint on it. No, I don't actually. <laughs> Maybe the resin coating, but Seventy nine degrees here today, so pretty outside except for some wind. Yeah, it's seventy six yeah. here. Yep. It's too fucking hot. That's all I know. I'm ready for hot weather. It was beautiful it was outside late. yesterday. No, it could fucking start snowing again tomorrow for all I give a shit. Hell no. <laughs> I'm so over the snow. Well, we only had one snow, but I'm over the gloomy weather. I like the snow. The colder it is, the better. No. Mm. All I do is sit in the house when it's cold. I don't want to be in the house all the time. Go to work, come home, <laughs> sit in the house. What? Welcome back to us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Yep. So one thing that I hate about the laptop. It, right. It has hiccups. Yeah. Mine too, apparently, today. Where Not dirt, the gold flakes. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really either jet wash. We might have got the very first snowstorm we got was the only accumulation, really. The rest yeah. of it was all ice and shit. We got like five eighths of an inch of a uh, freaking ice in one shot. Yep. Uh, yeah, it didn't get as cold as it did last year, but it definitely, uh, we did spend a good amount of time below freezing, so. Yeah, yeah, we only had the what, the one week, maybe a week and a half uh, of the actual negative, real cold. Yeah. Yeah. Like negative 50 and negative 60 right in there. Yep. Which sucked. I like it when we have like a month, a month and a half of that. Then it's beautiful. Lisa Thomas coming to visit. Saying hi, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Say hi, Thomas. Hi, Brody. Hi, Brody. Yeah. Stray cat would make a good burrito. No, Stray cat. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Yeah, I'll take your word for that one. Yeah. I feel like chicken tonight. Like chicken. <laughs> I don't even eat the chicken on the stick because of that. Oh God. Ah, hopes. What did you say you were doing now? Gumbo? Is that what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Right now you, I'm making uh, my Oreo crust for my cheesecake. Hey, you're cheating. Are you already cooking? What? I didn't know you're you cheating. all. I thought you all already started. No, we just laid up the live stream, but waiting on you two. Oh, well. Whoops. Whoops. I'm just crushing Penalty. Oreos. Penalty. Early start. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I was running behind. I didn't realize no, that. we were nice and waited. I know. <laughs> then she just comes in here tearing shit up. I think she's warming that water up on the stove, too. That's really cheating. I can't use my tap water. It's disgusting. It comes out you like can't use the You can't use the stove, though. You got to warm it up in your microwave or in your coffee pot. Fine, I'll warm it in the coffee pot. Damn. Now that it's already, it's already boiling. fucking boiling. <laughs> I'll turn it off. <laughs> I I just used some uh -huh. a half a cup of it for my freaking make my <laughs> Wow. It's yeah, my water comes out right? like rust here, so he can't. I don't even. No, that's fine. Water. I don't care that you, if you're using bottled water, whatever you can get bottled water in there. But uh, yeah, you can't use your stove because inmates didn't have stoves. Fine, fine. I'll use hot plate, the... coffee pot, and microwave. I use the coffee pot for the hot water. <clears throat> Maybe kind of. Stop bullying basketball. She's cheating, Chico. She's cheating. Well, what's the difference in a hot plate and a stove, though? Come on now. It's a burner. A hot plate is the griddle. No, they only you can only turn them up to 220. All right. There's no uh, temperature control on a hot plate. And then you just plug them in. They only get 200, 200 to 220. All right. Mine didn't. Mine will get. Mine had temperatures on it. Yeah. A civilian one will, an inmate one doesn't. 
I got you. It's just a big round plate, and it only gets to like boiling temp. Actually, I'll probably use my microwave instead of the coffee pot. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't think they have microwaves. Yeah, they do. In all the common areas, yep. Right. I vote for basketball. There are always inmates that get special treatment. Ain't none of them got stove tops in their book. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Seen the inside of a lot of prisons for different shows and things like that in real life. I ain't never seen one with an oven. Look, like, oh yeah, I got an oven in my cell. Go ahead, throw it in there at 350. <laughs> Oven, damn it. Stove, I oven, it's all part. I was in a county jail <laughs> for 72 hours. That's it. Mm -hmm. Is that when you wrecked the Mustang 15 times? No, that's when I went to jail over <laughs> Lent in my purse. Oh. Yeah. Told me it was marijuana. It wasn't marijuana because okay. I was too damn broke to buy marijuana. It was most certainly Lent. So you I worked at a sewing factory. All right. <laughs> Mike, are you cooking yet? No, not yet. We could start, I suppose. See what the hell taking Lisa's damn long. Right, I got my Oreos here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to separate the cream from the cookies. I want you all to notice these two didn't wash their fucking hands before they started. I was oh, washing my hands. hands. <laughs> I, <can't talk. laughs> I washed my hands before I started and I washed my hands again after I put Sue outside. Oh, and yeah. I got gloves on. Good clean hands. Oh. <laughs> I just knew that would get you both super offensive right away. <laughs> hey, what kind of ramen did you buy, Doris? I told you chicken. Oh, you bought all chicken? Yeah. Oh, so you know you have to buy the other ones like the chilies and stuff for that flavor package in there. That's why I bought the Frito Lay thingies. That's only part. Gonna have a heartache tonight. Ah, oh, damn soy, what's going on, bud?
got my honey bun. What other kind of bullshit is she cheating with over there? Who? <laughs> you. I put coffee <laughs> in my Oreos. Well, yeah, no, that's fine. You can buy coffee. I mean, yeah, I buy that. Oreos. <clears throat> I would just start it and they're already cheating. I am not cheating. Cheat. Sure. Well, Doris isn't. Just basketball cheating so just far. Basketball. That's just basketball. I didn't cheating. know yeah. I hadn't started. Uh huh. Sure. She started basketball. cooking sure. without us. She's using her stove top. That's some bullshit. I know. Completely utter bullshit. Tell us, Sarah. Tell us. She's wearing sterile gloves like fucking inmates had them available. Hey, I watched <laughs> inmates cook and they did have gloves on. <laughs> Not that's the inmates that cook in the fucking in the prison. No, he like, was cooking in his room. And, and so, bashful real inmates don't have YouTube. <laughs> Just <to> FYI. <laughs> well, they was really young themselves. They had their phones. Prison officer. My kiss the screws. <laughs> Mike is bullying everybody. <laughs> he is, isn't he? <laughs> Look, I have a thing about stuff being on my hands. <laughs> this is why you're single, Bashful. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Got this thing about stuff getting on my hands. <laughs> I can't do. <clears throat> Hey, I never said I was a good wife. <laughs> we all escaped and then broke into the kitchen after running down to the 7-Eleven. Bye, Doris. <laughs> all right. Doris froze. Yeah, she dropped out. Bye, she be, she'll be back in a second. This is like her fifth time. <laughs> Doris is broke, like she's telling us all off. Yeah. She'll be back. She'll be back. Can't keep a good Doris down. Oh, no. Just because there's two mics, that doesn't mean it gets more votes. <laughs> That's why I did it across Zoom, Kathy. So that if any of these guys had more cameras set up or something, that we could allow them in. So you cutting your shit up with a a, a credit card? I, I ain't cutting anything. I'm just pushing and breaking the bomb and pushing down I on the counter. You. You can, I mean, you can see it right there in the camera. I'm watching myself do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you cutting yours up with a credit card? Because, I mean, you know all inmates have credit cards. I'm not going to cut nothing up. What, so you're not putting any meat in your gumbo? What? You're not putting any meat in your gumbo? I am. I got summer sausage. How are you cutting it up? My fingers. With your fingers. It's rocks. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let's see that. Cutting up summer sausage with your fingers. If I'm you gonna, can cut a sausage with your fingers, I'm gonna that's another reason it. you're single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to crumble it up, okay? <clears throat> There's no damn Twinkies in prison. There are. <laughs> I mean, besides the kind you're thinking of, there's the other kind too. <laughs> There's Doris. Join him. Join him.
You're on mute, Doris. You're on mute. The inside out pocket Twinkies, yeah. Hello? There you are. I want Twinkies someday. This is because of Tallahassee. <laughs> Back in. Freaking laptop quit, quit on you? Yeah, it booted me off the internet and Ooh. Ew, what is that in that bowl? What? In that bowl? Bass bowl with her that fucking bowl? storm drain water. Oh. Is that sewer it's my water? Coffee. My coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bass bowl. You didn't hear me. What? Because I got put it off the internet. I said real inmates don't have YouTube channels. Oh, no, we heard that part, and then he froze up. Oh. <laughs> they have TikTok channels. <laughs> they do not. Yep. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> All the ones that have cell phones snuck in there are doing TikToks and shit. And yep. They sure are. <laughs> Red and blue. A beep -a -doop -a -doo. No, I don't need that. Ha! Ah! Great idea, Mike. Yeah, All the water's no. boiling hot. Put your fucking hand on it. Yeah. Damn dogs. Eh? I said damn dogs. Oh, okay. Hot blooded. Check it and see. Uh. And they rest. Yeah. Oh, you weren't here, Doris, because you got kicked off the internet. But Bashful's going to yeah. show us how to cut up summer sausage with your fingers. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you can apparently crumble it with your fingers. That's right. We're crumbling All right. fingers. I have my water here, and I have chicken here. I'm gonna put hot water on the chicken. Gonna I got add. my sausage. If I had bashful here, I'd just have her chop it up with the fingers. I'm gonna uh, add my ramen. Season you what? I'm Your using what? the the beef stew mix for my yep. brew. Oh, not a bad idea. It's got my vegetables in there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Good idea. I put my Good chicken thinking. in my microwave in some water. Chicken in the I microwave. Got, huh? I cream cheese that I'm oh. going to use with some coffee creamer, non-dairy coffee creamer, and the cream from the cookies to make my cheesecake part. Yeah, they really do, Becca. They get quite a bit, especially here. I made my crust. My crust is... They even get to order on that again. sheet that you had. They even get to order from In and Out. I know. Yeah, they or, get to no, order cookout. out. It was cookout, yeah. not In and Out. Yeah, I yep. know. That's what I told. That's what I told uh, 
Doris, I was just going to cheat and order from takeaway from downtown. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give this meat out of here to my dog. Can, can you all oh, hear me? Can you see me? I can't see you. I cannot see you. You have a camera. Oh. All I can see is CJ. Hey. My package ah. chicken here. He's having a hell of a day with the internet over there. <laughs> Is my camera still off? Yes, ma'am. Are you on the uh, laptop? Can you see me? Oh, oh, oh. It's trying. It's black, though. You selected something. Hello? Hello? Think I'm ripping my saw my saw, ugh, sausage. You're ripping your sausage. I'm ripping my sausage. Attica. Santa, it's beautiful outside. Go enjoy it. <laughs> Go act like a dog. I think Doris took your uh, advice. She just dropped out again. Am I back? Am I back? Your camera's your hey. camera's blacked out, but you're back, yeah. Like. Yeah, I hear Hello. you. Can you not hear me? <laughs> okay. All right. Now you're back on there. There you go. I can hear you now. My shit's fucking with me. All right. All so right. I have my cream cheese here. 
I have a, a Milky Way that I'm going to crush up and put in my cream cheese mixture. I get my chicken going. Got to get my chicken going. <laughs> I like how you're calling it outdoors, like it's a game or top chap or something here. Sorry, I can't see chat right now. My shit's fucking with me. That's okay. They're all just talking shit. Huh? Kane Sample said he's voting yeah. for basketball because she's got gloves on. Thank you, Kane. Okay, my Cajun. Got uh, noodle. Apparently, inmates get rubber gloves. <laughs> I looked on the commissary list. I didn't see them on there. What, rubber gloves? Yeah. Whatever. I don't think you look close enough. There's a lot of hygiene products on there. <laughs> All right. So that's done. So my cheesecake is here. I'm just going to let it set. There's mm -hmm. a Milky Way in there with the cream from the cookies and cream cheese. The crust mm -hmm. is the cookies and the two honey buns all mixed together to form a dough. So mm -hmm. that's going to set now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. My chicken just has to sit. And now I'm going to start my burrito part, the crust. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right, we got some. Did you just say you're oh, making your own crust? Crust for what? I don't know. She said she was going to start her crust. Well, my stuff for my burrito. Oh, yes. Not my crust, but. Yeah, that's what I heard. Are you in a hailstorm, Doris? <laughs> no, I'm crushing up my oh, and my ramen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I have my phone right beside it. So now I'm oh, going to take you. this and I'm going to add a little bit of hot water to it. Yep. 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 And now... I'm going to take this. Oh, shit. My bag is Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It just got serious. <laughs> mm.
What up, Chris? What are we having for supper? Me and Doris are doing burritos and different desserts, and Bashful's making ramen noodle gumbo. Not ramen noodle. Oh, what are you using for the noodle part? I'm not using instant, but... Uh, oh, instant rice? rice? Oh, yeah. okay, there you go. Oh. It was a pre-cooked rice, the packaged, the, uh, packaged chicken. Yep. Summer sausage. Yep. Uh, the seasoning pack from the Cajun ramen noodles. I got the uh, the premium package chicken pouches too. <laughs> All right, so you see. I'm going to shred my chicken. And my vegetables are from my uh, beef stew. I gave my dogs the beef out. Oh, oh yeah. look at that. It's I cooked all the way through. Can you see my my chicken? I got my yeah. stew or my gumbo cooking in my water. What up, Ben? I got my diced up summer sausage on the flat griddle with my chicken. Pretty much just got to warm them up. It's all pre-cooked. Do 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 why why I got my cream cheese. I'm gonna put a little lemon time or country time lemonade in it to give it that cheesecake flavor. To give it that cheesecake flavor. Yeah, you gotta put lemon in your cream cheese to make cheesecake. I don't remember seeing lemonade on that commissary list either. There was packages of lemonade. <laughs> Crystal light lemonade, yep. Okay, well, I got country time. <laughs> Same freaking thing. Too late, I man. Don't know about that. <sighs> I don't know about that right. either, Doris. So here's my chicken all shredded up. Uh -huh. I'm going to add some, some salsa to it. Some salsa? Salsa? Yep, yep. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna put my coffee in here. So what I did was I have I bought the wrong salsa. I admit I meant to get a package of envelope of salsa, and I got freeze dried. I know that's not Ooh. allowed in prison, but Ooh. so I added my salsa. Now I'm high and hungry. A little bit of the broth. Doris, that looks good. Hell yeah. Bashful got something good happening. Yeah. And now I'm going to take what are my pre cooked rices? See? Get a bowl. And throw that in the microwave. Uh huh. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mine's all on the uh, mine's all on the hot plate, the griddle. Warming up my sausage and my chicken mix. Oh, you can kind of see it out of that camera. I suppose we could we could do it like Doris and bring everybody really close. I got my chicken and my summer sausage on the griddle. We don't have Christmas Tupperware in prison, Mike. But I'm only using it for rolling. No, that's fun. Go ahead. I mean, look at Bashful. She's got a metal spoon in her hand. It is not. It's a plastic spoon. It's just a fancy plastic spoon. Oh, it's chrome plated. Yep. <laughs> uh, my my ramens are swelling up in their water here. So I got that going. And my flavor package is waiting to go in and my cheese is waiting to go in and then I'll crush up some Cheetos. I'm going to change out my water. You should change out your water. Yeah, I got to keep it hot. All I can tell you, Bashful, is you could never cook in an actual prison. <laughs> you would starve to death by the time you made yourself something in a cell. You don't have much time to do anything in there. I mean, you got... A lot of time to do stuff in there. Yeah, they got nothing but time. Exactly. But I mean, so. it's they want to eat sometime, you know. I'm actually almost done. Let my cheesecake rest a little bit. Yep. That's what my burrito wrap looks like right now. Got my chicken there. My rice is almost ready. Yes, sir. And I got some, I know it's a bigger bag than what they have, but I got some great value shop cheddar here. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're trying to say sharp cheddar or shop cheddar. Sharp like a knife. Bum, 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 bum. Mm, smells good. Sure, it does. I'm going to go over to my computer just because now I just got to let everything sit. And my laptop hasn't let me back on yet. I'll leave my phone in here so y'all can see that I'm not cheating. I'll be right back. Got to swap headphones.
Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let me in, Mike. Huh? Let me in. Let you in? Oh. Look at my face. No. <laughs> And no, Kane, he will not be able to have any of that. Let me go mute my other one. I'll be right back. Yanking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your crank. What up, buddy? Good to see you, Chris. How you been? What the hell are you barking at? You? They don't want you. Get in here. They don't even like you. They don't even like you. You think the neighbors got a love on her? They don't even like her. Right? Mm. Half of my summer sausage and half my chicken go in there. Now, if I'm a damn seasoning, we go in with a couple of these chilies. Mm -hmm. Get that chili seasoning in that one. We're going with the chicken too. Feel the chili. So my shit's almost ready to wrap. Chicken. I feel like chicken tonight. We got that. Ooh. <sighs> Grab our liquid gold. Is that a glass container? Sure What's is. That? I told you I wasn't buying the individuals. Oh. They had the individuals, but like I said, for the package of uh I think it was like four or six individuals. It was like thirteen something. Holy the little shit. cups. Yeah. This is like six, seven. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. Tell him it never happened. Not for, okay. Not just for a cook off. Right? That was my thing. That's I'm like Yeah. I, I don't want to spend a whole shit ton of money. Yeah. Yeah, especially you got so much shit going on in your house and trying to do all that and Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you. All right, I'm going to go see if my shit's ready. It's nice and hard to just see me put my hand over it. It's almost set. And I'm going to put the chicken inside it with the rice. And then I'm going to wrap it. Are we it. talking about your dessert here? No, <laughs> what are we talking, talking about? I'm talking about my burrito. Oh. <laughs> I, all I got out of that is it's nice and hard. <laughs> Why is your burrito hard? Well, the 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 I wanted to let it form so I could wrap it. 
you know. So nope. I took a I took a Tupperware and I I like used it almost like a rolling pin. Yeah. So I could wrap the chicken and rice in it. Yep. Not a bad idea. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Getting my cheese mixed into everything right now for my filling. Very the nice, cheese very and the nice. summer sausage and the chili flake or the chili seasoning packages and the chicken package. Might go in with a little extra cheese on this. Probably, Kathy. Probably. What's that? She said Jimmy will wake up just in time to eat. Yeah, maybe. Mmm. I don't know if I will. You don't know that if you is will good. Like. It's good. Oh yeah. My chicken stuff smells really I'm good. I'm having like flashback moments right now, honestly. <laughs> I know, I can't wait to try it. I've never tried prison food. I've just been told how to cook it. Mm. The inmates would like I would see them doing shit and I'd be like, How'd you do that? And Mm -hmm. But I've never tried. The only thing I've tried is candy, like hard lollipops. That oh, yeah. Yep. That's yep. the only thing I've ever tried. Yeah, they have a yeah. they have a kettle yeah. or whatever you can melt Jolly Rancher down. And yeah, that's what he used to do. And he would use different flavors together. Yep. Yeah. We used to do yep. that, too, with the sour apple ones and then buy the um, uh, butter... Car caramel fucking things. Yep. Make our own candies that way, yeah. And I actually, from one of my inmates, I actually learned a cool way to soothe a sore throat with no medicine. He used to oh, put, yeah? he was like, just to use a <clears throat> cup of tea and take a honey cough drop, like a Hall's honey, mm -hmm. and put it in there and let it dissolve. Yep. And it actually works really good. Oh yeah. We're doing a cook off hidden. A cook off. Cook off. Yep. And I got my Cheetos. We'll crush them up. Flaming hot. They'll go into my bag here. I'm using all of them. And then I'll throw some of the uh the Frito chili cheese chips. Yep, those I already we'll have in up. my noodles. We'll crunch them up too. Check and see how that's doing. I'll be in the mm -hmm. kitchen in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, how with that? Dan, butter. All right, so here is my burrito wrap. I got my rice. I got my chicken over here. I've got my back cooking in the microwave. And now I'm going to layer everything and see if I can wrap it and get it to stay together. Okay. We'll see. Shinga, 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 shinga. You want laid a stuff, kid, and you'd know. Doris is going to be back in the kitchen. Doris is going to be back to the kitchen, and Jimmy will be fucking taking the last bite of her food, right? The one cook-off we do that's almost purposely made for Jimmy. Nope, can't do it. Yeah. Season pork chops in the air fryer with veggies and taters. Yeah, I can. I'll get her one as soon as we're done. We don't do panel until after, but I'll get her one. She was on Alley Mac with us yesterday. Mm. 
All right, so there's my burrito all wrapped. The chicken's inside, the rice is inside. I just got to get it to form now. And there's my gotta cheesecake that's still setting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beef jerky rolls. I did get beef sticks, but I decided not to use them. <laughs> I decided to use chicken instead. Yep. There, yeah, my burrito feeling is complete. Microwave. Ew, what? Ben, it's fucking prison food, man. It ain't supposed to look appetizing. Mike pounding his meat on the string, folks. Yeah, buddy. Breaking up them goddamn Fritos and fucking Cheetos and Tostitos and Yep. All right. Time for the prison dip. Oh, you're prison my prison dip. dip. My prison dip. Yep. But people just like to say prison dip. <laughs> I don't know. It's a fun thing to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. I found another rubber made container. <laughs> I don't want to be pulling a basketball here and like breaking up fine china for the prison system. <laughs> but I got a crumb spoon. Uh, ew <laughs> to Mike's pound of meat. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, when Jet Wash said I was pounding my meat on stream, folks. Breaking up the uh chips. Mm. Yeah, plain ramen noodles with no season package, not good. No. Not really. I mean, it's not really a taste. Kind of reminds me of baby food. Yeah. Then we take our other half of our summer sausage chicken. We warmed up I'm on making, our hot plate. I made jailhouse gumbo and uh, espresso cheesecake. Hey, are you feeding that to your mom? What? Are you feeding any of that to your mom? Hell no. <laughs> oh. Uh, mine is a chicken burrito <laughs> with uh, salsa, chicken, and white rice on the inside. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I am doing a cheesecake. The crust is uh, the cookies of an Oreo. Golden cookies crunched up with some honey buns, mushed golden. into a golden, golden, mushed <laughs> up into a, a dough, and uh, the cheesecake cheesecake part is cream cheese, which they can get, and the cream mm -hmm. inside the cookies. Yeah, some non dairy coffee cream, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a crushed up Milky Way. Hey, I can't one? smoke weed. I can only smoke it right before bed. <clears throat> yeah, can Jesus. I take two hits what before I go to bed. I take three hits and it makes me sick. Brody, you <laughs> gotta get away from that what? food. I see you. Why are you I trying can... to make everybody have an addiction like you can? I used to have an addiction, but it all of a sudden it starts making me sick. I can see you, Brody. 
No, you can't. You can't see him. It actually looks good, Kate. The cheesecake, it does. Mm -hmm. And with the little bit that we saved for our salsa chip dip. Yeah. Get that flavor all in there. Mm. <laughs> It is like how we're explaining. I like how we're explaining what we're doing. Like this is some kind of high society cooking <laughs> thing. <laughs> what I did is a ramen reduction with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I take it Chloe's. Uh... Upset belly's better because she's over here gnarring on a rawhide bone. Yeah, I've seen a lot of the uh, prison candy in there. On yeah, not an addiction to videos. Actually, sounds good for a cheesecake. We used to make prison candy too. Hell yeah, we did. Yep, like I said, fucking one of the guys, originals and Jolly well, Rancher. What of they yeah. used to make little lollipops. Yeah. We had a guy that did that too. That was his gig kind of thing. Like he yeah, would. Uh, that's what this one him. was. That was his gig. Yeah. He would put, and it had like melted, he would put like melted, it was almost like a Tootsie Pop. So it would be a yeah. melted Tootsie Roll inside, yeah. wrapped in yep. hard candy. Yeah. This, this one did, he did all sorts of shit too. But he would uh, sell them for freight commissary or whatever. Yeah. You know, or so many stamps for a fucking one, or whatever it may be. Well, but now that they have cell phones and credit cards, I was surprised they don't just PayPal each other or something. Else. Right. We used to get tokens when I was in there, and that operated like all your vending machines on site. It was like one token was a pop, like out of a pop machine or out of a bag of chips out of a vending machine were tokens, <laughs> with smaller size. Now they have uh, debit cards. There's nothing out there. Damn dogs. They run debit cards now. Yeah, it's 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 crazy the shit that they have now. And I thought yep. it was bad when my guys got iPads. Right. That they could get emails through and listen to music. Yep. That is fucking inmate salsa right there. Holy shit. Mm. What up, Daryl? Thank you, buddy. Yank, I unfortunately, I didn't think of prison wine till today. Look so. at the fucking color on that. Mm. Look at the fucking redness in there. God damn. Mm. That's it. I'm going to break the law. I'm going back. <laughs> going back. Yeah, Jet Wash. <clears throat> I thought of it today. I was like, fuck, I should have freaking... Oh, you didn't do a prison drink? No. Oh, that bottle of hooch has been in the fridge since we decided this. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I didn't do a prison drink neither. You guys didn't do no prison hooch? Come on. All you have to do is buy some orange juice, throw some sugar in it, a little yeast, bread ball. Well, it did, yeah, it's in but your you fridge. Have, if you're really going to do it right, you got to do it right, man. I did. And then you just let it chill and you got to burp it. And been in there since we decided we were doing the prison cook-off for the first one. Yeah. And with my luck, I'd end up fucking going blind or something because I'd make it too <laughs> Poison fucking... myself for sure. <laughs> we had a guy that could do that. He could make it so fucking potent. He got one other inmate so fucking drunk he came out of his uh, cell on the third tier and shit himself all over just instant. Oh god. Just stumbling fucking drunk and then just shat. Like <laughs> and then fell over in it. Couldn't oh, stand because he was so drunk. Rolled around in it. And they're trying to haul him off to fucking PC for drunk tank. And <laughs> he's just covered it. Oh. Yeah. I was glad to be on the other side of the fence that day. <laughs> Got it. Okay. 
Doris, how come you didn't tell me to hit fucking start? Sorry, Mike. <laughs> I'm like, why is my microwave isn't even fucking going? And add fruit, yeah, any of the fruit wines, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, we always got the two. We either got an orange juice cup or an apple juice cup in the morning. So we, everybody would save their orange juices when we got it, and everybody in the in the whole row would throw in the orange juice because the apple juice one wasn't that fucking good. You need the really strong orange scent to hide the the homemade beer taste because it's fucking awful. Yes. <laughs> That's what I used to hear. Don't taste good, but it gets the job done. <laughs> yeah, it does not taste good. Yeah, the guys at my prison, Yank, all they would do is pretty much put a bunch of fruit, sugar, and bread in a in a bag and <laughs> yeah. just let it all go sour and Ugh. just yep. ferment. Yeah, and then it you get to one of your buddies. Yeah. yeah. You got to constantly burp that out too, and you do it in the shower yeah. because there's circulation vents. You don't get busted. Yeah, yeah, it would take. You got to take one of your buddies that work in the kitchen, and he brings you a fucking hairnet, the really fine hairnets they run to strain and you it. Put that upside down, and then you strain through it. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. You strain through the whole thing. I'm going to go see if my burrito is good to take out of the Ziploc bag. How do you get a balloon in prison? I don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> balloon is um a nickname for um sticking things up your butt. Right? You put it in a balloon and you put it up there. Normally exactly, drugs are done that Exactly, that's way. what I said. I don't even know what I don't even want to know where they got the balloon at. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they could have bought the balloon anywhere. The dollar store. The fuck. You can't buy it in prison. Someone's got to no. put it in their ass and bring it to you. In prison, you don't use a balloon. It's just called a balloon because that's the way things are brought in from the outside. Oh, okay. I got you. In prison, you'd uh, break the corner off of a garbage bag or something like that. Well, I got you. Yeah, what that dog said. Dooby dooby doo wah wah. Condoms are free in prison. Okay. Ah. Huh? Jetwash said the condoms are free in prison. Yeah. Anything from candy wrappers to garbage bags to the uh, fingers of gloves and shit. Even like if it was a used glove. Where it was going didn't really matter, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You asked, sister, you asked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, look at that perfect prison roll. Perfect. Like I did this before. And that goes on our hot plate. We got to see the burritos. Ain't that right, Wiggles? The jet wash says the guards would give you blue rubber gloves, so. Yeah, if you knew a guard, you were close enough with them? Yeah. Or if you had a, an in-house job cleaning the bathrooms or cooking or, you know, something along that line. Right. You needed it, but you couldn't just get them. You couldn't just, like, if you didn't have one of them jobs, you couldn't just walk up to the guard and be like, hey, I want a rubber glove. <laughs> Because they were also used partially in making hooch. All right. So this is like a 
really big ass motherfucking burrito. Is it really? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I said, this is a really big ass motherfucker burrito. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, Apparently, I didn't wrap we were just, You were one of them wealthy fucking inmates. Everybody gets a fucking five pound burrito. <laughs> <laughs> you had to come up with a fucking burrito. book of stamps and two packs of cigarettes to eat on fucking doors. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, what up, Ian? <clears throat> nice bit of falls in there, Mark. I appreciate it, Ian. Thank you, buddy. All right. Some nice folding to go with Doris' eight-pound burrito. <clears throat> they had the high roller burritos in that area. Oh. On that list, they were allowed to buy frozen burritos. Yes, ma'am, because you have a microwave. Burritos and pizzas and yeah, ice cream and fucking yeah, yeah. Anything that was pretty much microwavable that didn't have a certain metal container and stuff. Yeah, like yep. I said, you could have we could have even all just ordered out, ordered takeout and done it. But hello, Ian. First bite. Is, Here we go. We were doing. First bite. What you, what you, what you want? And there's some of my shredded chicken. Mm-hmm. 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 Wait in. Of course it's going to be good to you. You made it. Where the hell is Jimmy? Where's your taste tester, Doris? What? Where's your taste tester at? He's still in bed. You can't taste your own food and tell us how good it is. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm going to because I'm damn sure you have my mom taste it. <laughs> oh, no, you got to bring it to mom. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hey, basketball. 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 By the way, put your nose down. <laughs> he said that at Lisa's. He's like, basketball completely forgot. She still owes me some nose downs. Oh, man. Well, hold on. Let me go somewhere where I can actually do it. Damn it. You were, you were fine where you were. This actually is pretty good. It is. I need to be a different level. What the mother frig? But hey, Doris. So that's what the inside looks like. Oh, I'm Doris. Yeah. You forgot to plate. You know that, right? It is on a plate. No, like take the pictures. For the oh, fucking shit. show after the. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's been too long. I'll be back. I didn't think about it either until uh, I just started doing it naturally. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <laughs> Mike, we are sorry that I challenged you. You are the king. Oh, yeah. Okay. Something along that line. Remember? It? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. All right. Mike, I'm sorry that I challenged you. You are the king. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know. Damn. How many more of these damn things I got to do? Two. Okay. I, I took some pictures. That's it. I want to go to North Dakota jail. 
<laughs> right, Kate? Whenever Mike sent me the fucking list, I was like, oh my God. This yep. is gonna be fucking easy. Yep. Look at look at the nice fucking brownness on these doors. Look, come on, turn around, you fucker. Look at that. You see that Ooh. nice golden color? Oh yeah, that's how you do a grilled burrito, eh? It almost looks like you used wraps. Did you use wraps? I did. The flower tortillas. You can buy them. They're right on I the know, commentary list. But I wanted to do it creatively. I bought oh, some okay. just in case my ramen thing didn't work out. But yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, we never. We would have never wasted time doing a ramen wrap. But it's kind of cool you thought of it. Because, like, you're starving to death when you're in there. So the main point is actually right. just to eat substance. And that's why you add so much shit to these. You know, that's why you're making them with the Fritos in it and the Cheetos and the cheeses and the everything. Right. It's more about just, just adding substance to whatever the hell they tried to feed you. I sent you the pictures. Okay. So I got one of a close-up of the inside of the we, uh, we might have to send them to you. I don't have Messenger on here. Oh. oh, I can share pictures off of my phone. So. If we're going to do all that, I can share the pictures off of my phone. That's easy. All right. Do you want me so. to present mine now? Oh, I don't care if you really want to. You can. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't have to allow it. I think I already have it turned on. All right. So this is a picture that shows the inside with the chicken and the rice and the outside. Chicken in the rice. That just looks like a pile of stuff. I know. <laughs> Why did I bite out of it? Because I, I, I took a bite and forgot about the pictures. <laughs> that's why it looks a little messy. Uh, well, here's to and a fair fight, later. That's my... Big old burrito. Is that raw apparently... chicken? No. What is that brownie? What is that color? Those are my Fritos. Oh, my okay. Oh, I see what them. you... Yeah, that's kind of a cool idea. Yeah, so you my... needed to crush the almonds way more. Yeah, and I think that's where I went wrong, and I didn't roll it tight enough. Yeah, because you were almost did it. You almost made a pizza dough, but yeah, you got to really... Really crush the ramen down and then work them even after they're soft into a paste. Uh, and then add in your Cheetos as a flour almost. And then uh, go out. Yep. So, yeah, my wrap is ramen <clears throat> and chili cheese Fritos crushed up, added some water, steamed them in a Ziploc bag. And then when I did my, my, my inside, like my chicken and my rice, I flattened out the ramen and the Fritos and then layered it with the chicken and stuff. And then I wrapped it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why it came out so big. Mm -hmm. And then that is my cheesecake. Like I said, the dough is uh, golden cook Oreo cookies with cinnamon. Golden the topping is a uh, crushed up Milky Way with cream and the cream from the inside of the cookies. Oh. Prison ice cream is always such a bitch to open. Why is that? Mm. But this is actually good. Oh, yeah, they are. That's the bad part. That's why everybody leaves with high cholesterol. <laughs> Heart failure. And... Shanae. What up, Shanae? Uh, yeah. You ever hear any of the guys, like, talk about, like, it's hard to get used to, like, regular food again? Yeah. Yeah. So this is my chicken that I shredded up in the... Spices of the ramen and some water. I put hot water and a Tupperware, put the chicken in there, and then 
just to make sure it was fully cooked, I microwaved it for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Right off oh. commentary. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That killed me. <laughs> Fucking Ben and Jerry's. In prison. Uh, yep. The basic white girl. Anybody that doesn't know what an eye of white girl is, it's a, a honey bun with the white icing on it. Uh... And that goes icing down. And then you take strawberry cheesecake, and that goes on that one. And then another basic white girl. Put that on top. Uh, nobody's won yet, Shanene. Some people are still cooking. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll be done here in a second. I'm done too. I'm plating. Mm hmm. And you cut, you cut. My burritos are just sitting there. They're uh, they're ready to go. So. They're only at 200 degrees because, you know, that's all the fucking highest temperature you can cook at around here. Not all of us use the stove. Oh, this is the cheesecake. <laughs> Listen, I heated my water up. You told me I couldn't use the stove, so I used the freaking microwave. Damn it. Uh... Oh, nuts. Oh, nut, she says. Damn it. Haven't even voted yet, yet. Something in the cheesecake's not going right. My caramel melted over my cup. Ha ha. I mean, that's awful. What? <laughs> Get off that. Go outside. Go on. Go on now, get. Go ahead and say it for us, Bashful. Go on now, get. Right. And I plated my piece of cheesecake. I could hear you yelling about your cheesecake. What happened to it? I wasn't yelling about my cheesecake. Oh, sorry. That was bashful about her caramel. Sorry. So this is my piece of cheesecake. I know the ashtray does wonders, doesn't it? Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> You probably shouldn't have brought that up yourself, Doris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll do a we'll do a flyby before I take my pictures and send them to Doris. There, look at that guy. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, get all the angles. Ooh, a white girl. <laughs> Cheesecake. Yeah. Trying to fucking feed us something. Huh? Mm -hmm. 
The secrets of good pictures is a clean, clean camera lens. I love it when my phone tells me about. God damn, if only I knew. Mm -hmm. So easy to make good food. Where are we putting our pictures at? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. like. Yeah, you can uh you could probably send them to me. I can uh, save them and share them on my phone here. Mm -hmm. You really want me to share that with people? What? Great. <laughs> I cooked it in a bag in just hot water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That she boiled on the stove. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Why am I sending you shit? Wow. <laughs> just because I talked about it and then all of a sudden it just came in my head. Wow. Because I talked about it, talk about it, talk about it. Wow. Start the video. There we go. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Now we start the video with the camera backwards. That's awesome. There we go. Okay. And this camera is going to go off because, you know, you know, Sarah doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to stop the video on this one. It should drop from YouTube anyway. So perfect. I'll yell at her. I'll use an actual taste tester. Mm. I'm too many seasons and seasoning. It's, a... it's not my Who's fault. That? My fucking taste tester went to bed. <laughs> actually pretty damn good. Holy shit. Holy shit. I know I'm good. I'm eating all of that food. You are. That's yours. The dessert's in the fridge. <laughs> they didn't have refrigerators. What the hell? Uh, they can get ice cream. So apparently yeah. they do have refrigerators. Survey says? I did see the ice cream on the list. Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Got the participation medals. I placed second in the Malarkeyville Prison Cookout. All right. Rainbow ribbons for everyone. <laughs> you got to try the chip dip, too. And then I'll have to have you try the uh, dessert. Oh, yeah. Shovel it on there. No. Not bad. Good. 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 
Ne, ne. Honey bun, strawberry, cheesecake, ice cream sandwich. You can just cut off a bite if you want to, and we'll put it back in the freezer or something. You can eat that, and I eat that. I don't care. No. Yeah, I got it easy. I just got to give it to you. Bashful's got to bring it to her mom. I am not. <laughs> hey, short fry. Hey, short fry. Long time no see. How you been? Well, that must be really I, good, huh? Really good. <laughs> I can say that I'm not going to finish this burrito. No, you don't say. It's like a fucking 20 pound burrito. <laughs> but uh, when Jimmy gets up, I'll have him try it. Uh. Hmm. And there's that. But it is good. Good. No, Brody, you can't have none. Look at him. He's all like, Mama, I'll be your taste uh, tester. You know, Mama, you, I want to be your taste right? tester. I'm helping. There's a lot of food. <laughs> Inmates don't need help finishing their food, huh? I I should go wrap this so that way he can try it when he gets up. Mm hmm. It's almost exactly how I remember him. That's exactly how you remember him. Yeah. I might have to go beat up two sheriffs again. No. <laughs> mm. WTF Mike won again. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Gaming with Whiskey came in too, and I missed her. There she is. What up, Gaming with Whiskey? Hmm. All the good old days. Mm. Oh shit, my I'm telling you, these things are freaking delicious. Amazing. What'd you do, Basketball? Uh, short five watts, though. I kind of see what you got, Mike. Mm -hmm. It was a prison style cook off there, short five. It's um ramen, summer sausage, chicken, queso, burrito, and then you throw it back on your hot plate and like grill it.
I was in here when y'all were just sitting down, and I had two cameras on. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you come in. Trying to plate and take my pictures and yada yada. Uh, Bashful sent her pictures to Mike. I don't think she she presented. Mm -mm. Yeah, if you didn't show her dish, no. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. It is really good. I need my fucking magic notebook, Doris. Oh, yeah? I mean, because even though I got a good memory, it's not that fucking good. I don't remember what we all voted on. Are we doing all of them? Um, presentation, your technique, come on, come on, technique, <laughs> creativity, what would you pay, really? Right, we can't <laughs> do what would you pay? <laughs> my freedom, I'll give my freedom for another one, hey, my phone. <laughs> She didn't show her what? Yeah, Bachelor's not showing her shit. I did show it. I got some gator. I'm gonna cook later. Hell yeah. And I took a picture of it. Grilled gator is fucking amazing. Yeah, you just took pictures and sent them to me. I'll get them up here in a second. All right. I'm kind of loving this thing, huh? I'm playing the back kid right now. Ow. Uh, I see Lisa never made it back. I know. Yeah, I saw that. No respect. <laughs> if we don't watch it out oh, prison systems are gonna start giving furloughs so the inmates can take vacations yeah back where I'm from Becca they actually used to do that until an inmate that was out on furlough murdered a governor's kid in Maine I believe yeah and they stopped the furloughs. Okay, are you ready, Bashful? Are you going to talk us through this? Sure. What do we got? Jailhouse gumbo. It's pre-cooked rice, uh, pre-cooked chicken, summer sausage. Uh, I used beef stew for the vegetables and the roux. And some hot sauce and then I used the package from uh the Cajun Roman noodles that's my gumbo and then my cheesecake is Oreos crushed up with coffee and then mm -hmm. cream cheese with a little bit of country time lemonade in it and some coffee and then Ooh. crushed Oreos on top I'll, with... uh, I'll bring the uh, dessert one up just give me a second Oh, crushed Oreo. I was, only asking you to on I was only asking you to explain the one that was on the camera. Oh, well, I saw both of them on there. Yeah. Oh, now you can kind of see it. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, what? Just missed that. 
espresso caramel cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kathy. It was pretty good. <laughs> I put hot sauce on my gumbo. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't go crazy Ooh, with the hot sauce. Good. There's my cheesecake with caramel drizzle. Espresso cheesecake. <laughs> With caramel, caramel drizzle. Yes. Werther's caramel. Werther's. Werther caramel. They have a salted caramel. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I bet. Yep. See, there's my hot sauce. Oh yeah, we can see the hot sauce in it. I was going to ask you what the red was. But I didn't figure I would ask questions I didn't want to know the answer to. <laughs> <clears throat> might tell me mm. all right i'll share mine fine if you're gonna force me oh. mm. there we go i did the ramen noodle and summer sausage with diced chicken with a jalapeno cheese that is in it to fill it out and then put back on the hot plate and then grilled so mine is a grilled burrito and then i did a prison chip dip which is the ramen noodle summer sausage chicken and then you mix in all your salsa and then you throw in your cheese and then that all mixes up and that's what i have on the side and then my dessert on the white plate is um in prison terms what they call two white girls two iced honey buns with a slice of of strawberry cheesecake from Ben and Jerry's in the middle. Nice. Yep, it is. It is very, very good. The uh, prison ice cream sandwich. They are so tasty. You will get diabetes if you eat one. <laughs> um, and there you can see it better with the, um, the crushed Fritos and the Cheeto chips that are inside of it. And the, uh, the red hot Che or the red hot Cheetos and then the chili cheese Fritos are crushed up inside the burrito there. So give us a nice crunch. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Like you can't have like real plates in prison. Like that ain't right. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that at the beginning. At the beginning yeah. That that would be the only thing is <clears throat> that. We would, if we yep. plated it, we I was going to go get my big cover for my Rubbermaid container and plate on it, but but I seen Doris had a real plate and you had a real plate, and I'm like, well, fine. I didn't have a real plate. I had a paper plate, damn it. Well, whatever. You still don't have paper plates in prison either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll look at that commissary list. I think they did. They give them damn razors. Mm-hmm. Michael did his restaurant rich. style. Right? And he said I was a rich inmate. <laughs> Mike's don't look like prison food. It's too neat. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the bitch with the caramel drizzle? <laughs> you can't say mine's too neat. <laughs> He's a freaking hot plate, for God's sake. I would just use bull and water. That's all I Off of a stove. Off of a stove. No, I did not. <laughs> Out of the microwave. We saw it steaming on the stove. And then you said, I'll mm -hmm. shut it off. <laughs> yep. Oh, there it is. We are not doing that. There we go. Oh, uh oh, Mike. What's up? Minus points for Mike for not looking like prison. <laughs> <laughs> he's always an overachiever. <laughs> That's why he's got so many wins under his belt. Uh, Becca said, dang, I would pay for Mike's food. 
Oh, wait, my taxes <laughs> paid for that already. They're in prison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time, 444. Yeah, some of the stuff they could order was just out of this world. It was crazy. Yeah, it was. That it was. Come on, Cora. My name is Mud. got to make your food look sloppy and squished like the fast food burgers. And then it will look like an authentic prison food. <laughs> yeah, that, that was my burrito whiskey. My burrito was like a 12-pound burrito. It, yeah, it, it that was thing very was sloppy looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, having, it's so weird having two whiskeys in the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't bashful because hers looks more like prison. <laughs> well, that's all right, Carla. That's good. This was my burrito for those that weren't here when I originally presented it. I forgot and I took a bite out of the middle. And then This is a close up so you can see the inside, the shredded chicken and stuff that's inside it. And this was my cheesecake. Was, is. Is. The crust is the cookie part of golden Oreos with some cinnamon, some uh, honey buns crushed up into a dough. The top mm -hmm. is a crushed Milky Way with the cream filling from the cookies and cheese and cream cheese. Nice. <clears throat> Yours was really, I liked yours. And uh, it was interesting the way you tried to do your own rap. I think that was a good idea. Well, uh, I, I I thought I I was I wasn't expecting people to use store bought wraps. Well, of course, I mean because we had them available in the pen, you know. So I know. You were expecting more out of me. I see what you're trying to say. I was. I, I was, I was, I like was expecting a lot more out of you, Mike. No, I went prison style. You went fucking gourmet. And then Bashful <laughs> over here, I've never any met anybody in prison be like, let's do a gumbo. And with the caramel <laughs> drizzle Oreo cheesecake. <laughs> you guys can't call me over the top and then come at me with eight season gumbo and fucking cheesecakes and homemade wraps and, and then try to fucking blame me as I'm the bad guy. <laughs> I get one month free. Thank you, Kane. It was actually very good. I did eat it. Well, I ate some of it. Well, it, it looks was like prison food, though. I will give you Doris's. Doris's look like it could be prison food. It comes on the plate. And if they don't tell you what it is, you're not quite sure. You got to get up too close and inspect it. <laughs> hey, I didn't come up with the prison gumbo by myself. I cheated. I watched the guy on TikTok. Well, hell yeah. Of course you cheated. It's not like you were there and like remember doing it. <laughs> Kathy said, Nobody oh, come on, people. Mike's that. looks like restaurant food. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what this is. It's a presentation. We're on the presentation. So
Yeah, Mike's the villain. <laughs> right? I need to get the, um, oh, there you go, that'll work. Son of a bitch. No, Hold on, can... I, gotta, I got all these fucking papers where I won 25, 26 of these things in the way if... here. Now, Chico, he <laughs> could have ordered from a restaurant. Here in Jamestown, uh -huh. they can order from downtown restaurants. Yep. I could have ordered in. Don't be jealous because hers looks better, Mike. Yeah. Mike could have been on what? On a, a commercial. commercial. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine a commercial for prison? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is what our inmates get. Mm -hmm. our prison. <laughs> We home Alabama. Oh, we got, we got Doris. Food. Oh. A food truck. Prison food food truck. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> got bass full. Now me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, how long has it been? Uh, well, we started Five. late. No, no, no. The the poll been up. Oh, I I don't know. I closed. I think it was four forty four. We're not allowed. So I think six. you said four forty four. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna draw the hat for the next one. A door doesn't know where the hat is. I don't know where the hat is. We'll it's in it. Jimmy's YouTube shit somewhere. That's understandable. Um, you want to give me the uh, numbers, Doris? Uh, Mike 74, Bashful 25, and Doris 0. Nobody voted for Doris? What the fuck? 74 and 25 don't make 100. That's 99. Oh, we figured that out last time. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Everybody think outside the box. So in other words, uh, so look Mike. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I love Carla. <laughs> That's why Carla. That's why Carla suddenly decided that she forgot all the stuff and forgot all about it and couldn't be here. Whatever, you and I both forgot to. Well, I was going to say well, something. Well, no matter how it turns night. out at the end, no matter how it turns out at the end, lady, cheers. It was a good fight. Cheers. I mean, I know you guys are fighting for second, but I mean, no. That was. That crazy. is true, gaming. <laughs> that is true. It was best presentation. It was. <laughs> okay, what do we got after presentation? Technique? Are we doing technique? Sure. Are we doing technique? We got technique, creativity. What would you pay? Bang for your buck. Best use of ingredients. We'll do technique. Okay. Oh my God, I didn't get to vote, Doris. I vote for you. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I don't think it really counts, though. Best technique, yes or no? <laughs> sure. Yes. <laughs> That's what it says when you create a poll. Put in like the question, and then it just says yes or no underneath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, Who was Basil? Lisa said I forgot and had to run and bring change to the store for the girls, and then a metal a metal door in the store almost hit a customer. Oh shit. Oh, look who comes in at the fucking end with their excuses. <laughs> God damn, Lisa. We sat and waited. Bashful come in fucking sideways hot. 
fucking cooking That's already. 454, Mike. Okay. 454. <laughs> Bass will come in sideways. Cooking before me and Doris even got a chance. But I'll let her off the chain. Fucking using the goddamn stove top. I did not. I used freaking hot water. Off the stove top. <laughs> Out of the microwave, motherfucker. After you shut it off, boiler from the stove top. <laughs> what we said you After it came off the stove top. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck it in the microwave to keep it warm. Let my 10-year-old make something. <laughs> Probably death. There you go. I don't want to try that whiskey. Me wanted to live. Play more. I'm worse than Jimmy fucking C. She gave it 15 seconds in the microwave. Uh huh. She didn't even have to use the microwave. It was already boiling. You could see the steam rolling off of it. It was out of rolling boil in the beginning of the stream. I heard it's heavier and bigger than me. That's fine, Lisa. That's all right. I had to go let the damn bitch in. Mm. What do you have mom locked outside? No. Oh. No. What are we talking about? Did you let your mom try it? No, she said she wasn't gonna try it. It's got too many seasonings in it. Jesus. Come on, Ma. I put uh some Monterey steak seasoning on my steaks the other day. About burning her up. It wasn't even hot. Bane said, vote, people, vote. Right? We got one more person that needs to vote. There's 29 watching. Oh, now there's 33. Just ran up. You know how they do. Mike, Mike's scared. He shared out and said, just come in and vote for me. That's what I'm doing, yeah. No, I know that's what I'm you're uh, doing. I'm hitting up everybody's PayPal. <laughs> everybody's PayPal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I voted for you for presentation, so I'll hit mine up too, damn it. Go ahead and send me a bill. Scrapping Irish, what's going I on? I, I accidentally voted for him for technique because I went to close my poll when he's on top. <laughs> Ooh, I got a, I don't know what you call that. A mistake vote? A mistaken vote? Yep. You could have to demand a recount after this if, if it's down to one vote. <laughs> Carlos said, I see nothing in my PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, Kyler. It's coming. What up, BC? BC I was Mike and Dora today. And hello, Bethel. Hello, hello. Put money on our books, Mike. <laughs> mm, in comes Jenna with the prison jokes. Got to join next time. No excuses. What'd you say? It was four fifty four? Yeah, it was four fifty four. Ah, they're good, BC. They're good. I voted already. Got a four fifty four rocket. Don't make me call you collect. Don't make me call you collect. 
Yep, my Brody baby's over here, like he always is, right beside his mama. Everybody in? Last call? Last call for alcohol? And Chloe's over there, you can see her moving her head, eating a Baja boom. Ba, 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 ba. 46, 40, 13. Who had 40? Doris? I did. Doris. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to mess it up. Mm -hmm. My captain will come running in here again. I didn't get the boat yet. <laughs> I vote for I vote for Doris. <laughs> Creativity? Yes. 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 Ow. 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 Corner of this fucking island shark. Damn, it's already six o'clock. <laughs> yep. Is it? Oh, it's five. Time flies. <laughs> oh, Kathy. No. Um, I vote yet. I vote for Bashful. Kathy. Who, uh... Doris, you took second there, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. She did. I'm just doing it for the, the poll thing. Keeping them in an order. Yeah, BC, it was gorgeous here today. Oh, it still is. Yeah, it still is. It's nice and sunny out. It was in the 70s. 501? 501. 501. Oh, Holy shit, WTF Mike's flying. 52, 67, 159. Hey, 25 now, 25 now, 25 now, coming now, 25 now, 30 now, 30 now, 35. 35 now, 40. Hmm. We got the beat. What the hell? We got the beat. So <laughs> So to the inmate in the orange. <laughs> Doris, told of the fat Canadian, 70s man, must be nice, yeah, it's freaking too hot, almost, crazy. I don't think so. Yes, you do. No. I think you do think so. Granted, I was already in shorts at the tank top with my sandals on. I gotta get my spring clothes out. Yeah, you do. I do. It was very nice, BC. It was very nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What up, Wiggles? What up, Wiggles? Hit in. Hit in. Make sure you vote for me. Yeah, Wiggles. <laughs> Wiggles, who do you vote for? No, you vote for Dad? Yeah. No, he don't. He likes me better than Dad. Oh, no. He don't like anybody better than Dad. <laughs> Carla said, hey, Mike, is there any type of dish that you can't cook? Honestly, I'm curious. Yeah, there's a lot of dishes that I haven't made. I was just looking at one. It's called um, 
it's a braised beef recipe. It's Italian. And you got to make this whole tomato sauce and then wrap the steaks up in this, um, like a pasta thing. And that goes in this sauce and you got to sear it all first and it goes in an oven and it's done like eight hours, nine hours later. Powdered water. It sent me four pounds of powdered water. For the life of me, I have no idea what to mix it with. Please help. I know you have ideas. Mm -hmm. Powdered water. Never heard of powdered. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck? Mike always wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's not done yet, but me and Do me and Doris are fighting for a second. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like going to kick Jimmy. Go fucking vote for me, you bastard. <laughs> Mike, I will be the judge of that. The braised, the braised beef. Yeah, I haven't ever made it, so I've been trying to make Sarah do it. Yeah, I don't like squirrel either. I think squirrel is just ugh, greasy. That's got to be a Becca comment. I'm yeah, say that was a Becca squirrel. comment. Yeah. <laughs> She has a fascination with squirrels. 26 votes. We got 31 watching. Although it's probably counting us, right? Uh-uh. Italian dish. We haven't done Italian, mm -hmm. have we? Uh, no. No. Nope. You guys don't want to do Italian with me. It'd be a terrible idea. Whatever. Italian is my favorite food. Jar. <laughs> that's the worst Italian downfall I can give you you guys still buy your sauce in a jar <laughs> I can make homemade sauce I can make homemade sauce <laughs> I would make my lasagna Mike <laughs> and you've tried it Jimmy Sorry, told me that it. sauce came out of a jar Jimmy's like yeah that sauce came out of a jar but it's the closest to my mom's that's why I love it that's why I married her I'm like, do you tell her that? <laughs> he does. Of course you do. <laughs> Thank you, Hidden. Thank you, Chico. Is it time? Yep. Time's up. Three, two, one. The only thing about making your own sauce is it just takes so long to do it for No, me. it doesn't. It is so fast and so easy. You gotta cook it for a long time to get it flavored, right? Mm, you just I'm don't know. Buying store made wraps, creativity people. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Somebody give me the damn numbers here. Bashful 34. 46. Bashful 34. Doris 19. Enough. Yeah, so we got we got the WWYP, the what would you pay? The bang for your buck or the best use of ingredients. Thank you, Jenna. Um we'll go, we'll go best use of ingredients. I was gonna that. say yeah, I think best one. use of ingredients would be Yeah, we gotta do an odd number though. You can't end a poll or you can't end it on a even. Because somebody can tie, but well, then if we if we have to, we could do best bang for the buck, I guess. Or if you just come up with something, we can might win. That doesn't matter. See, Kathy said, real sauce is cooked for a long time, mm -hmm. unless it's summer sauce. Which is supposed to be sweet and light. So that means you don't put the full five cups of fucking olive oil in it. Yeah, Doris took second that oh, last I, one? No, Bashful did. Okay. Kathy said, Oh my god, I didn't vote. I vote I vote for Doris. I don't know, Kathy. <laughs> Hmm. 
five oh nine. I'm gonna give it one minute. I ain't fucking. Real question, why did Doris marry Jimmy? <laughs> Five ten. There we go. Can you all go through so my wrap was made of ramen noodles and chili cheese nacho chips? Go ahead and share it again. I I was just because Becca asked for yeah. us to well, share it again. And I'll uh, share bashful. When you're done, just share the one picture. That's all I'm going to do. Your best picture you have. So this was my burrito. Don't mind the ashtray and the cigarettes. <laughs> Quit telling people that. <laughs> you're your own worst enemy. And then... Go ahead and explain it. That's my cheesecake. So my burrito, the wrap itself was made from ramen noodles and chili cheese nacho chips. Inside is a shredded chicken breast with some salsa and some pre-made white rice that I added and rolled up my burrito. And the cheesecake, the crust is Oreo cookies, vanilla Oreo cookies. And honey bun mixed together to make a dough. The cream part is the cream from inside the Oreos with cream cheese and a crushed up Milky Way candy bar. And candy bar. Non dairy, non dairy coffee creamer. Was it really good? It was really good. Nice. Are you ready, Bash? Use a lot of coffee creamer for stuff in there. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Bashful. My gumbo is beef stew for the roux and the vegetables. And then I use the pre-cooked chicken, summer sausage, uh, the Cajun seasoning from romaine noodles, and hot sauce. And then my cheesecake is Oreos with coffee and for the crust. And then cream cheese, a little bit of country time lemonade powder and coffee. And then I crushed up Oreos on top with the uh, Werther's caramel drizzle. A Werther's caramel drizzle. Caramel. Yeah. Okay. I say pecans <laughs> or pecans. You pee in a can. You don't pee, pee in a can. In a can. <laughs> Mm. Mine is a regular 10 inch flour tortilla. The inside is um, ramen noodles um, with the um, chili ramen noodle spices in it and one chicken spice inside of it. And then a couple handfuls of the Cheetos Flaming Hot and a handful of the chili cheese Fritos, the corn chip. And then that's all brought down. And, and then uh, about four, yeah, about four of the containers of the jalapeno queso cheese you can buy on the commissary list. And that's mixed up. And then the chip dip is almost the same thing with the sausage and the chicken in it like the burrito has. Um, just the uh, the flaming Hot Cheetos in it. And then mixed in with four packages of the, the salsa off of the commissary to bring up to a prison dip. And then my dessert is um, two iced honey buns with a slab of strawberry cheesecake ice cream in between them. And it is very, very good. I don't want to see pecans. I don't want to eat pecans. <laughs> pecans. Huh? Sacrifices have to be made. Okay. You still got the dessert in there. I know. That's why I need to. Oh, okay. Like, it's either this or the dessert. Okay. It's in the freezer. Go ahead. Oh, no. Did they want to 
was a big uh oh. The old man started his brighter. Put out a window, I doubt it. Don't start. Oh, sounds like somebody started one. Hmm. Thank y'all. I had to give Miss Doris on that one. You did some amazing things with all those ingredients. Thank you, sir. Heck yeah. Oh. Or ma'am, sorry, my vote, my, the poll was blocking who said that. <laughs> Bonus to the come out and got her. Cook-offs. Sarah, come out and got her uh, dessert and ran away. <laughs> yeah, i seen that. Mike set up is going to have a five star jailhouse. Yeah. <laughs> Staying at the Holiday Inn. Time. And time? Uh, 5.15. So five minutes. Got it. And pull. So light 44, me 30, and bashful 25. 25. Okay. All right, and because we're doing prison cooking, let's go most prison-like. It's going to be our last one. Most prison-ish. You didn't bring out your prison drink. Oh, no, I didn't. Didn't even think about it after we were talking about it. There ain't no way Sarah would have drank that anyway. They are fucking gross. <laughs> she would have sprayed fucking fermented orange juice all over my damn screen. <laughs> they do. I have heard. I've never tried it. I have heard that they are fucking disgusting. And incredibly hard to drink. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> seventeen, five, seventeen. I'm a huge tomboy, so it's just kind of the same to an extent. Yeah. I didn't get to vote. I vote for basketball. <laughs> would be which dish would you most likely see in a prison? Yeah. Yeah. Or which dish? Yeah, if you want to do it that way. Which dish seem most prison like? Yep. I mean, they were all pretty prison because they're all prison ingredients and all prison done. But which one do you think would be most likely you would make in the prison or most likely you would see in a prison being made? Or. It's your boat. You don't have to tell us why. You want to get down? <laughs> Mike cannot win on this one. Be honest, people. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them all made, and then some. Yep. Show it again, Mike. Show all the meals. All right, I'll get bash loads. Oh, no. That is Bashful. Bashful had a gumbo with a um, Oreo cookie cheesecake with a caramel drizzle and espresso coffee topping. Go ahead, Doris. You can show yours. All right. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You stop it. (laughs) 
he could definitely see my cooking all this. He makes meals for the staff. <laughs> all right. So this is my burrito. The shell is Frito chili corn chips and ramen noodles. Inside is a shredded chicken with salsa and pre-made white rice. And this is my cheesecake. It is the crust is Oreo cookies with honey buns mixed up into a dough. The cream is cream cheese, a crushed up Milky Way bar, and the cream from filling from the cookies. And I probably don't have to explain what that all is anymore, but it's the uh, basic prison stuffed burrito with the um what they call prison chip dip and it's just ramen noodles summer sausage chicken flaming hot burritos chili cheese cheetos and jalapeno queso on the inside and then grilled on your hot plate to brown it and then my dessert was two honey buns with a slab of strawberry cheesecake for the middle an ice cream sandwich and there you can see it. It's the two honey buns, the iced ones. They're called white girls in prison if you talk about lingo. But and there it is. You can also use wages from your prison job to buy all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you can. That's how most of them, especially mm -hmm. a lot of old timers. Who's the cute doggo? Oh, that Samara. was... Yeah, go ahead. That was Chloe. That was nudging on my arm. The one that's right here, this is Brody. Brody's my mama's boy. Huh. Oh, hell, Becca. It's not that expensive at all. I'll, uh, I'll text you the uh, commissary list. It's not very much. No, and they do have a lot to choose from. Mm -hmm. You mean they get paid in prison too? Yeah, they get jobs. Yeah. Yep. Good gracious almighty, what in the world? Yeah. They're not in there for life, Becca. Jesus Christ, they have to have like jobs and a, you know, some way to, you know, some of them get back out in 10 years. You don't want them fucking walking around and trying to rob people to go back. It, they got to, you know, know how to cook and know how to do things. And I'll be the guilty verdict. I want to go to Mike's prison. <laughs> hey, <come on. laughs> nope. You're welcome oh, at my prison anytime, Chico. We eat at five. It's Oh, yeah, they get jobs for some, yeah. Any of them that want jobs can work. They all do different shit, but. Yeah, you get near minimum wage. They get under minimum wage. They have to pay them something so they can't call it slavery. Yeah, some of the menial jobs, like if all you do is like, uh, clean the offices and take their trash and stuff out of like the, the guards or whatever, you only get like two or three dollars a day. Well. Prisoners that go to Mike, they're all VIP. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jenna, back home, it depended on the type of job you had. But I think the most paid that they could get was like a dollar a day or something like that. Yeah, some of them. Here they got Rough Rider Industries where they can weld and make them cubicles that they put in offices. Them guys get paid per hour. Not much, though. It's like $7 is the max. Uh, $6.75 like an hour. Has it been 6 at 17 It says 6 Says you opened the poll six minutes ago. Oh, okay. My bad. I was talking. M. Poe. 
What do we got? Uh, Doris 44, Mike 34, Bashful 20. How well, can you see it already? And I can't see it. I don't know. Doris 44. Mike 34. And Bashful 20. Yay! Doris won this one. Woohoo! And we're back. Back to 20. Bum, 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 bum. Now it just came up on my laptop. There we go. Oh, I need a calculator. Actually, I don't. Doris, I voted this time. Yippee, I voted against Mike. <laughs> 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 That's how you know you're good. Oh. And people have to celebrate yeah. themselves because I forced them to vote against me. Hi, baby girl. Say hello. Hi, baby girls. <laughs> you see yourself? She is. She does not want anything to do with that lady yelling at her. <laughs> Plus, 44. She's a brat. Thank you. Oh, take a little brat. Duh. Yes, Jenna. That is Suzanne, for anyone that don't know. I'm not going to admit how many times I voted for Mike, okay? We're not even supposed to vote bashful. I'll try to keep it even. Everybody on the uh, everybody on the panel, yeah, we normally don't vote because whoever's hosting, you can't vote. Oh well, like, I can't vote on that. I can't interact with the voting at all. Well, nobody told me the rules. What do you mean? How many times have you to... done this? And I always vote for the opposite <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Becca, God. I bet you mine did. Because I have chips and, and rice and the ramen and the coffee creamer. Yeah, coffee creamer, the cookies, the cream, the cheese. Yep. I bet you I, I had the most calories, carbs. <laughs> You know, one thing that surprised me was the workout powder they gave them. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even hear Mike explain the rules in the beginning of the live. I get that bashful. Yeah, nobody we went never over told all of them. Me. It wasn't supposed to vote on Facebook. We went over them. I sent it to you in the message with all the pictures of the. The hell you did. The hell I didn't. <laughs> 46, 46, 44, 34, 74, 44, 46, 46, 44, 34. No, it says photos coming in, the commissary list. And then after that, photos the only thing you coming. said was... Spooled motherfuckers. <laughs> and then you said April 6th work for you. Now it's April 13th. Okay. Ouch. Motherfucker. Never mind. I'll worry about that. Double check these. 40, 19. Oh, 
30 plus 44. Right, Becca, they do eat a lot of cobs there, though. Eat a lot of what? Carbs. Oh, carbs. And like Mike said, a lot of inmates have high blood pressure because all of the food is pretty much preserved food, so it's got a lot of sodium in it. Woody, how are you, Woody? <sighs> what up, Woody? Okay. Bashful with 117 takes third. Doris with 133 takes second. And Mike with 244. First place. Congratulations. Congratulations. Go ahead and cue the music. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> My calves would be the size of the watermelons with all that sodium, right? Yep, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Well, good try, ladies. It was a, I thought it was really close. Really close for a second. 117 to 133. Uh, I had to re-add it up. I don't know how Doris took second after getting a zero in the beginning. My hell the hell. <laughs> Normally if you see somebody with the zero, they always ended up like on the bottom. Yeah. Woody, we I mean, did a prison me. cook off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. On these cook-offs. Yeah, Bashful, that was my favorite. We, uh, we, yeah, we don't cool. cook dinner. Yeah, no. Yeah. Did, uh, are you talking about the de-lousing soap, Jenna? I'll be back. Are y'all drawn for the next cook-off? Maybe. If, if Doris can find her, her hat, We can have a chat. Give us suggestions. Maybe the chat gives us suggestions. We'll have more people participate. All right. We just did a cook-off. Yeah. Mr. Wooden Metal Garage. Woody. 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 What are y'all going to cook next for supper? Uh-uh. I got so much of that damn stuffing for stuff left. I forgot how much it makes. I'm used to cooking for seven people. Sounds interesting, Becca. Chopped challenge where the chat picks the basket ingredients. I was going to say we could have the chat pick what we do next. Yeah. Mike, you muted. We ain't barbecuing with fucking Mike. <laughs> hmm. Mike, you're muted. Only if we do like 
a camping style barbecue where you can't use a damn grill or a searing Can machine you hear me? or any other bullshit. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Does Mike know he's muted? He keeps oh, talking. No. But... I don't know if he's talking to Sarah or if he's talking to us. Yeah, I don't know. Mike is muted. Don't tell me. <laughs> Well, I don't think he could hear us. I think his his headphones probably died. Oh, no. Because I don't think he can hear us either. Because I've said he's muted a couple times. My chat, or my YouTube's so far behind. Oh, maybe. He's singing Baby Shark to <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah it that like guy, a he, kind of thing to do. He may be on the phone. He yeah. could be right back up. Hey, enough. <laughs> Chloe, what are you barking <laughs> at? <laughs> this victory song. It's <laughs> a good one, Jenna. <clears throat> you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Oh, I can't hear you. You can't, oh, hear, you us. can't hear us. I think you're... Chloe, <laughs> go lay down. Go. Here comes Thomas to be back up. You put him in his place. Yep. <clears throat> I find it hysterical. Whatever they're freaking out. He comes running out like he's gonna fucking back him up and shit. <laughs> Brody, leave him alone. He don't want to play with you. I thought you got puppies. You got big dogs. Yeah. So Brody is only two. It's the big one right here. Chloe's yeah. four. <clears throat> Yeah, he likes them, Jenna. And I always feel like Brody's fucking with Thomas, but I think it's a game between them. Seriously. Right? Like, because Brody will be under the bed and Thomas will go right under the bed with them. Like, so he can't be that afraid of them. Right. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. All right. I wasn't on mute. I had a phone call come in. It was the old man oh. across the street. Well, and that's what um, Becca said. Maybe he's off the. He's on the phone. He is looking off. And I'm like, maybe. Yeah. He's trying to get his lawnmower out there that I brought in for him running. Um. Speaking loud and clear. And he shouldn't be on it right now anyway. Right? Because he's still recovering, right? Yeah, he's still got a big halo around his neck and all that shit, and it's a zero-turn mower that jerked all over the place. Mm. Terrible idea. But Sarah could hear it trying to him trying to start it and him trying to operate it and wasn't working for it.
Yeah, yeah. Jenna, and that's Thomas's new favorite laying spot. He lays mm -hmm. in the, one of the cubicles of my shelf. I like the baby shark the tooth better. All right. <laughs> I think he's singing Baby Shark. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Jen. I was on the phone. Did you find the hat? No. All right. So how are we picking next week? Well, um, we were saying that next maybe week, we could month. have the chat pick Okay. what we do next. Oh. Well, I'm picking an ingredient that we got to use. Okay. All right. Doo doo? No, we ain't doing doo doo. All right. So, top five. First five in the chat. Ingredients or ideas. We're throwing into a poll and then we'll all vote. That means you can throw one in there, two doors, if you like. Okay. And Bashful. We'll let Bashful. Right. Since she's not here, we'll do it now. I am here. <laughs> oh, just you are? Oh, your camera's yeah, off. Yeah, I'm just putting stuff in my ear. Oh, okay. Uh, ear. Meat. 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 Uh, An all meat one? Meat, barbecue. You already put in your suggestion up there? They don't tell me you said squirrel. Corned beef. Corn beef. Okay, we got corn beef. We got meat. Ooh, not lamb. lamb. Yeah, I don't like lamb. Yeah. Well, these are the first five are going up in there, and we're all voting. KFC spices. There's five. What was, what was um, um, what was Becca's? Hell? That was up there. Uh, Y'all need to do a shop challenge where the chat picks the basket ingredients. Y'all have to incorporate in the meal. That's so going to be too much of a... Yeah. I know what you're talking about with Chop because Sarah well, watches Right. It. The only thing with that, Becker, is we would need time to get the ingredients. Well, yeah, and then we'd have to. Yeah. There's no way for us to all have the same ingredients on hand. I'm not Chloe. So, so are you talking... What are you talking, Jenna? Pork or beef or... You just want to see some slapping and rubbing on a big old juicy piece of meat. Okay. I like the made with alcohol in it. in it. Something made with alcohol in it. Mm. Vienna sausages. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Corn beef, lamb, something made with alcohol, and Vienna sausages. Corn beef, lamb, something made with alcohol, Vienna sausages. Carla, I'm high. What was the other one? Meat. Meat. <laughs> I'm so ready for barbecue. And well, that's one we could do. We could do barbecue. We could. We could. We can do a grill. Yeah. You got a grill, Bashful? Yeah, no, but it's fine. Off, I know how to backyard grill. You ain't got a charcoal grill or, or nothing? I can make a charcoal grill. Mm -hmm. It's real easy. Mm -hmm. There you go, and then we'll do, we'll do barbecue then. All right. Throw that one in there for our fifth. I don't mean we'll do barbecue, but we'll throw them all in the list here. And just let everybody vote on it. I'll use that as a fifth. Start. I didn't we do chicken? I thought we did chicken. We did chicken. We, we did. did steak. Yep. We did Mexican. Uh, hey, I can only do four. We did all right. Depression era food. Yep, depression era. We did Cajun uh, Mediterranean. Yeah. Somebody give me what the hell them all were again. Lamb, uh, I know it was one. Lamb, I got barbecue. Barbecue. I got um, that. Something with alcohol. Corned beef. 
and corned beef. Just corn take beef. three of the ingredients and incorporate it all into a dish, like Vienna sausages, chocolate chip cookies, and ketchup. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but like, so it, if we were to do that, Becca, we would need the list of ingredients ahead of time. Yeah. Because, like, I don't eat Vienna sausages, so I would never have Vienna sausages in my house. Yeah, I mean, unless I went out and bought them specifically for a cookout. Jimmy's in your house. I know. <laughs> Rose and lima beans. Hmm. <laughs> Our breads are sativa. That was hard. I, I almost went for the alcohol, but then I'm like, eh. Yeah, Becca, we'd have to have like a stream where all the ingredients, the way you were explaining it ahead. Because you said, let chat come up with your basket of ingredients. Well, we'd have to have a stream just doing the ingredients. Yep. And then plan 30 days out after that and then try the stream. And if somebody gets a bad list of ingredients, they're just going to be like, I ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm busy today. Um, I had to go to work and, and fix the door and get cash in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, Josie. Josie, what's up? Cinnamon rolls and lima beans. <laughs> Billy, what's up? Where do you see cinnamon rolls and lima beans? No, Becca, we're trying to come up with a theme and we're letting yeah, we're the chat it. pick the theme, like whether it's barbecue or use a meat or. Yeah. Something with alcohol, like. Billy! Billy Bobowski. <laughs> she is. It'll just become a thing if somebody gets a bad or hard basket. Yeah. They ain't going to show up. Then it'll be me against Doris again. And or, then, one of the, like, or one of the five me, Doris, and Bashful or I, I think that, like, when we have a theme, then, like, mm -hmm. a lot of times it comes out better because then you have the best use of ingredients or the most mm -hmm. creative... Like, if we all had a basket of ingredients, then I think it would be. Like yeah, if, if we all had the same had basket. The, yeah. Yeah, we could do yeah. that, though. We could do, yeah, we could all do the same basket. The next yeah. one and have people vote. Or put hey, I, uh, put in the how are you? Yeah, I like the basket idea. We can do that mm -hmm. one. I mean, if Doris had the hat, we could throw it in the hat. Right. I might have to make a new hat. Yeah, mm -hmm. I probably it's I'll look for it tonight and see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Did you know that honey buns are a bitch to cut when they're frozen? Yeah. Oh <clears throat> good to know. That's good why. to know. That's why I had it in the fridge. For you to do your first taste and then put it in the freezer because I didn't know how long it was going to take you to eat. Everyone uses the same basket and makeup. What? And makeup and then make up your own food with it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They want to do chopped, honey. Oh, a chopped with mystery ingredients? Yes. Yep. We all get the same basket. But who decides what's in the basket? Collectively. She's all poor. She don't care. She gets to eat it. Right? Well, no, it depends on what's in the basket. 
Right. Like, I know if there was fish in the basket, she wouldn't want to eat it. I've gotten her to eat fish once. And she didn't like it. I don't know if she loved it because I made it taste like something else completely. Oh, there's the ice tap. Pick a meat, veg, starch, saw, etc. Take a pole on each. So are we just canceling this one and doing a basket? Is that what everybody's thinking? We could do that. Look like that's what they want. <laughs> Gotta give so them. We'll what have they a want. string just to pick the ingredients for the next cook off. Okay. Mm. Fine. We'll just do the fucking basket right now. We're doing chops for the next round, and then we'll we'll build the basket here. Who won this anyway? Looks like barbecue probably won it because all I can see is 61%. And the pole. All right. Throw out your ingredients choices. All right. all right. Do we want to limit the number of ingredients? We're going to uh, do the meat right now. Whoops. I will do You'll the meat right time. now. Yep. And we will have that in there. So let's hit the plus sign. Let's start a poll. Chopped cook off. So we got, we'll do chicken. We'll do your naturally. We'll do your beef. We got what? Lamb. Yep. L A M B. And one more meat. Pork. Pork. Perfect. Okay. 551. There we go. <clears throat> Beef, salmon, fish, lamb, pork, stuff like that. Yeah, we got it. What up, Mr. J? Corn beef. <laughs> hey, Mr. J, how are you? So, Mr. J, the poll we have out right now is we're, we're having the chat and ourselves vote on the ingredients for the next cook-off. So, the poll that's up now is the meat you want us to use in the next cook-off. Those are really common items. Not much skill in them. Well, yeah. Yeah, kind of, Becca, but I mean, there's certain of them, depending on what you're making with it, takes a lot of goddamn skill to do. You know? And, and Becca, yeah. not like if you picked squirrel. But, yeah. Not all what happens when we go exotic? Yeah. And what happens if we go exotic meats and stuff like that? A lot of the time, it becomes quite pricey. Yep. You got to fucking have fucking kangaroo meat fucking flown in from Australia yeah. and shit. Which isn't cheap. <laughs> Because when no, we were going to do Australian, me and Mike looked into having fucking kangaroo meat shipped. And Mike had it fucking shipped in. <laughs> and then we canceled <laughs> the cook-off because everybody fucking bailed. Yeah, it was like a hundred and some fucking dollars for yeah. kangaroo meat. It would have. And cost I had it fucking shipped here. Yep. I had it in the house ready. It was going to cost me $20 for the piece of meat, but it was going to cost me $80 to have it shipped. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, Wiggles? Yeah, we had kangaroo meat. Yeah, tastes just like beef, by the way. I I've been eating really beef and raising beef my whole life, and I couldn't tell you the difference between kangaroo and beef. I meant ingredients. Well, that's just our first ingredient, Becca. Yeah, like, this is just the first be ingredient. Other yeah. ingredients. This is just the first part of the basket. Otherwise, it's just a normal dinner. This is the first part of the basket. Becca, this is just... Are you, are you competing in this one, Becca? Right? You have an awful lot of input, Becca. I think you ought to compete. <laughs> this is the problem we started running into. Everybody wants to throw out suggestions, but nobody <clears throat> wants to step up to the plate. <clears throat> Mm 
This is just the first round. What time did I say we put that other one in there? Was it 50? I think 51. So. 51? 51. It should say what time you... Uh, let's see. Three minutes ago. So, yeah, 51. Okay. Yeah. But didn't you say that you're just doing meat, veggie, starch? No. Well, no. Jenna so veggie said that. We're going to do a... Yeah. We're going to throw it all in here and start building these lists and make the whole big basket for what you can choose from. What's going to be in everybody's basket is going to be the same. Step up to the plate. Literally, right, Whiskey? Exactly. Yeah. Literally step up to the plate. I was just tossing the idea out. Yeah. We know. Yeah, but we can build the basket right now and we'll do chopped next month here. Yeah. Whatever. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> that's brilliant. Good analogy, brilliant. Dora. Wait, that was whiskey woman, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll build a whole big basket here to do a whole shindig out of it. I don't know why we're getting so far into this. Everybody arguing about who's taking second place anyway. Ridiculous. So what's next? Veggies? Well, we yep. got Yeah, probably. Yep, that is five minutes right there. <laughs> and the poll. Who wins? Who wins? Beef? Look like it. 70-something percent. Come on, computer. Right? I don't see it yet either. I ended it. There was some odd vegetables up there. So beef, 72%. So we're doing beef. Yep, yep beef. beef. Either odd vegetables or odd fruits or something. Well, Doris, I'm going to have to come pick you up tomorrow. You're going to have to come say bye to Maybell. You are not using Maybell. We're doing we beef. Buy and see Maybell tomorrow. <laughs> but you are not using mm -hmm. No, no, we cannot. We're doing it. veal. Okay, yeah, give me some vegetable options. Some odd ones. Mushroom, onions, peppers, asparagus. I like asparagus. Leeks. Hmm. Leeks is another one people don't use very much. What kind? Jesus Christ, Becca. What kind of beef that's very generic? Yeah, it's just beef. It's, it's just going to be a big chunk of beef. Everybody's got to start with a roast or something. A I don't roast. Care. Hmm. Yeah, because you can cut a roast into many a thing for beef. Leeks, radishes, tomatoes, mm. asparagus. Mm. Leeks, yeah. radishes, tomatoes, Pineapple. asparagus. Mm. Pineapple's a fruit. Leeks, radishes, tomatoes, and asparagus. Okay. Asparagus. Or, uh, yeah, asparagus. I was going to say it's asparagus, Mike, not asparagus. <laughs> That's from the lady who said coming. I was going to say you make fun of the way I say coming. <laughs> Put some coming in it. Je Jenna, do you know how much that would fucking cost? A wagyu tomahawk steak? Yeah, I ain't I do. spending fucking $100 on a piece of fucking steak, man. Leaks. Radishes. Asparagus. Oh. And what was the last one? Tomatoes? Uh, carrots, green peppers, leeks, radishes, asparagus. Uh, Becca said 
cucumbers, Brussels sprouts. Give me one. I don't care. I just need one more option. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Do Brussels sprouts. And Brussels. Once I have the poll up, I can't see the chat anymore. Stupid. Big one, Becca, big one. And how many vegetables do we want? Do we want more than one vegetable? Do we want just one vegetable? How many are normally, how many things are normally in the baskets on the show? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I don't either. Sarah's the only fucking professional on this show, I know. Unpicked cucumber. Oh, unpickled. <laughs> Unpickled cucumbers. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, each mystery basket should contain four ingredients. For the most, yeah, then they have. Then they have a whole giant pantry after that. To right. Choose from. For the most creative yeah. outcomes, choose from several different food categories. For example, a mix of vegetable, fruit, grain, dairy, meat, legume, okay. candy, sauce. Okay. I didn't look. I'm going to say it was six o'clock. I didn't look what time it was when I put that in. I just got a fat feeling that chat's just going to pick something common. I don't think folks have watched the show chat. My wife watches the shit out of it. I don't. Mm. I have no clue what the fuck is happening. We're picking <laughs> things for next month. Cook off, Mikey. Dandelion salad? That's kind of specific, Kathy. I like your idea with dandelion, but I mean, saying dandelion salad is a specific thing. Just make dandelion salad. Get out there. Do it. Get out there and get it done. I saw four ingredients plus bonus. Yeah, there's bonus ingredients. Yep. You could also choose foods by the color. So you could say like a white food, okay. a red food. Mm -hmm. The show picks the ingredients to put in the basket that you just do. Yeah. Yeah, and then everybody tries to come up with their own creative way to add them into dishes. Yep. I watch Chop, but they have money to spend. <laughs> True, Kathy. And like Mike said, they also have a whole pantry of different ingredients to use. I mean, yeah, that's the thing, Becky. You got to remember the more exotic shit, like Mike and I were saying, the more money it's going to cost. We didn't start right. this for people to spend $100 on a cooking, cooking competition because we want people on all kinds of budgets to be able to do it. Radishes are only $1.99 a bag. <laughs> Yeah. If I remember right, too, you got to use everything that's in your basket. I think you do. Yeah, you got to use yeah. everything. Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> mm, do we want to pick a candy? Or do we want them to pick a candy? But is there candy in it? Yeah, it says the what I looked up, I looked up chalk uh chop basket ingredients and it said normally there's four main ingredients. Um and can't it wait says, to see what Becca what Becca makes on this next cook off. <laughs> It says Just uh, odd that you don't normally see together. Yeah. It says for the most creative outcomes, choose from different food categories. For example, a mix of vegetable, fruit, grain, dairy, meat, legume, candy, and sauce. Yeah. Brussels Rather than sprouts one. Or vegetables. Brussels sprouts one, so you know. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, Becca, but it's trying to come up with different like ideas that everyone would have easy access to at the same time. You got to realize too that not everybody that does the cook off is from the US. So things that we have easy access to here, somebody like Tina in Scotland during the winter isn't going to be able to get, or Joe in Australia. Mm -hmm. I've done the same thing with other groups. Aren't they all like bra sick ass? <laughs> yes. They're actually all, I think, part of the nightshade family. Yeah. My notification for YouTube is a scary place. Mm. No, ma'am. Why well, I suggested this type of cook up? It's actually a lot of fun. We're going to give it a shot. <laughs> We're going to give it a shot, Becca. And then the month after that, whoever wins the chopped version, we're going to do Hell's Kitchen, and they'll have to be. They'll have to be the Gordon Ramsay or something. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Can you imagine Bashful trying to yell at Gordon Ramsay? Without laughing? No. Right. She ain't going to make it. She's not going to make it. Oh. Beef Wellington. His beef I've Wellington. Wanted to beef Wellington for a while. Right? Beef, yeah. His beef Wellington always looks... I've only made it once. It's actually, it's not real terribly hard to do. 
It's fucking time consuming. But not hard. Why would you put cabbage up there when you already have Brussels sprouts, Whiskey said? Because some of us might have different ideas. That's going to be the one of the first things I make when I get a working kitchen. That's raw, you donut. Jenna, you ever see him when he uh he cooked against his mom making apple pies? No. And lost fucking horribly? Oh, yeah. He did? Yeah. His mom called him right out in the middle of it, too, as soon as he brought his pie down for display. He's like, that's raw. And he's like, Son of a bitch. <laughs> He's like, yep, it is. <laughs> That's funny. I've seen like him compete against his daughter. Mm -hmm. Dad's mom kicked his ass. Yeah, just look up uh look up him versus his mom. It's just funny with the apple pie. I was fucking laughing. Hers is like immaculate, and he sets his down. She's like, that looks a little undercooked. That's raw. Oh, blah, blah, blah. and he opens it up. Oh, I'll be back. Put this back in the fucking oven. Right, Kathy? Mm -hmm. There was a dish I made not too long ago because I'd left over cabbage yeah. from, from St. Patrick's Day. And I did cabbage, bacon, hamburg, onion. Hamburg. <laughs> Seaweed wins. Okay, should we do a fruit or what? Sure. Let's get a pole open. Okay, I need some random ass fruits in. Mangoes. Uh, Mango? Mm hmm. M A N G O? M A N G O? I've seen pineapple in there somewhere. Ooh. Sure, Jenna. Pineapple. Give me another fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit? Yeah. Kumquats. <laughs> Kumquat. Come up with the kumquat. All right. Mm -hmm. Passion fruit. What the hell did she say? Kumquat? Kumquat, Kumquat yes. Becca said kiwi and banana. Carlos said watermelon. I only get four options. I got mango, pineapple, passion fruit, kumquat. All right. <laughs> Walnut, that's not a fruit. Dragon fruit, I was going to pick that. I've seen pineapple already in there somewhere. So I knew somebody was going to say that, so I threw it in. Good stuff. I'm already trying to think how I can make beef and seaweed go together. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking serpent turf right there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Sir Wiggles? Did you come back to say Doris hi? No? No, you're just going to give that love and okay. Wiggles! Wiggles! Hi, baby. I'm tired. The dad walked me too long yesterday. Um, This is going to be our fourth one, short fry. The fruit is number four. And then there's Are we a doing four? Ingredient. Is this going to be a three thing or a four thing or a five thing? Are we doing a bonus? I, thought I mean, it's our own personal to... one, so we can do fucking more than four. If you want to keep it simple, we'll do four and a bonus and 
So yeah, you got to use all the ingredients in your dish. Yeah. Yeah. Or can you make more than one dish? No, it's one dish. Oh, it's one dish. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I believe I so. Like, Fuck. <laughs> I believe so. Hey, in chop, they got to use all the ingredients in one dish, right? Yeah, and That's if it's one like an ingredient that is like made up of a whole, like different parts of things, they have to at least use like, like let's say they have a sundae in there. Okay. They they don't have to use like the whole sundae. They can use something off the sundae. Okay. But yeah. Yep, all the ingredients got to be in one dish. And a whole fucking spiel about if something's made up of a bunch of other somethings, you can just use part of the something because it's in there. So, yep, I all ingredients. I love cooked seaweed. Nobody in my house will eat it. I won't even eat it that unless it's sushi. Well, then make sushi. Yeah, you can do raw beef. Yeah. Or do a new beef Brussels sprout seaweed beef wrap thing. Because you can use other ingredients with it, Carla. You just have yeah. to use the ingredients that we have on our list. You can add whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You have every option available to you. Dog wants out. Mine too. Let mine all too whiskey. <clears throat> Looks like pineapples in the lead. Right. I was looking at that. That'll be interesting. Whatever. The seaweed is going to be real interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheese and garlic go with everything. I agree, Kathy. Right? Even if it's just like using chopped seaweed as a topper, like chives. Yeah, yeah. you can even fry it and it gets real crispy. You can dehydrate it and turn it into a chip. Yep. There's a ton of things you can do with it. But it has to be on the meat, right? It, it all has, has to be in to the be dish. Part yeah. Of the dish. Yeah, it's got to be in the dish. Yep. It's all part of your dish. Yep. So all these ingredients. All, all these, all these things are going to be your dish. Yep. Right. It's good. You well, not on the plate, but as. On the, the dish. Part like, of the dish, yes. It's all <laughs> part of your main dish. You only give them one little plate. It's not a plate of uh, a beef and a, a side dish and a thing. It's just a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was a plate. No, it's a dish. So you have to incorporate all of these ingredients in your dish. You can do what you want with them as long as they're part of the dish. And you can add other ingredients that aren't on the list. You just have yeah. to use these initial ingredients. Yeah, these all got to be in there. But you can add whatever the fuck you want. And how you cook it and what you do with it, or if you freeze dry it, or if you deep fry it, whatever. So, looks like pineapple wins on the fruit. I wrote fruit. What in the fuck, Mike? Beef, Brussels sprout, seaweed, pineapple. Bonus or no bonus? You guys want to do a bonus thing or you just try it with the four you got? I don't care. We could do a bonus. No, let's do a bonus. bonus. Okay, so what do you want your bonus under? Like, what are we doing? Some random fucking things or what? Yeah, some random thing. 
you know that could really fuck this up, right? <laughs> Let's see, we've already got it fucked up. Let's just be. It's real. not that bad right now. It can get way fucking worse. Genocide <laughs> candy. Yeah, like candy. Kathy or said fucking... sour cream. Yeah, see, sour cream wouldn't be bad. You know. Oh, all right. Hold on. Let me. What, what about a potato? I don't know what I'd make. A beef layout cream with the cheese and seaweed filling on a side of caramelized Brussels sprouts and topped with balsamic pineapple glaze. Ba -ba -ba. Start a pole. Bonus. Whiskey set a starch for the bonus. No, I uh, just give me some random bullshit. We decided it's gonna be a random bullshit thing, whiskey. Not don't give me like a starch or we can add starches anytime. We can use your whole pantry. You just gotta make sure you use what's in your basket. Um I heard something about candy, right? Candy? Yes, candy. Sour okay. cream, cherries, cherries. Sour cream, fucking cherries. Whiskey. You said cherries? Cherries. And then you got, what'd you say, whiskey? Whiskey. And whiskey. All right. <laughs> Can't wait to see how that fucker turns out. <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> Junior mints. Oh. <laughs> Mint chocolate. Jesus. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. I think I'm going to be sick next month. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Better not. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> what kind of candy there's thousands of kinds that's very true I can't edit it well, if candy fuck then we'll fucking pick a candy I was gonna <laughs> say we can pick a candy if candy wins you can pick a hard candy a, a, a soft candy Anything but a junior mint. <laughs> <laughs> That's what will throw you off. How will you use junior mints? Oh, I could use junior mints. That'd be pretty easy. Doris might need a... No, I'm actually looking forward to this, Kathy. I think it'll be fun. Doris might need a door replaced next month. Yeah. Yeah, Lisa might need help with one. <laughs> I'm about to drive to South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I got another van to deliver to somebody. I'm just glad it was pineapple and not kumquats. I'm like, I've never cooked with the fucking kumquat. <laughs> The fuck do you do with yeah, that? I don't even know if I've ever tasted a kumquat before. <laughs> well, that I have say, done, but it's <laughs> a door. I know I've tasted dragon fruit and passion fruit. Oh, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit's really fucking good. So it's passion fruit. Yeah. And I I was gonna say passion fruit. I know there's a lot you can do with it. Oh yeah. yeah. What do you do a kumquat though? Like I made a nice kumquat salad. <laughs> that doesn't even sound fucking a kumquat appetizing. reduction. <laughs> yeah. I have homemade kumquats here. That's the wife walking away. <laughs> you take the junior mints to make a sauce and drizzle over mm. a roulotte. Yeah. It'd be good over the lamb, I guess. You have your mint, mm -hmm. your chocolate 
on the lamb. Oh, I would save the mint on the on the side part, and I would take the chocolate because you can make a really nice glaze for beef with the chocolate. Burnt right. chocolate. What up, Bert? Hey, Bert. What's winning so far? Ooh. <clears throat> Uh, so far, whiskey. Come squat, what the fuck? <laughs> that will not be bad, then. That'll be really easy, actually. Yeah. If whiskey wins by the end. Ooh, just barely, though. Five percent, six percent. Right, yeah. Candy's up there too. Yeah, candy's mm -hmm. up there. There's still people haven't voted yet. Still time. No problem, Bert. Good to see you, bud. One more minute, people. Mm, black licorice would go well with beef too. Yeah, it mm. does. I think a leek or has just a black licorice to flavor to it. Make a more mole mm. sauce to drizzle over. Yeah. Come on, people. You got to vote. There's only 15 votes in. Did it then? Did it then? Then. You want to fight? You want to fight? You want to fight? You're just a little pussy dog. Oh, you're such a sissy. Now look at its owner. Oh, and whisk. Oh, it just popped up. It just came up right at the end there. It was really close. Whiskey just barely won, but it went up right at the end. And our bonus is whiskey. All right. You got all that bashful? I got it. Beef, North got it. Brussels sprouts, seaweed, pineapple, pineapple, and whiskey. Whiskey. Yep. All right. <laughs> yes, whiskey. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's our list for the next cook off. That is <laughs> the basket. So. And I'm fully anticipating Becca joining. Right. <laughs> I got to send that to Bernie. I don't know if Carla's still going to be in. I don't know if she was still here. Carla, if you're still going to be in, that's our basket. If you're going to do it. No. Everybody should do a community post on their channel for it. Jimmy, Doors, Mike, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Where are we doing it at? 
Uh, well, normally we do the winner's channel. You won, but you did this yeah, one. We're not doing fucking all these shows on my channel. Do you want bashful, Rochambeau, rock, paper, scissor? Doris wants second place, so we do it on hers. We can do it on mine. Okay. She needs the views. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I do. And then do I need to, yeah, you'll have to set up a time. Doris, when are you off next month? Uh, so let's see. I will be off. The 11th the and the 25th. Those are the two Saturdays that I'm off in May. The 11th? The 11th and the 25th. The 11th and the 25th. Or the tw- it's 11th or. The, tw- the 25th is Memorial Day weekend. Just a heads up. Yeah, let's yeah. do that weekend. Now, are you available the 11th, Bashful? Yes. Okay. 11. All 11. Right. So 2 May o'clock, 11th. 3 o'clock. We'll three do o'clock. 2 o'clock. Well, it'll be, you're in Eastern, right, Bashful? Huh? Are you in Eastern or Central? I am. Yeah, so what we normally do is we do it 2 o'clock, me and Mike's time, which is 3 o'clock your time. That's perfect. All right. Mm-hmm. I need your link, Doris. Okay. I won't forget this time. Yep. Thank Damn you, Jenna. all over it. Thank you, Jenna. So May 11th, we'll all put community tabs. Don't forget anybody that wants to join and participate in the cook-off, reach out to my one of us. My email. Yeah, my email's in my about section. And we can get you the link the day of the show. We can send you the ingredients list if you need that, the date and time. Mm-hmm. Oh, Becca, come on. Don't start with the excuses already. <laughs> That's why I already stated what I make. Everything sounds good in, in paper writing, Becca. You got to come up here and perform for us. That's all right. I have just one more girl I'd have to beat up. <laughs> Beef, Brussels sprout, seaweed, pineapple, and whiskey. Yep. Hmm. Mm. What kind of whiskey are you using, Doris? I don't know yet, Mike. We didn't pick the whiskey. Well, we can let there be a open variable. We ain't going to get this specific. Fuck that. Right. As long as it's an actual whiskey. No fucking fireball, Bashful. It's not I'm whiskey. I'm only busting your balls, Becca. <laughs> I'm only busting your balls. But this is, like, that's just what we were saying. Like, a lot yeah. of people will come up with stuff and say they'll join, and then they end up backing out and... Yeah. It just ends up yeah. being the same people that compete all the time, and it gets kind yeah. of boring for us, you know. Yeah, they don't like losing that much. <laughs> I love it. No, <laughs> you still got two put your nose downs left, Bashful. I know, I know, I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to try to talk my cousin into joining. That's going to be my winning thing next week oh, while we're cooking. As long as you're not cheating again. Fuck. <laughs> well, I'm going to do the rules then, damn it. <laughs> we all start on the show together. Yes, sir. I just thought you so, all started because I was late. So so no slow roast in your fucking roast for eight hours. <laughs> So that's going to put a roast bean out then. Well, but we have, we've made some exceptions. Yeah. But you have to tell us in advance 
that you need to, as long as your final thing isn't from the, like if you need to marinate your meat or slow cook your well, meat. I'll be marinating your meat for sure. Like yeah. we have made, like the day Mike had to freeze his mashed potatoes. So right. he had to make his mashed potatoes in advance because his final product was supposed to be frozen. You know what I mean? So like we have made exceptions or the day that whiskey did beer sandwiches, she needed to cook her beer all day long, but she right. told us in advance. Yeah. Jenna, you can use whatever you want. We've even said, if you want to order out from a restaurant, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Like, really all there is is basically we have to know if you need to start your stuff beforehand and that you need to say if you've cooked it all or if you didn't cook it all, if it was pre-made yeah. or... So what are our categories going to be? Best use of ingredients. Most creative. Most Everything creative. that we did, pretty much. Yep. Um, best bang. We got presentation. Box. Cooking technique. Present, presentation technique. Creativity. What would you pay for this meal? Bang for your buck. Who did the best with the what you have? See, the um, bang best are, use are of the ingredients. Best with what you have. That's the same as. Uh, bang for your buck like how much you though. like how much you spent like how much did you get for what you spent right or like, yeah, I don't um, like that one well that one we we came up with originally because when we first started it we were gonna have a maximum amount you could spend yeah. right on all your ingredients so it was and then the, that really went out the window when we did australia Right. And we and when we did steak, because the steak yeah. was so expensive at the time that because we were going by like twenty dollars or twenty five dollars. And when we did the steak, yeah. we were like a good piece of steak is going to cost you eighteen dollars. There goes your budget. Right. Mm -hmm. Or like Mike, where he raises his own beef, he would save on that aspect of it where the rest of us would have to spend so that was when we kind of slowly got away from the budget thing. Yeah. Yeah. I've competed twice and won once. Yep. Nope. I've competed and I should have won that one. And I think I won only twice. I won the appetizer one and I won the steak one. Out of. So the technique 20, is that your cooking six, technique or what's what's the. It, it, it's yeah, your entire technique of right. how you did it, everything through, like uh, as people are watching you cook. And, like your pro that's why we cook on panel so people can mm -hmm. see how you're handling it, how you treat it, how you cook it, your idea for it, like. So I guess oh. it, it's really in the be it, the technique what they think of it is really in their mind. Like yeah, yeah. Who had the best technique? How is it done? How did they? You know, it's your technique through the whole thing. All right. So all the way up to your presentation is your technique. Even part of your presentation and how it's played it is part of your technique. Yeah, and that's a part that always gets me is my plating I don't plate well Jimmy says it all the time you also got to look at your surroundings when you take pictures and quit telling people never mind the ashtray <laughs> <laughs> crop crop mm -hmm. the pictures crop your pictures yeah <laughs> put a filter on it or something <laughs> Mr. Mike, please see what I said above. Use a pressure cooker. Cook the roast. Boom, 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got an Instant Pot. Yep. I read it. There's Bert's link if anybody wants to check Bert out. Friend of mine from the Philippines. But, yeah. I mean, like we always say, we do it for fun. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, granted, some of us do get very competitive, but 
but overall it's just for fun yep yeah i think out of the 26 we did last year i won i lost seven so i won 19 of them 19 time youtube champion oh. no above that yet does that mean no marinating no you can marinate and to beat mike would be awesome i had a lot of people say that becca I think they're fun. Once I get set up, I wouldn't mind joining one of these. I think they're fun. And to beat Mike would be awesome. Yeah, everybody says that. But yeah, we've <clears throat> we've always said that if marinating and things like that, if it doesn't involve actually cooking it, you yep. can do all the prep you need to ahead of time. Like you're chopping, you're marinating, things like that. Just to save some time. Mm -hmm. Right, to save time mm -hmm. on the stream. Yeah. It's just the actual cooking that you need to tell us ahead of time if you have to pre-cook it or for whatever you're planning on doing. Mm -hmm. You may do something different with Brussels sprouts that no one thought of. That wow factor. Yeah, that's that wow factor. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yeah, everybody wants to beat me, Becca. That's what they all say. <laughs> Yeah. Every single one of them. The only person that hasn't said it, I think, is Jimmy. Uh -huh. And that's because every time he's competed, he's like, I'm using the microwave. Um, <laughs> what's he call himself? The comedic backup or something? <laughs> if someone wants to do a cake, no bashful. Can they take it cake. before? No. No, she said, if someone wants to do a cake, can they bake it before? Yeah. That's why we threw vegan out. I can't bake with the shit either. <laughs> on the actual show they get 30 minutes and no prep but yeah but i understand this isn't a show and it's just for fun yeah exactly yeah a beefcake <laughs> shut up <laughs> whiskey woman beefcake rawr <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like we just, Becca, we just wanted to take, because if we make it too stressful, people aren't going to want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to take the yeah. fun out of it if you all stress yeah, a lot out. Of people, and, a lot of people don't perform well in high stress right. situations either. I mean, and in reality, the winner of the show gets a dollar from each participant. Not this year. Not this year. No, this year we changed it. Yeah. What did we say this year we were gonna do? We're just, we, we just got gonna, rid of it, or no, we were gonna donate we it to were something. Gonna make a sole PayPal account for the winnings, and just mm -hmm. let them accumulate, and then, and then either at it? the end donate it to a family or. Or an animal shelter or something. Yeah. We said, yeah. You're not competing for ten thousand dollars. No. No, no. I don't know if I could afford a dollar. I got you, Jenna. If you want to We've join. even said, Jenna, me and Mike <laughs> yeah. said that from the beginning. If you yeah. don't have a dollar, we would cover the dollar. Yeah. Because like <laughs> like I said, when Mike said we wanted everyone to be able to participated in it and not and you don't even have to say publicly you don't have the dollar you yeah. could just message mike or i and right kathy yep this is supposed to be for the fun and not serious and yep we wanted everybody to be able to do it Oh, okay. I could do it all. I just can't get the house yet. <laughs> yep. Well, we're not buying you a house, Jenna. <laughs> I mean, unless Mike wants to buy you a house. If Mike wants to buy you a house. <laughs> I'm on a vehicle kick right now. <laughs> right, Jenna? You, you need to be in, Jenna? You need to be in? <laughs> Mm 
There's a link if any guys want to join us for a bit. I am going to start a GoFundMe for the dollar. I got you, Mama Bates. I got you. (laughs) Oh, no, no, that's that's not not what I'm saying. (laughs) (laughs) I know, Jenna. If you need a spot to cook from, Jenna, I'll bring the uh, the motor home in, park it out front. Yep, there was one cook off. I borrowed Mike's slow cooker. I was mm-hmm. like, I need your slow cooker, Mike. <laughs> Thankfully, we lived in North Dakota by that point. <laughs> I need a stable floor, no stairs, and a fully working kitchen and bathroom. Oh, yeah. See, there you go. You can borrow the motor home, Jenna. Cook out of there. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we usually have a lot of fun with these. It was just Yeah. Like this one's said, gonna be quite interesting, I think. It is. So. It's gonna be quite different, different way to do it. Yep. I forgot to write the date on this one. May 11th. What? April. But April our 13th. next one is May 11th. Oh, no. The date on today is what we did. Oh, okay. I can I, totally I store well. your, IV, your RV over here. Just give me warning when you need it so I can yeah. move my stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> prison. April 13th, prison. That just looked weird. <laughs> oh no oh no way I don't know you better start looking around Jenna there's not a lot of places that thing fits that's why we don't use it very much you can't drive it to your normal campsites and park it doesn't fit <laughs> what's going on Bashful? nothing Oh, oh no. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh huh. Jenna said, write food after that. I'm assuming she means after prison, right? Oh, <laughs> no, nah, it just says <laughs> April 13th, prison. <laughs> uh, I know it's food, but <laughs> just to remind me what they are. Because they all stay in my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> His handy dandy notebook. Mm hmm. Just to let you know, my live was canceled for tonight. Don't feel guilty. There might not be another Saturday for me. No, no, don't feel guilty. No, 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 don't feel guilty. I'll try my best, Kathy. I don't know. (laughs) I can feel it creeping up. I got this weird lump in my throat now. Oh, hi, Becca. Bye, Becca. Right. <laughs> She'll be back. You know you still have your other camera on? Yeah, it's because oh. that's what my audio is going through. Because um, I'm Bluetooth. Um, well. What is the next cook-off? I can on? Bluetooth to my computer, too, but. So, Bernie, the next cook-off is May 11th. May 11th. Two and we're doing an episode. Time. And we're doing an episode of Chopped. And we have a list of ingredients that chat came up with ideas, and we all voted on what we thought each ingredient should be. Yeah. You're going to have to get ready so, involved. So in your basket next month, Bernie, if you're going to be competing on the 11th, you're going to need to pick up a beef, Brussels sprouts, seaweed, pineapple, and whiskey. All got to be in your dish. What time? Two o'clock. Same time it was today. Mike talked over you. Two o'clock. Sorry, Bernie. 
on on the eleventh, May eleventh. Isn't that a day or something? Yeah, May Day. Two o'clock central. And you need beef, Brussels sprouts, seaweed, pineapple, and whiskey. They all got to be in your dish. What time is that? Jenna time. You're West Coast? Well, noon. That's noon your time, Jenna. Yeah, you can add whatever you like, but them five things have to be in it. Yeah. But yeah, I will send you the list, Bernie. No problem. Don't shed any tears. Don't set up a memorial on Saturday. Well, if it doesn't interrupt your Mike wins another cook-off dream. No, this is the 11th Saturday, not, not like fucking, not like Next week or nothing, Kathy. You'll be all right. Yeah. Seaweed for fuck's sake. Yep. Yeah. Beef, <laughs> Brussels sprouts, seaweed, pineapple, and whiskey. I'll text it to you, message it to you. Hey, Becca. And sorry, the phone rang right when I came up before, so I had to drop back out. <laughs> oh, that's no problem. What I, what I was saying was when we did it before, because I've done it a couple of times, we did go ahead and put a limit on other, like, you know how you say you can use pantry, you know, whatever's mm -hmm. in your pantry to go along with it. We set a limit on how many of those ingredients you could actually use, you know, just to keep the cost down. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, yeah. but if it's like a pantry staple or something, we're not going to worry about it. It's, yeah, so we did. I, think, I don't I think anybody's going to go out and buy $75 something to cover up what seaweed tastes like, you know? Yeah, I think we did. You could use like five other ingredients, I think. Now, we didn't count spices as an ingredient because, you know, you have those in your pantry. Yeah. But um, we just I did that. to go out and buy a, a searing machine to sear their steak or nothing <clears> like that, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we did that and just, you know, and as I said, we knew the ingredient, unlike the show, you know, we did know the ingredients ahead of time and you could already, you could already, um, you know, already plan out your menu and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause somebody could literally take, you know, 50 ingredients, even though they're in your pantry already, you know, yeah, and, exactly, yeah. yeah. So it just kind of made it a little more fair, but it was a lot of fun. Right. See you, Bert. Yeah, good evening, bud. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, this is all going to be for fun. That'll be an interesting one, so. That'll be easy. That won't be too bad. The seaweed's not even throwing me off. It's what to do with the Brussels sprouts in your main dish. So, but I already have a decent idea, but. That's why, you know, since I know I won't be able to do it, that's why I'm going to hit and just kind of put what, you know, just from just right off mm -hmm. the top of my head, you know, from the ingredients that were given, that's what I would do. Bernie. <laughs> Bernie said seaweed. Fuck sakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could even take your seaweed and take your Brussels sprouts and uh, put them in a blender. Yeah. Yeah. And make a, make that like your, sauce to put underneath like your mm -hmm. steak or whatever the yep. beef is you know stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Could do that if, yeah. if you were going to do something like that though we would have to see you do it so we know yeah that both on the, the show there yep. the brussels sprouts are in there yeah oh hey, yeah Mr. yeah because yep. there won't be anybody there to test you know to taste your stuff right but yeah you'd have to do it while you're on there but Brussels sprouts yeah. don't take very long to cook, so and you just go ahead what and up, do, them with, do them with some onions, you no, know. Seaweed is fish food. <laughs> well, it's going to be human food in the next cook-off, Bill. So. Yeah, I, got I was thinking about just going up out. to the lake and harvesting my own. 
But it's nobody said up. that this has to be fresh seaweed or dried nope. or freeze dried. Nope. It could be any or... type of seaweed. It could be. Yep. Yeah. Go to Deep your nearest fried. lake or something and pull it out of the ground, you know, underneath the water. Yep. <laughs> My freeze grandma dried. was calling me back laid off. Okay, Kathy. <laughs> Tell grandma, you gotta get your own line, Kathy. <laughs> Tell grandma we all said hi through your uh, uh -huh. medium there. <laughs> but yeah, I might take Jenner up on her offer. What? Jenna said I could just go down the road from my house, Doris, and pick you some yeah. fresh seaweed and send it to you. <laughs> That'll be good, yeah. She does live it's on only the coast. Fresh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's not how quite how it works. That's... I know that's not how it works. <laughs> you probably could do that though, if you knew how it was processed after. Yeah. How to clean it? I don't know how to clean seaweed. I don't fucking spray it off with the garden hose on the driveway. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you probably get some nice freaking snails on there or something. Then. Right. I might be able to get fresh seaweed. But yeah, I think this will be fun. Just yeah, it does. It sounds like it's gonna be a good one. <clears throat> and I got a pretty good idea what I'm doing with them. But might have to boil it. Probably there's probably some boiling involved. Yeah, oh, I'm in sure. It. Yeah. Now Becca comes on panel. Uh huh. <laughs> We just well, open panel up, Kane. Yeah, Mr. Kane. So meh. we are getting all the other shit figured out, Kane, and then Doris, go, go to, to the Chinese, Chinese restaurant. restaurant they have seaweed. seaweed. They make sushi yeah, they with make... it. That's not what that says, but <laughs> they make shush with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get bull will bull, bull whip, whip kelp. kelp right off the beach. Yeah. Should try Newfie Foods. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it would be interesting. They're a big fish in coastal so up in Canada, East Coast. Becca is the shit. No, I already did that. I mean, what? Oh, he is. He is. <laughs> I thought you said names. Look <laughs> what? But yeah, I think I'm gonna order that seaweed in freeze dried. Oh yeah. Yep. I got a good idea for that. Freaking sushi. <laughs> and the whiskey, pineapple, and the beef go together naturally. Yep. Well, I can make a hell of a marinade out of whiskey and pineapple. Yep. Yeah, but and that balsamic that goes really well with any kind of citrus. Yep. Yeah, because they complement each other. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I got me some the, ideas twirling around in my head. Yeah, and then on to the smoker and sit here and drink beer for five hours with you guys as it smokes. Yeah. The whiskey does really good, as I said, with like a cream sauce, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's weird. It should curdle cream. Mm -mm. Not if you do it right. Well, not if you got weak-ass whiskey. All whiskey will curdle cream. Okay, got to talk to Grandma. It's very long distance. I bet that is <laughs> probably fucking tired. Mm-hmm. Glad I don't pay your phone bill. Holy Lord. I love the citrus. Yeah. Yeah. And grilled pineapple or grilled or smoked pineapple is really mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. And grilled asparagus. Yeah. Or asparagus with, oh, I'm not even going to, I'm not, nope. Yeah. With the bacon on there and then you cover it. How did you know I was going to say bacon? Yeah. yeah. You just wrap it around it like a candy can. It's easy. Throw them right on the grill and then you hit it with all your mozzarella. She died I know she died. I yeah. knew she died a long time ago, Kathy. 
That's why That's I, I said medium. Your phone bill is going to be expensive. The coolest kind of what? Cutivar? Cutivar, like the citrus, is uh, the Australian finger lime. Some people call it citrus caviar. Caviar. The distance Dylan gets a little shorter <laughs> every day. <laughs> oh, I can't believe she went there, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my coworker says to me. Oh. The only really hard other part part is going to be what cut of beef am I going to use? Right. Yep, that is going to be the hottest part. I don't know any Wagyu farmers, <laughs> <laughs> ranchers. <laughs> King I've fucking never, ding, never... you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had my cream sauce curdle when I've used whiskey. Maybe I do it different or something. The high end whiskeys will always curdle cream. The alcohol. Maybe, maybe that's the difference. <laughs> maybe I don't use high end. When I mean high end, I don't mean like expensive, like 90, you know, 90 plus percent alcohol. Yeah, we know Jet Wash. We know. It's true for everybody. We're just giving Not me, Jet Wash. I'm fucking Peter Pan. Fuck off. <laughs> It's yeah. like a finger, like it's a finger like finger lime. Like lime. You break yeah. it open, and it's caviar, 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 caviar balls. caviar balls of citrus juice. You put them in ice cream, and it pops citrus, citrus in, in your it. mouth with the ice cream. Super good shit. Nope, nope. As soon as you say a ball, ball popping in the juice in my mouth, we're out. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, the my... distance is getting closer, and I had to cancel my live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Sending some I'm having to send oh, some texts. No. Someone set up an emotional support stream for Kathy. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sorry, I was having to send some texts. But all I do is I melt a little butter, you know, the pan. And, you know, then I add some, I usually use green onions or something like that or whatever. And then I put in a little bit of garlic, some pepper. Um, then I just kind of let that go for a little bit. Then I add my whiskey in, simmer it for just a few minutes. Do that, you know, so that, uh-huh. When you, he you put the cream in the ideas, pan and Becca. simmered it. Please. Yeah, but you put the, well, I know how to do it, but you I put know, the cream but... in the pan and simmer it, right? Yeah, well, the the butter. Yeah, okay. so you change, yeah, but with the cream in there, you change the consistency of it in a pan with heat. You're drawing out the fats and everything that are going to curdle, the milk fats and the butters and stuff that are going to curdle. Yeah, because you're going to, yeah, you're going to reduce it down until it's, mo the whiskey is mostly evaporated. Yeah, it'll pretty oh, much be gone. Yeah, that's, that's why yours ain't curdling, yeah. Right, that's, how, that's you know, it, uh, it burns it off and everything, um, which takes a little bit of sting out of the flavor. You know, if you want it more, then you don't. But um, but then after that, I add a little bit of like the beef stock and then um, some cream, you know, usually I'll use some mustard in it. Yeah. 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 And if you're simmering your whiskey that long, yeah, you're burning it off. It's almost a syrup then. That's why it's not curdling. Yeah. Gotta go. Can't handle it anymore. Everyone give Kathy hugs. Hugs, Love Kathy. You, oh. Kathy. Love. It's too fucking hot here, Doris. It's not too fucking hot. I'm about to turn the air conditioner on. <laughs> turn your air conditioner on, Mike. It's still 76 degrees. I know. Too fucking hot. <laughs> Do you have your windows open? Yeah. Fan on, windows open. Oh, wow. 
Speaking of, I should. I don't like the heat at all. I remember you saying that if I turned the fan on right now, I man, I'd have to go put a hoodie on. Hell no. It can be 40 Let's below see. outside. I'll be out there in a t-shirt rolling in the snowbank like a dog. Let's <laughs> see. I'm going to look up and see what my temp is right now. 64 here. Oh, you know what? It's still 79. It says it feels like 75, though, so. You can keep that. See, there's a nice breeze blowing in here, though, hey? <laughs> Gee, Jen, I hope you don't answer my call to the suicide hotline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending you all some precipitation. We don't want it, bitch. Yeah, I don't we need do. more rain. We do. Send it. We do? Yeah, it's dry as fuck. I had to get my, my last rain and stuff. It's my trash pickup is usually uh, that's why I can't wait till I get over there too because you know that like the trash pickup over there is free here. It cost me three hundred dollars a quarter, but um, Jesus, but yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Um, but uh, the trash I usually get it picked up on Friday, and this time they. They said uh, it's going to be on Saturday because when the eclipse happened, they shut their company down mm -hmm. for the yes. eclipse. And I'm going, what is it? It looks like a holiday or something. <laughs> I've never seen a company shut down for the eclipse. You know, the funny thing is, um, so at the hospital, we got an email saying that our satellite TV was going to be down because of the eclipse. Really? Yep. That's crazy. Well, they said that it was um that it was it was for the safety of the employees. I, I don't I still don't get it. I mean you're only talking about darkness for like two minutes. Yeah, uh, Kathy bad. wants to know when your moving date is, Becca. I, I'm I don't have one yet, Miss Kathy. And you got headlights. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, well, women not, do. Guys don't really. <laughs> they could take a break during that period of time. Just let them part for a few minutes. Yeah, so I say I. I don't. You know, I. I, did, I really didn't understand that one, but yeah. unless, yeah, I unless they're just meant to enjoy it. Well, as I said, it, it only lasts like that long. So, like a yeah. ton of the schools in Canada and everything let out too. Some of them even called emergency days. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah. our schools went, which is odd, they went to school on Good Friday, which is normally one of their days off during the mm -hmm. year. But this year they had them go to school on Good Friday so they could have that next Monday off for the eclipse. Yep. Huh. Holy days. Yep. <laughs> um, I wonder if it's because in the U.S. you can only see it every 24 years or something. Well, saying. last time in, in 17... Um, 20 years. I wasn't in the direct path, so we only that got was a to lunar. see just a. We just that was we a just, lunar eclipse, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh No, it was a it was a solar, but um, that's what I mean. It's just I wasn't in the direct path, so it only did it like a portion for what I could see here. Okay, so I wasn't even thinking anything about it being like dark, you know, because it was just like, oh, it just looks like it. We got cloudy, right? Well, this time, since I was in the direct path, it actually did get the darkness of, you know how when the sun is setting, it already sets, and then it's that like five minutes before it gets complete darkness for night? Oh, yeah. Yep. That's what it looked like. So it was pretty yeah. much almost complete darkness. As I said, I did a short on it and, and put my picture on my Facebook page, but... um. But so this time, yes, I could see that people, I mean, it really was beautiful, you know, to see. Now, the next one will be 2044 and the direct path will, yep. the direct path will go over North Dakota and Montana. Mm -hmm. So, see, I won't get to see really the next one. So I kind of yeah. am glad I got to see this one. I mean. The actual I, next one, if you're if you're not just talking America, the next one's twenty twenty six that'll go across Spain and Africa. Right. Yeah, but I'm just talking about like here, you know. Yeah. Um, but now I wouldn't have driven. I wouldn't drive no thousand miles like some people did and spend four thousand dollars a night, you know, at places to go witness it. But. <laughs> Agreed. 
I wouldn't either. Hey, Chris. What up, Chris? Hi there, Mr. Craig. So, so who won the cook-off without a stove? They all did. They're all winners. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Mike won, <clears throat> Mike but I'm won. disappointed in Mike. Uh-oh. He used store-bought wraps. Uh-oh. Yes, they were on the commissary list, but I expected more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it was prison standards, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, there you go. All that matters is as long as it was shit from prison. She should be more disappointed in herself. She she went too far, but not quite far enough. <laughs> it didn't quite turn out right, is what I'm guessing. She yes. had a good idea, though. I'll give her that. It was a wonderful <laughs> idea. I never thought of doing Miss Becca, I wasn't ignoring you. How you doing, sweetie? Oh, I know you wasn't ignoring me. I'm doing okay. I've been watching my um my little my little one. It was what about a month ago I told y'all that she had like that stroke and yep. where she had that seizure and everything. Well, she had another one um not not this not last night, but the night before. So, yeah, so I stayed up and watched her. So there's not really much I can do, <clears throat> except I was trying to, I was trying to keep her calm, you know, because she, so, and now she's acting like, you know, just like a puppy again. I mean. <laughs> That's good, though. That's it is. It is. I mean, you can tell. I mean, I mean, she is 16 years old. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not no, easy to watch uh, them when they uh, get that's, older. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a lot for a dog. Nope. Yeah. Well, my other one, my little Feist, she was 18 when she passed. And this one's a little Feist. I think this one might have some, a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a uh, rat terrier or something mixed in with her. As I said, this is one that um, <clears throat> she was dumped out on the interstate when she was only like six weeks old because there, she had her and her sister and, you know, and I know why well, she got dumped, you know, because they want somebody to run over them, you know. Well, my um, my sister-in-law, she stopped and picked both puppies up and they kept one and they asked my folks if they wanted the other one. Well, naturally, my folks said yes. I mean, my folks have taken a dog that was dumped out in the country who had heartworms and mm -hmm. ended up. You know, that it was dumped over there by their tax woman's um, house. And the tax woman called called them and said, hey, you know, do you want this dog? And But she has heartworms. So my mom and daddy, yes, they went over there. They got the dog and they did. They paid for the heartworm treatment and they kept her. Yeah. You know, she was a yellow, she was a yellow lab. But I've, I've already lost her. I've lost all. I took all seven dogs on after they passed, and I've lost six of the seven now. The last one that I have left, that'll be the last remaining, I guess, what you'd call, I guess, what you know, living remembrance of my folks. You know, so it's it's a little harder. And plus, I love this little dog. I said, I've known her ever since she was, you know, just a puppy. I knew them all since they were puppies. <laughs> Becca said, Cassie, your knife is sharp enough now. Get back in here and take some deep breaths. <laughs> Doris is pumped on the squirrel <laughs> for Becca. <laughs> oh, I wish. I did run over. I don't know if I told y'all that. I think, what was it, about uh, f uh, five days ago? It might have been. Um, mm. It was not not this past Thursday, but the Thursday before last or the Thursday before this past one, um, I accidentally ran over a squirrel on the road, and I went ahead. I went ahead and stopped, and I, 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 I did have to go ahead and knock it in the head to go ahead and, you know, you know. Yeah, Jenna, he does it every time they freak out like that. He comes running in with yep. his bitch with slappers ready. <laughs> yeah, back up. But I went ahead and dispatched it, and then I brought it home and I dressed it out, Holy. and I fixed me some. 
some uh, smothered squirrel um, smothered in a gravy that I made from the squirrel with uh, mushrooms and some onions and, you know, simmered it, you know, on this. So anyway, mm. but yeah, I, I cooked it. And sounds it. good. Yeah, yeah. Made a lot of chili. I, well, I made uh, on the side, and, and I have to watch my blood sugar. So on the side, I actually made a cauliflower and mushroom risotto and had it on Ew. the side. And that way I, I could put a little bit of my gravy on top of that. I don't let them die in vain. <laughs> oh. Enough. And it was actually a couple walking by with the dog, Jenna. Every every night around the same time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot about them. People. They walked by with their dog. And as my dogs freak out, they just wave. They're still walking by. Huh? What roll? What happened now? B double E double R U N. Mr. Kane, if you want to see me, then you can go watch some of my shorts. My pictures are all <laughs> over them. <laughs> watch my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> my pictures are all over them. Ah, damn neighbors. Yep. This is the only one. Well, she knew we go get beer. Yep. Anything else? Nope. Just beer. Well, if you want to grab both, you can grab both. <laughs> Mr. Kane, that's why I went ahead and picked him up and brought him home and dressed him out because his life did matter to me. I can't Thanks help it. He was stupid enough to go across the road as I was driving by. Squirrels can be stupid sometimes. Yeah, they can. Oh, now, the one I taste. didn't the one I didn't like was when I went to Arkansas and I, I took some stuff over to Arkansas. And when I came back, I've got a trough out there that I keep for the cows. I mean, there's lots of them, but, but this one particular one, um, they had drank cause I was over there last time for what, 13 days, I think. And so they had drank that trough down to only about, I don't know, about four inches or something like that, four or five inches of water. And a squirrel had gotten down in that trough and couldn't get himself out. So he ended up drowning in the trough. Well, I don't know how old that, you know, how long he'd been there. So I couldn't eat him. But um, but after that, I did go ahead and put a shovel in the trough and I uh, wired it up. That way, if another squirrel got in there, he could climb out. <laughs> I did do that. I really did. <laughs> the dumbest shit I ever heard of. So <laughs> Where's the resident nun at? Is she not around? She had to go. She's, she's having a pity party. She had to go call her she grandmother. Had, it's been dead yep, for 43 years. She had to talk years. to her grandmother and shop her a knife. Yeah. And... Yep. and get off the phone with suicide hotline. Oh, silly me. What was yep. I thinking? Hey. What? Here's the burden. This is our five ingredients for chopped. And the it's shovel rusty. was already all rusty and everything. And I, I mean, it's, it was no good anyway. So, why's not one night, right? Yeah, I said I just used it in there and then wired it up to the trough. Who the fuck said seaweed? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> was it you? I, I believe it was, Sarah. I, put, I believe I put, it like, was. Cabbage, lettuce. Kale, and I couldn't think of something to go in that category with the four that I can choose to make a pole. So I'm like, seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> I still think you should have put Vienna sausages you can order up a there. Right on Amazon. Oh, well, that's good. Maybe you should remember to do that. Okay. Like, before you need it. Mm -hmm. If oh, not, the lake has a bunch. Vienas ain't good for nothing but being Vienas. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, but when, oh i was telling them i've done these little competitions before using that with an, with different grapes and that was the uh yeah. that was three we did five ingredients and that was three of the ingredients it was vienna sausages chocolate chip cookies and ketchup <laughs> and no uh, shanine you do not need to ask who won yeah i just don't see how those three went together very well it, you have to, as I said, you have to, it was very creative. 
um, I ended up using the uh, Vienna sausages as more like a pate. Um, huh? I mixed some stuff with it and I made it more like a pate. Yeah. And yeah. Um, but well, well, that was the case. You didn't need vine. Is how potted meat would have worked. Same no, that thing. was that was one of the ingredients. We had to use it. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, and it then was I definitely, took the. It was definitely me, Shanae. It was definitely me, Shanae. I still think because, like, when Mike's the, the second time Mike didn't come in first place, all of a sudden people watching jumped up by like six people. I still think he started messaging people and saying, come in and vote for me. I was paypal him. <laughs> he was pulling a Biden. Yeah. I think he was. <laughs> yeah. I opened up the floodgates. There's no voter ID in this fucking thing. <laughs> All right. Shanene, can I ask you? Okay. And I want your honest opinion. <laughs> Don't ask her for her honest opinion. Trust me. <laughs> Does this look like fucking prison food? <laughs> it yeah. does not look like fucking prison food. They don't have glass in prison. Like World. <laughs> this does not look like prison food. It is. <clears throat> it did look really good. <laughs> oh, we're not I mean, going to show Bashful's fucking thing? I mean, right now, we're they're cutting it out an angle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show Bashfuls. I think Miss Bashfuls was the one that looked most like what somebody would actually make there. What? Who the fuck makes gumbo in prison? Well, because the of the, the watch make gumbo. Obviously, somebody did. Yeah, the ingredients oh, right, that, that she that used. inmate that has a TikTok channel and wears gloves. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just saying because of the <laughs> yes. ingredients she used, that it. They Thank you, Jenna. Um, there you go. Jenna got it. More doable, I guess, is what I it's was trying to say. It's club fed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a picture of Jenna's of Bashful, so I can't show Bashful's. It needs That's to be right. in a that burrito bag. <laughs> yeah, he it also needs... made tamales. He took corn chips, crushed them all down with water, made his I thought uh, about doing tamales. Corn yep. shell. Yep. Now, I don't know so much about the cheesecake, but that gumbo, I could see somebody doing that. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, gumbo in prison, yeah, that's a, that'd be a hard one. Hey, but I, especially I fucking caramel. Oreo cheesecake, which fucking <laughs> Werther's original caramel, caramel, <laughs> caramel drizzle and fucking espresso coffee crusting. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that one of those ready-made microwave bowls? I think it's a microwave dish, yeah. The bowl is, Yeah. Yeah. Because she used a beef stew uh, to to use, and she used it to make a roux and use the veggies in it. Yep. I, it just, I don't know. I just thought that was very creative. I thought that was very inventive. Like, they would actually find yeah, that, that stuff Gum and be able to utilize that with what they have available. Like I said, I'll have to text you the commissary list, Becca. You ain't going to believe the shit they can buy. Oh, no, yeah, they could actually know. order out. I don't know if I want to say out. it because I'm can already pay to like... have a cookout. <laughs> yep. Yep. Cookout. You can order out. You can get ice cream, pies, cakes. Pies. Yep. <laughs> That's what Everything's I'm saying. Except for I... vegetables. That I was don't know if I'd want to know food. that list. They get more than I do. Well, and that's why we. We said we would all work off of our commissary list here in Jamestown because mm -hmm. it would be so unfair if people used it from their own towns. We would have more access to ingredients than they would. So it wouldn't mm -hmm. be fair. Yeah, the one thing that I, I noticed, there was like no vegetables on there. Like, No, no it's fresh a, vegetables. It's a, it's a commissary. I mean, what do you expect? It's not a grocery store. You literally like right. wait in a line. You go up to a window and you have this list and you hand well, it over. They have like those little single containers of like corn and green beans and stuff like that. They can get fucking uh, 
the little hamburgers from White Castle, the frozen White Castle hamburgers, for fuck's sake. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they're frozen. Well, they can't well, have a like little cup of frozen, vegetables. I can't disable them again. <laughs> Let me go fix it. I keep disabling my short comment things. I hate when they, they do that. Their shorts. Yeah, they're disabling the comments on this one particular one that I did. The one uh -huh. I just released this evening. Come on, man. All because it has a kid in it. Uh, oh, yeah, they're pretty yeah. stickler about that. Yep. Yeah, but you can tell it's not a, it's not like a real, I mean, it's a real kid, but it's not, it's not, you can tell it's like not a normal, like, you know. You can tell so it's an just, overlay, you know. You used a non-normal real kid? I mean, you can tell it's an overlay. Like, you know, like um, I do on a lot of my shorts. Don't bring up overlaying kids together in the same sentence. They're not going to understand. <laughs> well, an overlay is when it's a cutout. <laughs> I don't know what an what, overlay oh. is. <laughs> well, you said they wouldn't understand. You know, I was just letting them know it's a, it's a cutout, you know. He means a, YouTube. What's funny is, I mean, I had it, I, I turned it back on and someone left a comment. That's why I thought they'd leave it on, but then they, then they turned it off again. And Shanae, I, I said this, I was a little disappointed in Mike. I fully expected him to make his own Frito wraps or his own burrito wraps. He bought burrito wraps. Yeah. I bought my own tortilla shells. Yep. This if one I wasn't I... running like so much today, I was going to actually build my whole dessert by reconstituting the ramen noodles themselves back into a dough and build the whole strawberry cheesecake cake. Pretty tall when you're doing. Mm. This one I titled a Country Girl TMS. <laughs> yeah. What's that, Chris? I said a cheesecake out of ramen noodles. Yeah, if you reconstitute them into dough. Yeah. Yeah, it's the layer in between. As you build it up, you do the ramen noodles like a dough, and then you start building up, and you buy the strawberry shortcake. Um, they're like Twinkies, the little round roll-up things. And then them go on, Ooh. then another layer of them, and then you keep building it up, and then you take all the icing like Doris did out of like your Oreo cookies or your vanilla cookies, and that makes out your whole outside. Ramen noodles are completely tasteless once if you don't add the seasoning packet. There's no fucking yeah. flavor there at all. No. no. They'll taste like whatever you put them in. Yeah. I can't I can't eat ramen noodles. Which explains why they always give you a little seasoning packet. I'll go surf, yeah. Mike one. I like how everybody packet. keeps asking you. <laughs> Hi there, Mr. Sarf. Even... How you doing me? I don't even gotta rub it in. Everybody's doing it for me. Yes, Bashful. <laughs> what did you say? I said, you won second. I did. I, no. I came in second. Yeah. That, that didn't sound very good when you said that. That everybody was rubbing it in that you didn't have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you rubbed the lotion on. <laughs> yes, Uncle Surf. <laughs> it, it, I still say that he he, well. he cheated. Trying to cue me of cheating. I was talking about ramen, ramen noodle uh, cheesecake. Done got me hungry. Accuse the losers of cheating. Huh? <clears throat> but we never accuse the losers of cheating, as if they just weren't bad at cheating. <laughs> Good point. I was not slacking, Uncle Surf. I, I, Mike said I, I went overboard. Can't even tell me that isn't a Michael thought that just happened to hit ball right out of mouth. It was, but uh, I'm glad you thought of it and said it, not me. It's all, she said, did you guys hear? No. Mm -mm. She says, you notice how we never accuse the losers of cheating because you're just not that good at cheating? I'd say we can call that whatever. Okay. There. The beard door is clear. 
since you're not putting that in there? Hey, Kiwi. You you'll have to do it the way I do it. No, but you're wasting my tester. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Just give me a minute. Mr. Mike, did you hear what I told Thank you me. that I titled this last short? Mm -mm. Country Girl PMS. Mm. <laughs> Can't wait to run across that in my... <laughs> my yes, feed. Uncle Sir. Jimmy is sleeping. Yeah, Jimmy's still sleeping. Nope. Leave that up. Okay. I can't do it that way because I can't put the drawer back in there. Oh. That's okay. why I don't do it that way. Oh, okay. I see. I see what you're talking about. Once I got everything in and I can't get the drawer back in. All right. All right, my bad. What up, Kiwi? Get us. Kiwi. Hey, get us. My fucking chat's freezing. There we go. Damn. Yeah, he didn't go to bed till one o'clock. Yeah. An hour before we started this. No, Let's that, put that one, one on the shelf or something. That one's one of the way mod. <laughs> Hi there, Gaines. How you doing? Oh. Stand there. Got it. Fun fact, they moved the freaking beer too. They moved the keystone. Oh, I thought I lost my fucking munch. Them bastards <laughs> moving the beer around in their own keypad. store. Bastards. Mm -hmm. I hate when they do that. Move shit around. I hope that um the algorithm well, picks that one up. That one last. Because so good. far, it's only got seven views, but it's already got three shares. <laughs> Out of the same views. So I hope they pick that one up. Oh, he did it on purpose, Kane. Yeah. This cook off was almost made for him. Like you couldn't have customized a better thing that he could have done. Yep. Did you eat yours, Miss Doris? I did. Did you make Jimmy one? No. No? Oh. Oh. Fuck him. He was sleeping. That's right. Give me Mr. Dinner. Jimmy ain't in prison. He don't Maybe get one. Maybe he woke up if he wanted a burrito. <laughs> I yep. have no sympathy for him. How about yours? Delicious. Delicious? Yes. Mm -hmm. How was the dip? Good also. How was the dessert? <laughs> that was like the best thing ever. That was the best thing ever. <laughs> well, the mental note, frozen honey buds do not cut well. Do you think uh, that you'll make that dish again, Mr. Mike? Oh, I've done it a few times. Oh, it's so not, this is not my first rodeo. No. Oh, okay, so it's not something you just made up off the fly. You know, you had to use a dish that you've made several times to win. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love Becca. <laughs> Coming from the lady that was running her mouth during the chat the whole time. And no, Kane, it's just number one, Jimmy's supposed to be on a low sodium diet, so he couldn't eat all that mm -mm. ramen. Yep. And all those chips, he can't have that. That's the thing about prison. Like Mike said, everybody in prison has high blood pressure and are overweight <laughs> for a reason. That's yeah. why I was asking that. Good yeah, thing the health care is free. Yep. Oh, you're going to call that health care in the prison, what they do to people? Well, at least no. they can get medicine. They can get their insulin and all that stuff. Who'd we just lose? Uh, I know Doris Chris. worked in a press, yeah. penal colony. I did. And I was I only was running my mouth because I didn't know that they got so much free stuff in there. They do. Mm -hmm. it, that that just um, I'm, I I've never been in a prison, so I don't really. It's know not free. They got to You got to buy it. It's not free. Right. Well, they don't but they get, get that food for free. No. Hey, but, you, but you said they can cook in their cell. Do they have yeah, the they, fridges? They, they have to. They, they, they don't get a fridge. To, they have to buy the hot pots though. 
Yeah. The you got to buy the kettle. To cook for, they have yeah. to buy. Yeah, you got to buy the kettle. It's like a European kettle. It just keeps water really fucking hot, like boiling, just like a coffee pot kind of thing. And then you got to buy the hot plate, and then you buy all your commissary. You build it up as you've been there a while. Right. I thought you said they. I thought they have toilets in there. They do in your cell. There's they always do. a toilet. You said they had to buy a European. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a lot of people don't understand what you mean when you say kettle. It just you just plug it in, fill it with water, and it just heats all the water in it. Yeah, but what I'm saying, and you and they were saying in chat that people can send them money, like family and friends yeah. and all of that. Yeah, so. Play. So that's what I'm Family, saying. You can friends, still get money. Women. Yeah. You can cook. Us. You can, you know, I mean, it's like, it's like, where's the punishment coming in besides losing not, freedom? But where's your punishment? Bubba, You're not there the for your life. You got to maintain cooking soap. abilities and all that. That's, that's punishment. And mm -hmm. Becca, you got to remember some of those guys, their families don't want anything to do with them. If their families mm -hmm. were the victims of their crimes, they have no one to put money on their books. Yeah. And if they don't get a job, they get nothing. They mm -hmm. basically get soap, toothpaste, and a toothbrush, and that's it. That's all the state provides for them. Three hots and a horny bunk mate. And then mm -hmm. they have to eat whatever comes out of the chow hall. And what comes out of the chow hall isn't very good food. Well, I just thought that that's the way that prisons really work. I mean, I'm, I said I I have no clue, okay? But, um, but I thought that's depends, the way they worked. It also depends on the state. Like where where I worked, they don't have hot pots. They don't have kettles. Mm -hmm. So oh it depends on the state. Every state is different. Yeah. Ours is really like what you said, Becca. It's like an oversized daycare in North Dakota. Yeah. And I was just thinking, you know, that's, got, I mean, yes, they lose their freedom. You know, yep. but Jesus, like they're getting treated a lot better than a hey, lot Francis, of people Francis. that ain't in prison. Right. But that's also be, yeah. like Mike yep. and I said, that's also why we decided everybody would go off of our commissary list. Yeah. yeah. Because our inmates get a lot more <laughs> than other states do. It is that way, Becca. Yeah. And they do live better than some people on the street. But you have the freedom to just leave a situation and go. They do it that way here. Because it just keeps everybody kind of mellow. They're right. And I understand. So That's what I said. It has sides of freedom, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's there's a lot of violence in prisons because, like, say if Mike has five soups and I have no money so I can't get soups, I can shank Mike and take his five soups. I honestly thought like, about what do you doing think that about getting shanked for soup? <laughs> they do. Yeah. They they will they will attack each other over commissary shit. Oh yeah, twenty five cent soup. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. how they pay their debts. No yep. Hey there, Miss Francis. Money. How you doing, girl? How you feeling? That's what ours is too, Jenna. It's over. It's oversight daycare. How uh, how far long? Oh, okay, Sherry, tell me. Eighteen, 18 weeks. Eighteen weeks. Yep. Like now, I'm hot. It's all your fault. Yep, it can be that petty. Oh God, yeah. Shit, I'm gonna open some windows. I'll be right back. Yeah, as I said, I'm very. Um, I guess because I don't really know anyone in there. I don't. I just I wasn't aware that all that happened. Because a lot of times, if you watch a movie, I don't think that sometimes that's real life. You know, sometimes, sometimes it probably is, but well, watch yeah, depending on. Okay, Becca, look up sixty days in. That's about as realistic in jail. You, can, it's not prison, but it's jail. But it gets pretty scary. I do, I do like the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> that was close for the time they were in. Yeah. That was close for the time. <laughs> the time frame was way uh -huh. different. <laughs> I love that movie. No. So. And that was an actual warden, and he made himself a, a name for himself running it that way until, you know, it all went south. But it's kind of half based on a true story. I had some bitch try to come after me over a candy bar. See, there you go. Jenna had it happen to her. I was pretty cashed up when I was in there, Jenna. So I was still getting all my rent from the land and everything else because, you know, dad had to pay me for it while I was in there. So he rented all my pasture land. So I was getting monthly checks for that. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't know you were actually in there. I thought maybe you worked at one. Well, I was actually in there, yep. I went from there, and then I went through court, and I told the judge I was going off to Marines. And he says, all right, and he sentenced me off to Marines and everything else, and I had to do the minimum of the five years I was sentenced for for beating up two sheriffs. (laughs) And then waiting for the Marines to pick me up, I got shipped off to Bismarck State waiting for the big-ass ugly brown bus to come get me. And I was sat in there for a while, and I got on a big ass hug with Brown Bus, and then they sent me off to fucking California. Yep. We had all sorts. Yep. <laughs> Jeez, I hadn't even I hadn't even been in a jail, or I mean, even been inside one. <laughs> oh yeah. And they'd get weeded out, and then our our platoon guy at the end, he's really. Well, I bet that was a good story, too. <laughs> For murder in Sacramento. Wow. Yep. Then our they knew where he was the Sacramento. whole time. They knew where he was the whole damn time. Yep. Hey. King, you are awesomer. <laughs> but yeah, like... Hey, JCT. At, at my prison, the guys that did have a job, when they got paid... Yeah they would basically be able to buy a bag of coffee and their toiletry shit. And that was it. That would be, yeah. Cause they, if you had a menial job, just some basic cleaning bullshit. Yeah. You were getting a dollar a day to $3 a day. Yep. Yeah. You had a menial job is what they call them. Yeah. You could get like a one treat for yourself and then your basic soap deodorant refills and, yeah, you because broke. and if you have a job, the state don't give you anything. Yeah. So only if you're indigent will the state provide you with your basic needs like deodorant, soap, toothpaste. But if you have a job or you have money on your books, nope, yep. you gotta supply all that yourself. Yeah, that's why a lot of them that have that, they set up a side hustle. They, they're uh, polishing my- shoes, they're fucking, you know. Cutting making hair, candy, or fucking tattooing. The guys, we were talking yeah, about making candy, or doing tattoos, hair. Yeah, cleaning another guy's cell for him for fucking, you know, ramens and shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. You didn't get to do any of that at Leavenworth. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I, 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 I different type. I had duty on the East Coast. I used to run them from the East Coast into Leavenworth. Holy mm-hmm. crap! That was. I've never seen so many. I'll tell you what, they walk in them gates, that front gate, and their sphincters get tight and the fucking tears start coming. And I'm not I'm not going for a stay. I'm guiding them in there and I'm getting the shakes looking at this motherfucking prison. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Our maximum a, security prison. Yeah, our maximum security prison. prison is a fucking joke compared to most any other state. Oh. Yeah. People come to our maximum security prison from other states and they're like, this is a country club. We got yeah. like four pool tables, six um, racquetball courts, two yeah. basketball courts, two movie theaters, nine whole golf courts, softball, horseshoes. <laughs> Holy yeah. crap. Like one of the best jobs at my prison you could have is to work in the culinary kitchen because yeah, then you cook got all for the night. staff and you have the best ingredients, fresh vegetables, like, and yeah. they, depending on like the CO that works there, is the same CO. So a lot of times he would have the guys eat before they went back to their cells. And mm-hmm. if there was extras, sometimes they would be able to take it back to their cells. They couldn't get caught with it, but. Yep. You know, my ex husband's um, best friend, his daddy uh, worked out at um, the car. G- uh, the. The GM plant, the car, the G, the yeah. GM plant, um, and he they said that the the job that they actually strived for to get there was being the janitor, because they reserved that that position for people that had been there for the longest, like thirty years, because that was that was like the the easiest thing. That was a skate job. That yeah, they still got. Their, You're they on still your way got, out the door. We're going to be nice to you for the next couple of years. You yeah, they down. still got their salary they had always made, but but that's what he ended up uh, doing before he retired. And nice. yeah, 
So I, I kind of thought that was kind of neat. Yeah. And like Mike was saying, so like the guys that worked in the culinary program, they would get a certificate, like a food safety certificate. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when they got out, they could get a job serving and cooking food. Yep. And oh, they, oh. hey. That's why our prison teaches them how to weld and they have the rough rider industry and they build up oh, office okay. cubicles. And then they learn car alignments and brake jobs and shit yeah. like that. And yep. They have a skill set when they leave. That's a carpenter's class too. No. Well, yep. Like talk they, about they, country club. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They had they actually had like a chef that came in and worked and would teach them things and mm -hmm. that's what should have been on the ingredient list, the Swedish fish. <laughs> the Swedish fish. <laughs> should made me think about that when you said that. Pure sugar. <laughs> They're a little harder to melt down. Probably easier to melt a Swedish fish than it is the fucking sugar itself. So, so there were so many candies, you know, it's even jeans. Yep. Prison blues. Yep. We had the big prison blues. We had the yep. giant, really thick blue jean jackets in the wintertime. And then we had um, blue jean pants that are really dark in the shirt. And then we had a khaki set, too. See, and at my prison, <clears throat> if they had money, they could buy regular street oh, clothes. Yeah, yeah we could, too. Catalog. We could buy tennis shoes out of a catalog, all that. I showed you that. I sent you one yep. thing of the shoes, that shit, or whatever. That fucking went on for forever. That book is huge. Yeah, so, I <laughs> bet. Another yep. movie that I liked that had that was Cool Hand Luke. I liked that movie, too. <laughs> The candy or the Sir Strawman? Shaking the bush. We are not. We're not messing with the Sir Strawman. Nuh uh Nope. Mm -mm. What's the Sir Strawman? The nastiest smelling, ugly, fucking gross fish minnows that you will ever smell in your life. Oh. Just opening them in your house is a terrible idea. They oh. ferment while they're shipped, even and it makes them better. The can is under pressure when you open it and sprays the nastiness every fucking where. <laughs> Look at Thomas. He's like doing in a the... dance for you, Jenna. He's doing a dance. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Jenna's here? I'm going to do my dance. He's stroking. Jenna bought a great pair of sketchers at her. <laughs> I'm saying dancing. He's getting off. <laughs> all rubbed up. Damn cat. <laughs> Yeah, I had a couple pairs of Nikes, and I had a lot of shoes in there. I don't know why. Oh, I also nasty had food cook-off. I also had the giant headphones and all that, too. You want me to move some of that stuff, puppy? I want you to move a puppy? Ooh, nasty. I don't know about that one, Jenna. I want to eat it. <laughs> I don't know if there's some of that stuff. I don't know if you can make it taste good like Sir Strawman. Oh, so pungent and powerful. Sorry, I had to move some stuff so Thomas could get on the window. So, nah. yeah. I mean, I'll do it if we have to, if it comes down to them. If everybody votes they're doing it, yeah, but I ain't doing it other than that. Mm -mm. The nasty food cook up right that's the thing like because you got to eat it yeah but we got to buy it and then try to make it decent enough you right. have to eat no and then Sir you have to try durian. yeah. durian's really fucking good i can't read that one i'm thinking of casu casu marzo yeah then you can put the uh balut egg in there too might as well throw that in the fermented duck egg balut from oh. the philippines no, I draw, on, I draw the line on some foods. Is that the right. one where they they let the embryo grow? Grow and then it's yep, yep. Oh, gross! Oh. yeah, then oh. it's hard boiled. Yep, it's oh. hard boiled and fermented after that. Yep, let the rod inside of its own shell. Oh God! Yeah, one that it's like a delicatessen in some places. Yeah, I it is a delicacy. It. A delicatessen. The Europeans did it when the, the bird hatched. In the egg opened up 
Then they put a fucking napkin over their head when they ate it because even God didn't want to see that. Yeah. Durian smells awful, though it does. It is. But it's it's got an amazing taste to it. Durian is really good. Kasu Matsu is it, that yeah, nasty cheese. Yeah, cheese. The cheese with the maggots, which is oh, completely God. illegal in the U.S. You can't even bring it into the U.S. Oh, God. Thank God. It's got maggots all over it, and they ah. create a, a slimy substance that's left behind them eating and regurgitating the cheese, and ah. that's what's turned into the cheese. That's oh, fucking God. disgusting. Oh, People that have had it say it's shot. amazing. I'm yeah. not fucking eating that shit. Yeah, <laughs> chase it with moonshine. It'll kill all the maggots. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm probably going to have a hard time eating cheese and rice together now. <laughs> Don't use white cheese because Castle Marcho is white. <laughs> white cheese. No thanks. <laughs> right? right? right. Recycling? Yeah. The Sir Strami and that stuff is beyond awful. Fermented fucking minnows. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> she's looking it up she's like oh <laughs> I, 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 I gotta I gotta I've had the balut that's pretty good if you eat it the way you're supposed to sometimes they'll just hand it to you just because you're a westerner and they want to see your face if you eat it normal <laughs> But if they give you like the soy sauce and the other things that go on it and the salt and the pepper and all that, it's not bad. It's got a little crunch to it when you bite through the duck bill. Perfect. Here you go. Here you go. Hey, do you mind? Here you go, sweetheart. It's your worst. I don't know. You know, Ew. <laughs> not bad, Jenna. It's not bad. It's one of them things where you like hold your breath when you eat it. And then you dump the soy sauce on there and the salt and pepper and it's not terrible. Eggs ain't supposed to be crunchy. <laughs> Not the egg, it's the duck inside the egg. Oh, what you're that even is looks bones gross. and bill. Yep. <laughs> Fucking savages. <laughs> Tell me they're gourmands. Mm -hmm. Fucking savages. That's California Sir Outlaws Strummy. for for, uh, for uh, California Outlaw. I can't even talk. That Sir Strami even looks disgusting. It is. It's one of the most awful fish you'll ever fucking taste, see, smell. You can Which look up um, the tilapia. There's one guy that no Sir Strami, but uh, there's one guy that tastes these weird foods that people send him, and he always sits in his car. Younger guy. But he's always sits in his car and somebody sent him the Sir Strom and then he just pried that thing open and put all the pressure fucking let out of that can when he ripped it open all over the inside of his car. Oh, he fucking God. dry heaving, trying to get out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, humans, they're entertaining. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, he couldn't get out of that car fast enough. Just <laughs> and you can see his eyes watering up. <laughs> He's trying to operate the handle and it's locked and <laughs> panic is setting in. Oh, I was fucking laughing. You got the sons of Norway up there with their lutefisk dinner. Yeah, we have lutefisk all the time. Lutefisk cook ops and. Some of them still even make it the old way. With the lie. Yep. And then you throw it on a hot fucking roof for six months, literally. Yep. 
in a tin box. <laughs> uh, we in North Dakota, you're going to find a hot roof for six months. There is no such thing. Yeah, if you is. got a black roof, it get real fucking hot. Like it'd be if you have a black asphalt roof, like back in the day, they get hot as fuck because the sun beats on it. It gets That's way hotter hot than seventy six. Yeah, you let it sit up there that whole Stop. fucking time until it fucking ferments. They line them up up on the fucking roofs in big tin boxes, fucking fish and lie <laughs> until it turns to a jelly <laughs> and ferments like crazy. And then they throw it on a fucking grill, barely warm it up, and put it on your plate. You gonna eat that? Mm -mm. <laughs> that is shit. Something the dog won't even eat. Yep. I'm always really wary when things are called a delicacy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. The chocolate-covered crickets weren't bad. That's pretty common. Yeah, crickets, just, ants, all them. Yep. Yeah, you don't. They don't really taste like a whole lot. I mean, it's just crunchy. No. Yeah. Yeah. If you can even get them roasted and salted, and they taste just like you were chewing on a sunflower cell seed, you know. Mm-hmm. There's nothing really to them. What? So I say, you know, if you can get a past the mental thing, a lot of different foods. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, <laughs> like I'd yeah. try anything once. No, there's some things I try in once. No, <laughs> there's things I won't try once. Like that, that's her. There was a that's show. So many watched. people try that once and they died. Mm -hmm. There's a well, show that I used to watch. I don't remember the name of it, but one of the tests that they had to do was to eat like. A disgusting. Oh yeah, like, whatever animal. Joe no, Rogan used to have a show like, like it that. It depended on what, like they would have a challenge. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, like the fear factor. Yep. Yeah, and it would be like eating all the leftovers from like a, a cook off or something. Yeah, but it would be all mixed together and cooked and goulash. Kind of, but it always Ooh, looked disgusting. That'd just be a meatloaf. Like <laughs> poop, and that's what I've you get a lot of eating insects. Normally, food. Yeah, you just put it all yeah, together, stick some, right. stick some cheese on it, and call it a casserole. <laughs> and like there were a few of them that, <laughs> like they would try to, they would try to say, "I'm not eating that," and they would say, "No, you have to eat that." Oh, I mean, you're, I, out, yeah. I, oh you're eliminated. I ain't yep. talking about like eating live like tarantulas or anything. I'm just talking, you know. No, about, well, I would, am I. Yeah. I don't I know mean, if I'd I, eat a live tarantula, but I had the deep fried ones. They were really fucking good. Yeah, it'd have to, it'd have to be cooked. And you, they I mean, I would want to know it's not something that's going to kill me. Yeah. You know? No, they don't. Especially if you cook anything, um, like even if they are venomous, if you cook it, it's done. But it has to bite you to affect you. If you swallow venom, it does nothing to you at all. Your stomach acid kills it all, yep. Yeah. yeah. It'll eat a penny. It has to be in your bloodstream, not in your gut. Yeah, yeah I've I've swallowed plenty of venom. We we uh oh, God. we have a rattlesnake <laughs> roundup in Raleigh, North Dakota here. And they go oh, out and all the cowboys man. round up all the rattlesnakes in their area. <laughs> and they throw them in a pen and Jesus. they play games with them all day. Here we go again. And uh, you can go out them. to that when they're milking yeah. the snake. You can you can pay for shots of rattlesnake venom and shoot it like a like you're sitting at a bar. Uh. You know, I was just just teasing you. I did get choked up though. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> work on that gag reflex a little bit. <laughs> Just a chip, you know. Anyway. Telling you that stuff just, just like pops right out. That'll happen. Hey, don't let me hold you back from having fun. Far be it for me to keep you uh, <laughs> keep a woman from you know expressing herself or yep. exposing herself. I wouldn't stop either one. I know. Whatever happened to that fucking move for women with the hashtag free the nipple? Why'd that ever fucking drop off? <laughs> what? I'm all for that shit. Fucking bring that one back. They, didn't they all burn all the bras? 
Mm -hmm. Well, technically, now I read this. I'm not sure where it's at because I can't remember. But um, there was a place that fought for it because if men go around without shirts on, they were saying, why can't women? You know, I mean, yeah, who was, was to say it, yeah. it was socially acceptable or whatever. So in that particular place, I don't know if it's in more places than just that, but that place, yeah, women can go around without shirts on, just like men can. Black speech. Oh, you know where else they do it? Down in the villages in Florida. Yep. Yep. And nude beaches. Them well, I mean, this ain't beaches. This is just anywhere you go sponges. in the city. Oh, my God. The beaches in Florida, though, what are you talking? It's not the beach no the villages it's a are not senior it's a senior living fucking place and they're all like swingers <laughs> they drive around they've got different color loofah sponges loofah sponges on their golf carts yep to so, tell you what they're into <laughs> yeah <laughs> and 55 and older and you don't have you don't have to be yeah. 55 to live there if you're living with somebody you know your family mm -hmm. yeah, what a cesspool Highest rate of fucking STBs in the country. Yep. God. Last thing I was going to do is run around a bunch of perks. Topless bike ride in Portland every year, once a year. Topless bike ride. Yeah. Ladies, are you talking like, no, are you talking like Harleys or like puppies? But if I'm <laughs> looking your way, I don't want to hear any fucking comments. I'll be giving the comments. Are we talking pedal bikes or gas bikes? <laughs> Better be pedal bikes. <laughs> Gotta get that. That's not half as interesting. I want to see them on like a Harley or Crowd Rocket. I want to see once she gets going 45, if them nipples are pointing backwards, then I'm just going to pass. <laughs> if you're driving behind her and her nipples is all you just see flapping, like, okay. <laughs> Pick it up a notch and get past it. <laughs> yep. According to Google, September 2019, a federal court ruling a ban on women going topless in public in six states, including Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Kansas, and Oklahoma, effectively made it legal for women to go topless in public. And it's pedal bikes. Okay. Cool. The things people do. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, yeah, and you know, I mean, they even, even in movies, they show the, you know, they show the top parts anyway. I bet surfs and nutsack is caught in a shifter all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drive a stick shift anymore, you dingbat. Guys, my knees don't fucking work like that anymore. <laughs> God, it feels like I'm no, I can't push a clutch in anymore. It just my fucking knee wants to pop off when I do it. So no. Oh. Then it would be hard job to untangle the nut sack. I don't get all twisted in my nut sack. I don't life doesn't get to me like that. Oh, my mistake. Portland has a nude bike ride up once a year. <laughs> I like it better when it was topless. <laughs> oh, it's nude. Yeah. Everybody Shit. can join. Ah. <laughs> uh, whatever happened to the laws that are on the books? Like public indecency. Right. <clears throat> There's yeah. still some really weird laws too out there. Oh god, mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I like to stay home. I don't get exposed to all that bullshit out there. Sitting behind my fucking gate and wire. Yeah. There's a loophole here. You can still shoot Native Americans. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. got to be two or more of them, and you got to be in a covered wagon. 
Yep. Mr. So, if my, so if my convertible top is up, I'm covered. Right? <laughs> Bob. Yeah. I don't know because that's not classified as a wagon. If you had a con station wagon, no. You can find a convertible station wagon. <laughs> They're classified station. as a wagon. Fuck, I know how to get on Craigslist. I can find a convertible station wagon. Right? I can build one really fast. <laughs> Shit, I'll go buy a hearse. They're going cheap these days. Yeah. On the title, station wagons are classified as wagons. That's all it says. Well. Got to be two or more, and you got to be in a covered wagon. Does it say how many horsepower you're supposed to have? Like two, a team, say any. Or four. It's or often four. often wagons were dropped with family in it, and the horses were used to go off and find food. You know something. Yeah. So there has to be. It doesn't even have to be hooked to horses. You just got to be in a covered wagon. Yeah. So you can tow it behind your car, load yeah. up the wagon with a bunch of guys, and yep, <laughs> go throw six packs in the. Bushes and shit. <laughs> Just sitting in the fucking wagon like some kind of fucked up call. Firewater, get your firewater. <laughs> Somebody say fry bread and whiskey. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why I don't drink when I have guns. <laughs> All sorts of bad shit could happen. And I know hey, that. Josie. Oh. Do you make do you make fry bread? Fry bread in this cast iron skillet? Oh yeah. Yep. Uh my grandma, she taught me one she but it's an okra fry bread. My uncle has one of the stands. You normally see it like the fair and shit like that. He makes fry bread. He sets it up downtown. Uh, he's down by um like one of them rent to own places. Like at least once or twice a week, selling fried bread tacos and shit out of there. Well, a lot of people that don't like okra will end up eating this okra fry bread. Oh. oh, well, I got that cleared up. Thank you, Jenna. There I need shit to protest. Public nudity in the form of protest is protected by Oregon's constitution. Lewd behavior is not. Please don't be lewd, ups, obscene, and are engaged in any sexual activity. That is an arrestable offense. Well, yeah, can't ride. So you can't ride and fuck at the same time. You can ride. Though. And you need shit to protest. Damn, mm -hmm. I could well, walk tons. out my can... gate and within five minutes. I'd have fucking people chasing me down the street because I'm <laughs> protesting one of their goddamn stupid deals they got going on. Oh God, no! I could protest a whole lot if I gave up any kind of fuck. Wait a minute! You said don't ride and do that. Huh? It's way more dangerous for a guy to ride nude, though, than it is a woman. Oh, I thought you meant like riding a vehicle. I, I, I didn't. You're still talking about like on a bike. You imagine oh. if that thing hits the back fucking tire? <laughs> That's what I was say because you can get chain and a hoo wee. You can get blowjobs all the time in a vehicle. That's why I was asking you. But you're talking about still riding a, an actual bike. And your bike seat cannot be a dildo, apparently. What the fuck? And why did they have to put that in there specifically? <laughs> there was somebody. There was somebody. <laughs> no, it's a banana seed. I swear. <laughs> it's yeah, always got to be that one that's going to ruin it for everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, like you guys were talking earlier, like, you know, you got to try everything once and then everybody tries something to figure out how it's best. I want to know how many people died fucking eating blowfish before some fucking idiot figured out how exactly to cut it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, there had to be a, a test there somehow. <laughs> yep. There had was to somebody be. hungry enough to eat one the wrong way. Well, yeah. Yeah, and they died. And then they're like, well, hold on. If we cut this piece off, then somebody else eats it. They die. Oh, okay, let's cut that piece off and this thing off. And they die. <laughs> I don't know. I'm with you, Mike. At some point, I would think you'd stop trying to eat it. Right? 
how many people perished until they figured out like, the fucking poisonous part? And then the chefs that are real pros deep just enough poison on there to make your lips and your teeth and tongue and shit tingle. See, that's why I I won't eat blowfish. No. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Really high end restaurants is... they leave just enough on there to to like give you a tingly feeling when you're all you got to do is get the chef that's having a, had too many drinks the night before and has shakes. That's no, that doesn't happen in Japan. <laughs> Mm-mm. Sir, come on, man. <laughs> I'm just saying it can't be obscene. Oh, yeah. I don't care how skilled the chef is. I'm not taking that chance. You wouldn't right, take Jenna, it? I would. That's how I, I feel. Would. No, nope, not doing it. I would. I would actually just sit in the restaurant long enough until I seen somebody order the blowfish. And if he makes it out, I'm ordering the blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Exactly, Jenna. I wonder if you have to, I wonder if it works that way over there, if you got to like sign a waiver or. I'm guessing like that chef has to be in his own skilled little area where he can't be bumped and people can't right scare, like, him, scare him suddenly so or something variables that could yeah. go wrong no, no loud noises by him it's like there's a room in the back that sound off you know <laughs> Like, if I went there and he's, like, training the guy in, no, I ain't ordering it. Mm -mm. <laughs> if I have to sign a waiver to eat food, it's a no. Well, there's a lot of things that are even here. There's a, our Buffalo Wild Wings has a hot sauce that's so fucking hot, you have to sign a, a waiver for. Now, there's a couple of them around here, so... I think, yeah, they do have to be. Yep, them steps have to be certified for it. Yep, okay. for blowfish. The same thing with uh, okay. certain types of stonefish. Yeah, they. it must be prepared by a licensed chef and is prohibited to be <coughs> prepared, prepared in the home. Mm -hmm. even, today, even today, the Japanese family is forbidden from eating it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can only order it there at the restaurant, yep. Nope. What about if, what if you're one of the licensed chefs? Can you prepare it at home? That's another one. Oh, I don't give know. Me the, give me the sardines and some crackers. Okay. <laughs> be good. Yeah, that's still a nope, Jenna. <laughs> Mr. Sarfish, have you ever had kipper snakes? Oh, I love kipper snakes. I got a. You should. I'm Aren't dating. they good? I'm Danish. Yeah, I like kipper snacks. I like the oysters. I like anything you could, yeah. My kipper grandpa, snacks. my grandpa Third. taught me to make this little spread that it's very simple. I mean, there's nothing to it, but he puts, he, he dices up some onion in it. And then he puts some, uh, he puts some miracle whip and some mustard, both a little garlic powder, a little black pepper, a um, little bit of splash, just a tiny little splash of lemon juice. And then mixes it all together with those kipper snacks. And he used to take some crackers and crush it up in there too. But then he would take all, that whole thing and put it on a cracker, you know, and eat it. Oh, yeah. I do love it. Uh, yeah, I like that stuff. Mm-hmm. Golly, it's good. Oh. It's like gizzards. I Man, I love gizzards. Oh, yeah. I'll eat the shit out of some chicken gizzards. Mm -hmm. Even chicken livers. Yeah. Done right. Yeah. Butter, garlic. Yeah. Yeah. And skillet. Mm hmm. Curry is my curry. Curry. Curry is my spice limit. Oh, that's not even oh, no. spicy. Come on, Jenna. Curry. Jesus. No. Nope. So I always hated buying those chickens, you know, in the store that are whole. And you get the little packet, you know, the giblets on the inside. 
and they like give you like four hearts and no gizzards or you know you just there was always something <laughs> you know it's like well how are we supposed to divide this up <laughs> yeah luckily my daddy and i were the only ones that liked that stuff my brothers and my mama didn't yeah well when we were over in taiwan and then went down to the philippines yeah, we uh we ate some interesting things in Taiwan. So, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure some of it was cat. Pretty sure it was dog. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I can't say nothing on that because I said I eat coyotes. So you eat coyote? Yeah, I'll eat coyote. Coyote? Yes, sir. I'm telling you, if you put it side, if you take, if you put it raw, okay, and you put it side by side, raw, okay, like you cut it up, like like fajita meat, and you cut it up and you set it side by side and you show it to someone, they ain't gonna know the difference between that and beef. Well, the fuck of all. Do what? what a, you want to make that bet, that Becca? Coyote's a dog type meat. You can tell the difference between a dog type meat and a cattle meat. If mm -hmm. I'm talking about it being raw, yeah, and you're, yeah, you're completely cutting. raw, laying on a board. Yep, put yep. two pieces mm -hmm. beside me: one beef, one one coyote. I'll tell you which is which. I've I've skinned so many coyotes and I've butchered so mm -hmm. many fucking cows in my life. I'll tell you directly which one's rich. You know, maybe you would because you've done it, but most people wouldn't do wouldn't know. No, because most people buy their fucking meat in the grocery store and think it comes out of the back cooler. Yeah, that's what I said. He would know, but a lot of people wouldn't know. Kane said, make the bet. Make <clears throat> the bet. Do it. <laughs> now, if he, if he's dressed out that many things like that, then no, he he would probably know because you, I mean you'd know the difference between a lot of things that because you're just so used to seeing it. Well, yeah, it's a red meat, Jenna. Yeah, but it's it's completely different. The muscle fiber in coyote is layered completely different than it is on on cattle and everything else. It's got a way longer strand tissue where it's not a mass muscle like in beef and everything. Right. The strand situations right. on on dog go from side to side to side to over where it's not a mass through. But you ask the general public that, and they ain't gonna know nothing about this, the the muscles and stuff in a steak, even. What up, King over the water? Hello there. Most dangerous meal in England is sushi, and no more tripe or young. Well, yeah, I know that, Mister Kane. I said I ain't stupid. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make that bet with him. I seen that fucking video, Jet Wash. That guy was a fucking idiot. I only drink the strawberry milk because it doesn't hurt the cows. It doesn't come from them. <laughs> yeah, the vegan guy, whatever he was. I seen that fucking video. Yeah. I thought they they picked steak off the cow tree. It is, it's off a cow tree. Yeah. A Hereford tree. Back at WTF Mike knows the fucking deal. <laughs> fucking deal. I probably couldn't tell between coyote, beef, and human. Human is very sweet. Long the pork. Really oh my gosh. Taste. Yep. Horse is very sweet too, yep. Europeans got a taste for horse during World War One, and got even Italy more. Italy France, it was huge. Food. Yeah. Well, I can honestly say I've never ate a human being. Yeah. I'd rather squeeze the man. udders off an almond. <laughs> you sunk more sailors. Wait a minute. How's that? No. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. You're right. Yeah. You have it. Well, not in eating the sense of the word that I took somebody's flesh <laughs> off. No, but well. you killed before they had a chance to form. Well, I mean, it's... <laughs> Anyhow. One of the same. I've eaten, the, I've eaten the gravy that they make, but I've I'm never eaten the actual, you know... If you're flesh. baking, if you're going to bake a cake and you have it all ready and you pour it in the pan and the oven's preheated and I come in and grab that fucking cake and wing it across the fucking kitchen and it hits the wall, it was going to be a cake eventually, wasn't it? Yes. It was... Just about there, but somebody swallowed it. <laughs> um, yep, I just see piles of red meat. 
Mike, do you me. think that person was diabetic or the human just sweet in general? Humans are really sweet in general. Sweet. We have a sweet taste. Ever since sugar became industrialized, we've had a very sweet taste. Um, if you back it up 150, 200 years, where it was a way more natural growth and not all the sugar and everything that you fucking buy, no, we would have had a way more earthy note to us. Yep. Um, how do you normally prepare your humans? <laughs> Seared with a little bit of butter. Barbecue. And how often yeah. do you with do that, it? With the good caliente. Yeah. And some Wait, fava beans. Are you talking about the only time that human is a white meat? <laughs> yeah, that time. Yep. Do you often have your friends for dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy, I don't think we'll be eating over mics no more. He doesn't know. You've eaten here. <laughs> You're like, these fucking burritos are good. I don't care if they fucked up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. With a little nice garlic. Yeah. Garlic. Resin. Yeah, oh yeah. I threw the I threw the meat in there and the potatoes, the garlic. It was all mixed together. Big old burrito thing. They were eating the shit out of it. <laughs> did it come oh from a male God. or a female? I'm like, oh, the meat just didn't get up to what it was supposed to. I don't know. It got mushy on me. Oh, don't worry about it, Doris. This is fucking delicious. <laughs> this burrito is sweet. What'd you add to it? That actually came out of one of the mouths, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. He said yummy, it was yummy, good. Yummy. said it didn't come out. He was expecting venison and it was goose. Yeah. It was probably a butt cheek instead of a thigh. I don't know, pork butt. Well, maybe we should have put human on one of the ingredients one of the ingredients on the list. <laughs> I think it was your guys' show, Chop, you were talking about. It happened. Not in this country. But um, they were doing it, and they were presenting. And then they were asking the judges. They had a choice between, like, three things. And, like, they had to guess what they were eating. It was human, shark, and something else. And oh. they guessed the shark and the crocodile, and it was human flesh. But where did they get it? What do they do? Wait till somebody dies and get it off of a cadaver? I didn't ask, but it was the the fucking little clip from it made its fucking rounds and everything all over the fucking place. I looked it up, but it was a true event and it was all legal. But hmm. are we drinking the same water? We could be drinking the same water. I don't know. Oh, you've got a whore, a core hydration water by you? I mean, I guess a human could sit there and sign one of those forms, you know, about. Hey, I want to leave my body to science, and then they do a little, you know, food experiments with it. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Um, there was a company that actually sold human parts. Oh my god! Well, maybe somebody volunteered. Yes. <laughs> yep. We sure are, Jenna. Maybe I need to go around and ask, hey, you want to eat me? I don't know <laughs> if they're going to take it that way. My neighbor knew he was dying. So before he died, he sold his fucking body to the University of Kentucky. I was going to oh. say, that's how it started, was people would sell, would donate their bodies to science. Right. So he gets a check. I don't know what he made. It, it can't be, you know, maybe a couple thousand bucks. But, boy, the the day he died... They came and got him. I, I remember I saw a show that supposedly was based on a true, true story that a dude in, in England put it was Germany ad on a, a, like a singles page looking because oh. he was dying and he had always had a fantasy of someone eating his flesh. Yeah. While he was still alive, yeah, yeah, it was Germany. Yep, it was Germany. Yep. And he <laughs> found somebody that always yep. wanted I to got a person, a human. Yep, 
Yeah, Germans and they actually stayed together, together for a few they, days. Was, yeah, while he bled out, yeah, yep, waiting for him to die from bleeding out. Yep. Off of they him. ate his they ate his dick and testicles first. Yeah, this one and he complained stuff. because the guy overcooked his pecker. Yep. Well, I, I'd go. I'd go for the balls first. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, Germany. It's a true story. Well, I, let me take that my my original statement back when I said I would. I'd eat anything once. I mean, yeah. unless I was just starving. No, you already said it, Becca. You already said it. <laughs> if I was, if I was out there starving, and it was all that was kind of like that. Remember that plane crash that alone? Oh, yeah, the, and they, yeah, they alive. ate the people. Yes, That's what it was alive. Yes. Yeah, exactly, I mean, Jenna. Yeah, that circumstance, then maybe, you know, maybe oh, my yeah. ass, I'd be slicing and dicing and getting it chopped up, ready to go. I'm not dying when I got food source around me. Yeah, in that well, instance, it'd be different. Judge, judge me all you want. I'm sucking air. I don't give a damn. But I'm not well, going to wait for someone to die and bleed them out and then go and, and the, slice them up. The movie she's talking about. I know the movie. Chill. The Chilean. Yeah. The, and they yeah. had actually all agreed that if they died, the others would use yeah. them. Yeah, that's it's happened like a few jumping times. Jumping on a, a grenade times. for your buddies in a fucking war. Yeah, yeah. The ultimate sacrifice. Or even the, or even the fat die, girl at the bar. Live on. Or oh. even the fat girl at the bar, so that your buddy can pick up the good-looking one. Sure. The same sacrifice. <laughs> no, in my luck, I would be, I would be like on my cycle or something, and I'd bleed out extra fast. <laughs> Yeah, well, he did the cuts and everything, and he was like the guy sitting in a tub up of ice water, like bleeding yeah. out into it. And like he was just sitting there waiting. The guy ended up like living like three days. Yeah, like just yeah. waiting for him to bleed out. Yep. And did he? They tried. Up, they tried to charge up, him with murder. He ended up right. beating it. Yep. Did it? And I think if I remember right, the the guy that was eaten made a recording. Yep. saying that they recorded it all and they legalized wanted. it all with contracts and all that yep and they tried to charge him with murder he beat it in germany yep if we were having a survival situation i'd die eat me <laughs> then use my skin as a jacket <laughs> right would you like for my that's taking that fucking owing a pound of flesh to a whole nother level ain't it <laughs> <laughs> Be surprised what you do if you want to live. Oh yeah, you will become that monster. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, if there's no choice, other choice, human nature, which is as there's always other choices. I mean, if you had nothing out there. I mean, nothing like everything Death is was... a choice. Eating the thing is a choice. I mean, well, a I know that. I'm saying if you had no other choice, you know, but death. I mean, if you wanted to live, in you ever heard the term roadkill? I find you on the road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat. Well, you had plenty of ideas in the chat earlier, Becca. So if you're in a survival situation, how are you preparing that? Um. <laughs> would I have would I have access to a grill? I'd probably do it over a grill or an open flying. Probably not. I mean, yeah, maybe I part of the have... plane on a fire you built. <laughs> Who's gonna be refilling your propane? Or, or you know what? I might bury him like a like you'd do a hog. You know, put him underground. Underground put and, that eating way. Two, and eating a day and a half, two days later. <laughs> well, you didn't say that. Oh, you said survival. Okay. And okay, yep. if it's in a survival, then I probably would do it over an open flame. Yeah. Over a fire. Yeah. Put it on a spit. Yeah, just like you would a rabbit or something over like that. What part would you eat first? Liver. Oh, I always eat the balls first. Damn. I probably would. I'd probably eat those what first. If, okay, what if it's a girl? <laughs> um, If it was a girl... Cook them like a luau pig. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
I'd probably take oh some of the thigh maybe first. Uh, always the ass, the butt muscle, the biggest, most packed protein muscle on you. If you want to get the good stuff, you, you got to get on the side. Yeah, you got to eat yeah. the booty. Got to eat the ass, Becca. <laughs> always eat the booty. Yep, eat that booty. Well, I was just thinking if I had a long pole or whatever, I could cook the whole, the no. whole, you know, thigh down to no. the knee. Yeah. That way I could cook a whole you're, bunch at one time. You're in a mountain top and it's freezing cold. That that meat's not going bad. You're going to cut it. You're going to bleed it out. It's going to sit there. You're going to cut off a nice chunk of the ass. To you're going to take that skin off of it, hopefully. <laughs> you can leave it on there do some crackling maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> Man, my butt would make y'all survive I mean, at least six weeks. <laughs> I could feed 10 people off my butt. Damn. <laughs> that could be a good thing in a survival situation. But you'd be one of the first to go. Yeah, if I was the first with, to go. With a 10-person ass? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We <laughs> Everybody's just gonna be sitting around back with fucking forks and a watching her. <laughs> I'd say, you know what? I got it's booty licious. I bet I could get her done in two hours, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? We always go to food. I don't know if we're going to classify this. <laughs> <laughs> Would the um, you know how we were talking about delicacies, you know, before? Would the eyeballs be considered a delicacy? Deep's eyeballs are. I think so. And would they Certainly. see you coming? Would they see you eating, <laughs> eating themselves? <laughs> up to up to three minutes, I think. Is it three minutes? I think it's three minutes up to the head being cut off. They can see and move their mouth and Yeah. So make sure if you pull my eyeballs out, make sure you give it a five minute limit. <laughs> I like to feel it wiggle as it goes down. You're just looking yeah. around. <laughs> What movie was that? Um, not Shawshank Redemption. The three guys like fucking jump off of the fucking train. Oh, brother, we're out though. My daddy where loved the one, that movie. Where the one dude gets his ear cut off and the other's carrying it around, talking into it like the dude can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes fucking like love rump roast. <laughs> Do you think eyeballs would taste like? Like boba? boba. Boba. Yeah, the boba tea. It's the little balls in the boba tea. Now, uh, no boba joke. Tea. When I was having one of my eye surgeries done, I was sitting in the little, because they, they uh, do the local where they didn't, you know, they didn't just that. Yeah. You don't have to be totally put under. And so I was I was in that chair and of course there was this uh, needle coming right towards me and I and they had already didn't you know didn't everything and I said now am I supposed to be seeing that needle because mm -hmm. at the time it was like maybe an inch from my eye and well, they said wait a minute what are you talking about and I said am I supposed to be seeing this and they said you can see that needle and I said yes sir and they said nurse you know or whoever whatever whoever that was doing it they didn't put enough um stuff in it you know oh. so i couldn't even imagine because if i could see it that meant i could feel it oh, you know God. Mm -hmm. i went, went on my on my major eye surgery that i had when i went totally blind um they actually popped out each eyeball and they built platforms behind my eyes well, I told the doctor before I got put up. Now, that one, they put me totally under. But I told the doctor, I said, well, just make sure that I don't wake up while while y'all have my eyeballs popped out because I don't want to be looking off to the side. <laughs> you know? 
Right, Jenna? That would be worse than, like, I hate going to the dentist because you can't, like, Bite like you don't know what they're doing in there. Like, it, it's going to be even worse with the, with the, seeing that shit. Oh, man, I wouldn't have put those surgeries on nobody. Um, because the, when they started and did the first parts of it, they, they, they couldn't put any deadening agent on it. Okay. Because I had, they said I had to have total use of my eyeballs, even though I was blind, couldn't see, world was dark. Um, and, but they would tell me which way to look. Okay. Like left, right or whatever. And then they would shoot these, uh, lasers in there. Not like mm -hmm. LASIK, but actual laser beams because they were burning all the nerve endings in my eyes. And it's like a thousand pinch nerves. And I literally jumped out of the seat like four different times. And he told me, he said, you can't be doing that. But that one right there, that was the most painful thing. That's why I have a really high pain tolerance now, because that was the most painful thing I had ever gone through in my entire life. And then after they did that to both eyes, um, the next set of surgeries that I had, um, that's when they were able to actually put me under in those. And then they just said it would be a waiting game. And all in all, I had my eyesight was gone for about six months. Yeah. That's I think the one that's place why they I'm, can stick me without me freaking out. I think that's why I really am so laid back because – I just don't, I don't take things for granted. And I don't know. It's like when you can't, when you can't see, um, I don't know. It just gives you a whole new perspective on things. Yeah. King over the water had his lenses taken off when he was in the teenager. My mom just had that done. Her lenses and everything rebuilt her cornea part. So. Yeah, they had to cut open and cut off the whole top of her eyeball and replace it all. Well, they told me that it wasn't because this I was very young when all this happened. And they told me that um, it wouldn't be a matter of if, it would just be when I would have cataracts as well. So yeah. most of the time, you know, you're older when you get them. Well, my cataracts started at a very young age. And so I went oh. and had one up and done. And um, they, the only bad thing is since I'm, so since I was young, my immune system, most of the time, older people that have it don't have the immune system much anymore. And yeah. so when my immune system was still so great that it thought that that surgery was attacking me and it tried to attack the surgery. And so I had real bad problems with it, you know, healing right. And then <laughs> um, they, after the cat, after one, because it's just one side, after that cataract was taken out, I'd be danged if a film didn't develop at the back of my eyeball. So that one, <laughs> I still have to go have blasted out. I haven't had that done yet. But it was funny because all those years that, um, you know, the years leading up to this for when I went blind, when I got my eyesight back um, and I had 2015 vision before I lost my eyesight. So, um, but anyway, after that, I never realized until I had that one cataract done that I actually had, when I looked out, I actually saw like a little yellow tint to the, to the scenery, to the world. Mm -hmm. And my eyeball wasn't yellow. But I was looking out and it had like a, almost like I was looking through one of those little yellow sunglasses, you know, yep. and I never what knew that. Yeah, I never knew that at all. And so then I start, so, and I still have to have one of my eyes done. So now if I close one eye, I still have that yellow tint uh, looking out. And if I close just the other eye, then it's more like the clear color. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Can't you see? <laughs> right, Rex. What's going on, bud? Yeller. Yeller. Yeah. Old yeller dog. Yeah. Bad part is, honestly, um, he told me that glasses, 
he said glasses wouldn't help me even enough to to even wear them so i'll never i'll never have glasses they don't they don't do any good yeah they corrected all my moms and everything too so Um, so she don't have to wear glasses anymore either, but she had I to never, wear them really, them really thick sunglasses when you leave there. They're like molded to your face and they're mm -hmm. solid black. So the sunlight couldn't come in. Yep. I've never worn glasses. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's weird because I never had to wear them before and I never wore them after because my vision is very distorted. They said. That's the word they finally came up with. And it's it's not that I can't see. I see just fine. But when I'm reading, like the first, the third, and the fifth letter uh, is is like straight or clear, whatever you call it, you know, straight. But the second and the fourth letter can be wiggly. So, so that's what I'm talking about by distorted. Yeah, I know what um, I meant. Yep. Yeah, I have to just, I don't know. I just have to focus a little bit more. That was the end of playing softball. I can't do that anymore because I can't take the stuff flying at my eyes so fast. I can't focus as quickly. First thing I did, though, after after my, I got my eyesight back, um, I went dove hunting because I knew if I could, you know, if I could drop a dove, then I would be OK. <laughs> and I clipped its wing. I didn't drop it, but I did clip its wing. And I was like, oh, thank goodness, you know. Yes, King's Over the Water, that is me. Ba -ba -ba -bum. I think the neatest thing that actually happened, though, is my eyes are actually in a medical book somewhere. They took all the... I had cataract the... doors. I had cataract. Oh, I had cataract doors. No, I had cataract doors. So you was a lady that likes wrestling. King Over the Water, 1798. What? I've been trying to that's train his... my young kid. That's oh. his uh, channel name. His handle, like... Oh, okay. Cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah, my mom had some really thick dark glasses on. That shit was hilarious because she wanted to go to Sam's Club after. So she's got these thick ass goggles attached to her fucking face that are black as hell. She can barely see anything through. We're helping leading her around and she's walking up to the price tags on the shelf, like getting like this and trying to look down to see them. And she's doing this number, trying to see them <laughs> with dark fucking glasses on. I was fucking laughing. <laughs> I gotta get some shit. Holy there. fuck. All right, there. <laughs> All right, later, bud. Yep. Oh, no. Trying to see him. I kept calling her fucking Ray Charles. She was getting mad. That's funny. Bashful, are you still here? She's on mute right now. I know. She's probably trying to get mom to eat that gumbo. <laughs> no, I'm just dealing with the dog, so. Oh, oh sure. Won't shut up, they won't even eat the gumbo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat it? I ate some of it. Yeah. I've ate so many ibuprofen today, though. My stomach is. Ugh. Okay. How was it? That was good. That was good. All right. Are so you you're saying that because it's yours? Huh? Said, are you just saying that because it was yours? <laughs> no, no, I was actually kind of surprised because I'm not really a fan of that chicken in those packs. Yeah, me yeah, neither. Not really. But... Yeah. So, so your tummy is a little uneasy right now, like nauseous. 
Well, it's kind of like burning because I've ate like three eight hundred string. Okay, kind of more like in, like, like indigestion type burning. Yeah. Um, yeah. do you have what any? Up, do you have any apple cider vinegar? I do, but I just took a an alka seltzer and then I took a protonics too. Okay, well, I mean, it wouldn't. You could still take it if you'll if you'll drink uh like take a tablespoon. Um, I, I usually do two, but you know you can just try one. But a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and dilute it in like a half a cup of water, um, maybe a cup of water, just depends on what I whatever you could take. That will go away in like thirty minutes. Yeah, I do a lot of alka seltzer thing before. Sometimes it works, but hey, taking this much ibuprofen, no. it's usually just messing with my gallbladder. I do a lot of natural stuff, and as long as you don't have like you know major ulcers or something, yeah. But it it really does work. She has a major ulcer. I've had an earache for three days. So I've been eating a lot of ibuprofen. <laughs> Uh, if you do, if you do um, grapefruit seed extract, mm -hmm. that'll pull that ear infection out. Yeah, I, haven't I didn't even know that was a thing. Did you know that was a thing, Doris? No. Grapefruit, grapefruit seed? seed extract. Yeah, um, <laughs> you can you can buy it already diluted, like already like in your. Um, like I'm not going to go out and try to fucking milk grapefruit seed for fuck's sake. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just saying they already make it. I mean, you could take like your regular grapefruit seed extract and just, you know, put it with some alcohol or something and do it that way. Or you can just buy the one that's already just the solution that's already made. I, I get the solution that's already made. It's like less than 10 bucks for the whole bottle. Well, anyway, um, I had I had an ear infection and man I I tried what the doctor did it it just wouldn't clear it up so I did the grapefruit seed extract solution that you know the pre one or whatever and it was gone yeah, yeah. by the next morning the only thing you have to watch is um, that you can't like I use the grapefruit seed extract actually even cleared up Tater's face my dog I used it on him even when. Uh, all of a sudden, he he had this big hole in the side of his face where he, I don't know, all the fur was gone, and I don't know what happened to his face, but I mixed it with a little bit of antimicrobial stuff for the skin and squirted that on him, and that was cleared up within about three, four days, and all the infection, because grapefruit seed extract pulls out infections, so it does viral, fungal, um, what's the other ones? Um that cat come marching out there like he was going to fuck them dogs up. <laughs> Bacterial and then hey, whatever, the, whatever the last one is. Anyway, it does that. The only thing you have to watch with taking grapefruit seed extract is if you have a heart condition and you take any medication for your heart, then you cannot use grapefruit seed extract because grapefruits, you know, uh, mess with your Heart medicine. Oh, I also didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Well, why would I know that? I didn't even know grapefruit seed extract was a thing. Yeah, it does a lot of really good things, but. I don't take medication for nothing natural or otherwise. But... Well, that's why I, so I don't like really taking medication. I mean, I got to take the stuff for my blood sugar, but. Yeah. <clears throat> but. Um... <laughs> But that particular that's stuff. By, that's what I meant by like natural or otherwise. It's like alcohol. That's about as much medication as I get. I have, There is um multi-Advil thing somewhere on this fucking table, but I don't ever take them. i got to be half dead. What the fuck are they? There they are. What are they called? The Advil dual, dual action. Yeah. Yeah. When I burned my legs, uh, when I went into that building to pull the animals out, and my legs burned from my about my ankles up to about midways up my calf. Um, the doctors they gave me some stuff to you know to do them or whatever. Well, anyway, I switched and I was using the grapefruits because I was getting some major infections in it. 
I switched and used the grapefruit seed extract. Um, and then also I put the uh, Manuka honey. I mixed it with um, a hula was, where? Manuka honey. It comes from New Zealand and one other place. Um, it helps. It helps pull out the infection. So you, I mixed the Manuka honey with Allison Max, which is a garlic tablet. And I just opened up the little capsule or tablet, whatever you call it, got the powder out and I mixed it in with that Manuka honey. And then I put that on my wounds and I'm telling you, it did so much better than what the doctor, what the doctor did. Hmm. What up, Gamma? <laughs> hey, Gamma. More cushion for the Asian cushion. Hey, I'm going to jump down, Mike, because I got to cook the rest of that chicken. Yeah. But, yeah, I think we can cut this off. I think we've been live long enough. Well. Thanks for the competition, Bashful. Thank y'all. Yep. You too. Yep. That was fun. Great job, Bashful. Great job, Doris. Thank Appreciate you, it. Mike. Great job. Becca, thank you so yeah. much for coming up and bullshitting with us for a bit. Uh, and y'all did awesome today thank during y'all's competition. Thank you. See everybody around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May 11th is the next one. Yep. So. All right, love you guys. Bye. All right, y'all.